Last time, so good. up beneath Dark Wings, you all narrowly avoided an immediate apocalypse after seeing the witnessing the culmination of Pazuzu's plan but with a final parting gift from the now deceased Virgil Zern, a curse of the Raven Queen buying you time. You have no idea how much. You attempted to teleport uh, away from the dread domain of um, Hark here using Caprice's tuning fork, which you hoped was tuned to the prime material plane. <laughs> Classic mistake. <laughs> we, got, we, got, we got duped like three or four times in a row last session. Like yeah. real, bad. <laughs> real bad. So. It I felt like a big out dummy. That no, <laughs> it was attuned to Bator the Nine Hells, and you arrived in the chambers of the Lord of Lies, the oh. one who has taken over ownership of Caprice's soul. He revealed several things that Pazuzu is making his move. He has violated their agreement to basically maintain the blood war between demons and devils to basically have a constant state of, of death and souls. Um, and that it was revealed that Pazuzu himself was the one who uh, drove Thar's Dune mad, as well as whispered in his ear to fall from grace and become a devil. And um, the agreement was to put an end to Pazuzu and the Oberth lords attempting to do whatever it is they're trying to do, create an apocalypse um, across of Antris, because complete apocalypse is bad for business for devils. Uh, That's a good point. And <laughs> up on my on my devilish uh, economy. Yeah. <laughs> How are we going to pay our souls ego mortgage? <laughs> Without, if all the mortals are devoured by demons, there's no souls to trade with, and no that's, souls to. That's bar- fair. To, okay. the, the whole economy will crash. <laughs> Uh, as it takes, it was a soul bubble, yeah. and I it feel was like bound to pop. Is too big to fail. Yeah, <laughs> would there be terrible sinflation? <laughs> oh. As it takes, it's just Alan Greenspan. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> the Nine Hells is just the Fed. Uh, Shakes. Uh, anyways, uh, you all then uh, he. Uh, cleansed Herja and Torvald, sent them back off to the Grizzlepaw Mountains in Yona, safe and sound. And uh, it is with that that he returned you uh, to Barovia, where you resurrected um, Sofiana, um, the Vistani monster hunter um, that had been slain. Uh, you returned Valeska, her daughter, uh, and uh, Milo. They are all recuperating from their horrific experiences at the hands of um, the Spider Princess, uh, Ravenovia von Zarevich. And uh, it's with that that you basically made certain plans. You warned everyone of the uh, incoming influx of demons uh, and the apocalypse that you believe was inevitable that was coming soon. Um, a bit of strange <laughs> conflicting information. Strange conflicting information from Zentra. Everyone else, however, made sure that they would prepare the best they could. Oh yeah, that was bullshit. And they decided to go check on um, Castle Ramornia uh, to visit their old friend Escher, and they, they met Major Domo Brutus, who welcomed them with open arms. They were very excited uh, to see him, and he was very excited to see them, and they let he helped them investigate the castle, yeah. leading them to a dark chamber, uh, which was a trap. I've uh, never felt more betrayed. Yeah, he's a little prick. I'm gonna punt him like a football. <laughs> I foot never awesome. saw it I got boots. coming. <laughs> I knew he had it in him. I didn't either. Yeah, I trusted a, him. He's a literally, yeah, of Escher, right? He's, yeah, so. he's literally just like a puppet. <laughs> he, he literally does not have free will. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You now realize that, no excuse. A, that, that he is not afforded the same uh, level of free will as many humanoid races are. Uh, I've got no strings to hold me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's at this moment is where you find yourselves at the center of um, Escher's personal quarters, the uh, coffin before you, empty, filled with uh, a layer of dirt. Uh, the lid ajar and a, alchemical runes, a cranking machinery all around you as 12 gargoyles 
thoughts around you animate and lunge forward. I need everyone to roll for initiative. Nah, we're good. We're all right. Place your minis. And just place, place these not to do that. Place these 12. I don't feel aggressive currently. Uh, aggressive? Uh, yeah. Oh, you so son I of a bitch. I did the same thing. I had a great roll and bounce off the phone. And I no, you, you, you said, oh, can, I I not, can I choose not to? Yours is a little worse Did we get to the center yeah. of the room, Mike? Yes, you all took a look at it. It was very dark and you yeah. went to uh, go. Just sort of randomly scatter us about. Yeah. I don't have anything that does a thing for that, do I? Kind of just wandering. Every character, I'm like, do I have anything to help my initiative? No. <laughs> no, you don't. I do. I'm a barbarian. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know. I well, I, I, I don't have that yet on Barnabas. So I'm like, oh, God, when do I get it? When do I get it? When do I get it? Is it an ability? Is it an ability check? An initiative roll? Yeah. Yeah. So you add plus one for your lucky. Yeah, your luck stone. No, I, I, it already calculates that. Oh. I have plus seven initiative. That's a five. Jesus. Because I have no peerless, peerless skill, I think I can use one of my inspirations to add to my initiative. Probably. Uh, yes. All, anything that affects skills for bards, you, ask, you also add to initiative. Yeah. I'm not going to spend it. I'll, I'll, 15 and 20? I'll keep my or, uh, Yeah, 20 to 25. Apologies. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, uh, one, oh, no. Seven and a two. Uh, 15 no. to 20. Uh-oh. 10 to 15. 12. 13. I also got a 12. Would you like to go first? I think you can go first. Okay. 10. So Lufty, Lufty Felix, Felix, Iris, 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 Toa. Toa Caprice. Yep. Okay, I'm going to roll. I'm going to roll for the gargoyles. The gorgles. The old gorgles. Uh, let me do that. Spread them out a little bit here. Um, they gurgles. Oh, wow. What do you get, Caprice, for your... Uh, eight. What? Eight. Oh, wow, they go last. But you are surprised, so... Oh, shit. So really, they go fast. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to... Oh, yeah. I'm going to put the layer action. Fucking... Wow. There. I'm first? Oh, no. I rolled cold. Um, okay, it's with that that all 12 of these gargoyles are going to lunge forward and um, they're hulking, they're towering over you. They're even bigger than you, uh, Toa. As they leap forward, all with different designs, it's very clear that Escher, in his decades of boredom, would spend a lot of time just working on his art. Um, And and he became a very good sculptor. Uh, But these sculptures now are trying to uh, attack you as uh, they're all going to get uh, attacks on you. So just move everybody up. And I am going to roll three dice. There's, there's, they have a triple attack. Jesus. Triple? Yeah. Oh, I might just be absolutely Mike. fucked here. So I'm going to roll on. I didn't uh, mean that. That was me. Did you armor your mage? Uh, you mean like mage armor? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, you always, uh, you always I, do that. I always keep a slot basically checked off for it. So I'm going. So on Felix, I'm just going to roll uh, 19, Shield. 21, and 12. All shield. All miss. Okay. I'm and then on you, uh, they all miss. Okay, so the, the gargoyles on you miss. We're going to roll for Caprice. The, that on you. I so have no reaction, there's, there's two on Caprice, one on Iris, three on everybody else. Three on Lufty, Felix, and... Okay. And, uh, uh, I'll roll for Felix. Uh, I'll roll for Caprice now, and I'll roll... Uh, two on me. Um, 18 is the highest on that. Or no, no, 20 is the highest on that one. So that's going to hit. That hits. Uh, and then natural one, and then so, uh, so two claws are going to hit you. And so I'm gonna roll. I'm just gonna roll hits. So two claws on you. Remember that. Two claws on you. Two claws. I'm gonna right roll down. for uh, Felix's other guy. Yes. Yeah, so the, the shield absorbs all of the uh, attacks on that. Um, What's the clap? Wait. It's two on Iris. Sorry. You're good. Two are on Iris, right? One. Uh, only one gargoyle is on Iris. Okay. So um, it, the it's going to be a twenty-two and a and a twenty-four. Both hit. Okay, both hit. So one misses and two hit. So that's a bite and a claw on Iris. And then I'm going to do uh, three on Toa. That's, those are all going to miss. Three on uh, 20. So a, a one claw for you right now, Toa. Uh, and then 19. Does 19 hit? Yeah. 18 hit? Nope. Okay. So, claw, so two claws and a bite for you. Okay. So, yeah, Close so two claws and a bite for you. Okay. And then I'm going to roll the last gargoyle. You know, okay, the, the, uh, oh, two bites. Two bites, two claws on you. And then who else, Who do I have left? Okay. Lifty. Three on Lifty? Three on me. But, uh, They're like all disadvantaged, aren't they? 
Until one hits. Yes. yes. So, so, one so hits. I'm going to roll. Thank you for saying that. Uh, that's going to mess. Yikes. So, boop, boop. Miss. Wow. Uh. 18? Nope. Eighteen? No. 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 They all miss. Okay. So uh, they are the displacer beast effect. The shimmering uh, genie magic that you have is confusing these stone constructs. Um, and so, can you go around and tell me what you all got as far as? Uh, we'll start with it, with uh, Caprice. Uh, two claws. Two claws. So you are going to get. Uh, so that's four. Two claws. That is going to be... be 262 bludgeoning. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Jesus. And you're just dead. Uh, 8, yeah. 10, 13. Uh, 13 plus uh, 8 is... Uh, what is that? 21. 21, yeah. Not That's bad. weird. I guessed 21. 21 points of <laughs> bludgeoning damage. Uh, or no, uh, slashing damage. And then uh, a Toa? Uh, I got two claws, two bites. Two claws, two bites. Um, okay, so that's gonna be and four. I'm not raging yet, uh -oh. so I take all of this. It's all right. It, it wasn't. It didn't seem that extreme. Yeah, yeah, it's not that bad. Of course, you're gonna. Well, you didn't get crit. No, you're all right. Yeah, your bites are much nastier stone. than. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Bites are much nastier stuff, according to the Oh shit. Uh, Toa goes down like a sack full of sacks of potatoes. <laughs> Like pallets, sack construct. pallets of potato sacks. <laughs> Fifteen. Wait, wait, what am I in a Costco? Seventeen. Twenty-seven. I can never eat potatoes. Thirty. Uh, Sweet potatoes are Thirty-two. Enormous. Thirty-five. Am I gonna die before I use all this? Thirty-five. Forty. Uh, thirty-five. Forty-three plus forty-three uh, plus sixteen I need, I need is. Uh, 59. 59 points of uh, slashing. Um, and then Iris has one claw. One claw and a bite. One claw and one bite. Okay. So I went, that's I went to Costco to buy. Uh, I went to Costco to buy a condom. It's, it's Se fine. No one's seven, I'll just, I'll just skip them. 10, 14, plus 8. 22 points of damage. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use my reaction to, um, to block some of that. That's it. Okay. That is their, so that is surprise status. Ouch. Uh, you reduce that by four and he takes four damage. The one that oh. hit. Oh, that hit I get, oh. Uh, can you give me a number? One. Uh, yeah, number one. Okay. Right? Yeah. You see no, a it's a nine. Oh, a nine? Sorry, that's uh, that's a nine. Yeah. Sorry, my, it's my handwriting. Uh, you see as a, a spectral uh, oh, yeah. a creature, um, maybe a, a macaw flies out, uh, <laughs> getting in the way, and it, it does a wing buffet attack. Oh, um, the wing buffet? And unfortunately, uh, flying is, is not good against rock type, so it doesn't do that much damage. <laughs> uh, it's not very effective. It's very meta. Um, I hear they never found wingy buffet. Mm. You know they have his ghost in a jar. You can buy it on eBay for two million, Gil. It's at this point that you hear the mechanical whirring of gears and the alchemical runes, and you see now that there are slats open on all of the, or there are, there are small holes that have been bored with alchemical symbols all around each of them. And suddenly you hear a and a blast of this thick, heavy goo. Sprays yeah. down on top of all of you. Love these all too familiar with this. I need everyone. <laughs> smells well, like alchemy in here. <laughs> it actually does indeed smell like alchemy in here. Yikes. As you get slimed um, with a very heavy, uh, very quickly hardening. Oh no! Uh, slime. Oh, I need everyone Jesus. to make a dexterity saving throw. That's ah. not good. Don't feel like that's I'm the layer action. Too well at this. Sorry, I'm, I'm saving Dexterity. Ah, it's like we're in an episode of Double Dare! <laughs> no, no, I got an eight. An eight? Yeah, oh, this right. is very bad. So did I. All right. I only have plus three. 20. Nice. 16? Fails? 21. Fails. Oh! So the DC is 18. So only you two passed. Mm -hmm. Yikes. Nice. Nice. You all start to, uh, you all get blasted by this alchemical goo is actually a bright green, the similar color to the alchemical fire that you had avoided um, from Escher's castle. As you are now grappled and restrained and you feel this goo that's completely covering you start to harden, 
uh, and uh, become tra- uh, uh, of a, a solid color where you feel like if it continues to harden, you are not able to get out. You'll basically be encased in a block um, and not and be blinded. Uh, as and okay. so you are. It is hardening oh, on right. all of you. Um, do okay. the thing! Do the thing! Do the thing! <laughs> I cast mass press the digitate, and I clean us up. <laughs> <laughs> Prestigio, my good man. <laughs> Love to hear up. Oh, good. Okay. Um. So I I feel all the like air whiffs behind them. Oh yeah. Uh, behind oh, me yeah. of them just like totally missing. They're like, dang it! Why can't we hit oh, this? Oh man, this is bullshit. Um. So I'll flip around and. Boys, no! And I'll spin my spoon and um, spend a key point to make a flurry of blows. So I'll make uh, basically right in a circle. Uh, we'll say two attacks on seven, one on one, okay. and one on two. AC is 17, just for your. All right, so these will be the two on seven, which is really plus 11. Uh, so 22 and 12, so one misses. The natural one is the natural one. That's a seven, isn't it? That's a one. Oh yeah, one, one, yeah. Yeah, um, and then we'll do. So that's twenty-three and twenty-four. Okay, um, so one hit on each of them. Uh, and as this happens, you hear the scampering, scraping footsteps of small feet scrape, uh, scrape, scrape. of. Uh, Brutus, as he's running away, and you hear his apologetic voice echoing in, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, as he's uh, scampering away. Brutus. And then it disappears. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so. Bucko. God, that was terrible. Um, 11 on number seven. I, I scream back, at okay. two, Brutus! <laughs> and that is. Well done. Uh, no one did that beforehand! <laughs> what the fuck? We just occurred to me. Yeah, 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 we needed one month. Yeah. Um, and that would be. Three thunder and two whatever. It'll all be the same. So you just add it all up. Two, the thunder and the and the, and the bludgeoning will be the same. So, okay, it will. Okay, yeah, cool. Um, and then I think so. Yeah. Ten on number one. Okay. And nine on number two. Okay. Um, and Come then I'm up. going to disengage from them after using my fury of blows. You uh, punch, and there's a crack of thunder in the room as as a, a, a stone chips away from each of your punches, and you're able to leap back on a as they, as they attempt to claw at you. You're able to leap back on a a puff of wind as a little cloud appears beneath you as you're able to leap away with your uh, your inherent genie magic. So five ten. And Felix is on deck. Uh, do I feel as though I can still? I know. I would take an opportunity attack from six, though. No, because you're disengaged. No, you're a drunken master. You automatically disengage when you flurry a blow, yeah. right? I do, but if I was here and then I well, run just, past if this you're guy, disengaged, you're disengaged. Entire, oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. So it just means okay, that you're so basically I'll just move where I'm going avoiding then. Go, go everything as you, as which you get Which engage? Away. Disengage. <laughs> um, do I feel, while grappled and restrained, <laughs> yeah. that I still have the ability to do the somatic Yes. Portion you of get the sense that if this maintains, you are going to eventually, next round, and you fail the next one, you are okay. going, the, the next saving throw, just getting mechanical. Right, right. You will then una- be unable. Um, so with the shield that I have cast and the, yeah. and the, the claws scraping off of this invisible dome that's over me, I am drenched in this this uh, emerald green goo. alchemical goo. I uh, will uh, shout to, out to the to the heavens. Ah, damn, God damn it! Ah, Tala, quick, go, 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 go! And I'm gonna cast haste on him. Okay. Yes. Uh, and that will basically be my turn. I don't think I want to try to. Actually, no, I don't want to take opportunity attacks here. I think I'm gonna hunker down and. Well, you're grappled unless you're. Oh, that's right. Yeah. No, no, that's yeah. right. I'm not doing anything. I'm just casting haste. How that's do you, how do you my, like them grapple? That's gonna be my turn. Uh, do I do I do anything for the? Uh, goo? You, you need to make a strength saving throw disadvantage now. What you gonna against do with goo. all against that the goo? goo. Yep. All that goo. Disadvantage. All right, here we go. Come on. <laughs> Come on. That's not gonna. Be I'm good a gonna. Not gonna be. Ew. Good <laughs> uh, I fail. Uh, and I will say, I should have said this, you can use your action to try to break out of it, but if you want to haste instead. Nah, I'm hasting. Okay. And you see, you hear him uh, chanting uh, a strange uh, <laughs> wizard's language as the, uh, the, the goose slithers around Felix's face and he's now encased 
in stone as you feel the uh, no, the haste. Me. And although he, you are now blinded, uh, grappled, restrained, uh, and unable to basically move, you're concentrating on it. You are basically encased in carbonite, but aware. You just see me like, ah! <laughs> and then it just becomes this green block of of, of hardened uh, business. I'll get you free, and then I'll realize I'm also covered in goo. Yeah. <laughs> and I can't move. But you should have advantage on some stuff. <laughs> Uh, so, and with that, it is Iris's turn. Uh, I'm going to cast Holy Aura, my eighth level spell. That's fine. Okay. Um, and it will basically, because it's a thirty foot radius. Uh, it can hit everybody. It's I gonna. Well, it's gonna encompass the entire room. Oh yeah. The, so the whole um, room fills with this warm sand. Um, and so uh, everybody has advantage on saving throws. Nice. And every creature has disadvantage on attack rolls. Nice. I remember Hor- Holy Aura yeah, now. Like, literally, it's just like these little bits are yeah, covered. Yeah, at the Everything very, very else. end. Holy Aura! Um, <laughs> and then I'm, saving and then I'm gonna to roll for my yeah. save, I guess. I rolled a natural 17, so 21. Your advantage. Oh, you're, you're always oh, disadvantage, so it's normal. So 21. You are able nice. to, um, because it's straight, because it balances it out. So you are able to um, resist it, and uh, you break free, and you're able to, to burst out of this sludge, and you kick it to the ground, and it slithers off almost like an animated ooze um, that uh, it, it, it slithers to the floor. It's my least favorite kind of ooze. Yeah, I know. Mm. Um, okay. Uh, Toa, you're up. That's not good. Um, That's bad. So I will... So I can still attack the guys right in front of me, right? Yep. Okay. So uh, we're going to do Let's this attack. put you attack, in a square. And we're going to do this attack, because these are both all ready to go. <clears throat> um, oh, wait. If I'm recklessing, that this that counter... That'll be just, that, okay, that'll so be just, straight. So yep. I need to reroll the attack rolls there. Um... Oh god. So we're gonna do these two. Ooh, plus is it twelve? Let's see here. Actions. Uh yeah, that's gonna be a twenty and a nineteen. To hit. Twenty and nineteen? Yeah. Oh yeah, there is seventeen. Okay. Um that doesn't proc. That doesn't proc. Um so and I re-roll these two guys. Barbarians be crazy, dude. I'm excited to get this. I don't know if I do. As a beast barbarian, you don't get procs. No, that's a magical item I gave him. Oh. Um, fifteen plus. Oh, yeah. no, I, I'm, I'm raging, obviously. Yeah. Fifteen uh, plus twenty is uh, thirty-five points of damage for my first two attacks. So on and number what? On number. Uh, oh, I guess I'll, I'll focus on number four until it's dead. Okay. Thirty. Roger that. About 35. 35. Okay. And then I'm going to do one more attack here uh, from haste. Ooh, a 15 to hit? 15 to hit? Um, that misses. Shit. Uh, that's my turn. Okay, roll. Just uh, so add advantage on dex as well. Like, advantage on all saves. On thing anyway. So advantage on all yeah, saves, yeah, yeah. and I'm raging. Does that. Do it, no, it's just, just, just straight because you're disappearing. <laughs> oh, it's straight. straight. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Plus 2 AC. Oh, sweet. Thank you. Uh, strength. Oh, that's from Viking. Uh, that's gonna be a twenty-one. I will twist of dread you. <gasps> you bitch. Rock. Very, very clever. Dog. We'll hire. Yeah. <laughs> you break free of the ooze. <sighs> uh, feeling empowered. Uh, the Anubis fills you with. Uh, what is it from fucking Undertale? Fills you with uh, inspiration. Determination. Determination. And you'll see as, my tattoos glowing now with the, with the ooze gone and my eyes glowing as I turn towards my friends to try to help them. Uh, but I'm going to stay there for now. Okay. Roger that. Um, with that, it is um, Caprice's turn. Very quickly, I'll pause before I take my turn and say, Todd, four, three, six, seven, eight. Uh, I would say story first and let the rulings and mechanics emerge from when you need the rulings. You could spend your whole life memorizing the rules, but it's when the events of the story require them that you can actually sit down and make an adjudication. And stay tuned for coffee break, perhaps. Yeah, Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll talk to you during a coffee break. Also, I always make this joke. uh, I can't believe, actually, I can believe that there were (laughs) 43,677 other Todd's before you created created that username. Uh, I start to sing. I'm a bard. It's, It's sing time. A Vorpal great axe, a wind fan, a tome to understand, an iron flask, a ring of 
elemental command. A good luck stone on the ground, a sentient stuck in a silver crown. Is this heaven or is it just a red dragon? A red dragon's treasure hoard. Red dragon, a red dragon treasure hoard. Red dragon, a red dragon treasure hoard. Red dragon, a red dragon treasure hoard. And I will cast, uh, as I'm playing, the waves of music are getting louder and louder and louder. I need every single one of these gargoyles to make a constitution saving throw as I cast destructive waves. Get wrecked. Uh, and and thank I, you so much for the uh, raid, Kareem Zymir. Hey, thank you so much. Raiders. We appreciate welcome. the follows if you liked to in our Discord as well. Stick around. Shout out to yeah. I was going to say that to Todd as well. Um, join the Discord because we talk yeah. about and and help people out if they're getting into D&D &D and want some help with stuff. Uh, We're going to follow Squirtle. That's my favorite Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Pokemon. I'm a, a Bulbasaur. I'm a, a, a Bulbasaur. My friend. <laughs> I need one more D20. Do I really not have 12 D20s? Uh, Why do you need 12 D20s? Here, you can have this one right here. That's too many D20s, man. Uh, the, the, uh, the DC is 18. Oh, that's pretty high, too. That's pretty high. Yeah. Wait, what's the, the, the stat? Saving throw? Constitution. Con uh, oh, plus five. Plus yeah, five. They're yeah. beefy. They're beefy, Fail, but... 15. 19. One man got 19. 17? Did 17 pass? No. no. 18. No, 17 is uh, is two is not is right out. <laughs> <laughs> Nine thunders, twelve thunders. Oh, I guess um, I should be adding these. Number uh, number three succeeds, okay. and then numbers 11, uh, 10, 11, 12 succeed. Oh, okay. Um, so ten is here, twelve is here, eleven is there, and then three. If we mark them with like a red dot or said? something, so they're all over here. I got them. It's everybody that's not. Just like mark the Mandy. Mark them. Okay, so those, those are the only ones that aren't knocked prone. Oh my and God. Uh, everyone else takes. Um, I'm gonna that's do. Huge. Wait one moment. Yeah, that's very important. Um, destructive wave. Uh, this will be the thunder damage. Six, nine, eleven, fifteen, seventeen points of thunder, or half if they saved, and then six, ten, okay. eleven. 16, 18, 18 radiant damage, or half of face save. Uh, Jeez. So was that total? Just uh, 18 plus 27 is? 18 plus 17 is 35 total. 35 total. No. Is it? Wasn't it? 18 plus 27. 18 plus 27, you said. I didn't say 27. This isn't 27. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. It's 17 plus 18. Okay. Okay, and if it doesn't matter, then 35 total, and they take half if they save. They take a good amount of damage, and I'm going to continue to sing and and look around and see if, is, is there anything else going on mechanically that I feel like is going to emerge and spray additional, like, acid and alchemical uh, reaction? Oh, make a perception check. I will happily do that. Uh, do, oh, that's do, do. good. That's real good. Uh, that's going to you be... You see everything. I see the universe. Um... <laughs> I see us playing the game as I get a thirty-five. <laughs> no, no, no. I get a, I get, a, I get a thirty-one. <laughs> With that roll, um, I would say you feel the vibrations beneath you and all around you as gears are turning in his castle, and you realize now that all of these stones around you are very clearly retractable uh, and trap doors. Uh, all like, uh, oh, that there's a lot of things that can come into this room. <laughs> Uh, there's basically a lot of basically all of these they're they're very uh, perfectly pristinely cut stones on this floor and they are oh, seeming to be no. rattling as if they'll be able to move. Uh, Felix, I keep your eyes all the all one around you, Felix, Red Dragon. The one beneath Felix is also rattling. Uh, cool guys. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, awesome. I can't move. Whatever. All right, and I'll so, spend my spell slot, and that'll be the conclusion of my turn. Thank you for your time. Oh my god! Before you take your turn, Mike, I do have a question. Now yeah. that I'm encased in uh, some sort of uh, goop, yeah. Splooge. Uh Am I able to somebody has speak? To <laughs> am I able to? Yes. Oh no 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 no! no can't you can't. I can't. So I can't do anything. No, you're splooged. Uh, anything that you can do where you don't have to speak, you're blind. You're better. basically you're restrained. You're yeah, grappled. No you can't speak. No Is he incapacitated? Speaking. Yes, I guess so. Can yeah. I hear? Uh, no. Okay. My so question you, is, are attacks on him automatically crits? That's what I'm. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm yes. I would. I would say yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
But he has uh, he's full cover though, so it doesn't matter. You also have full cover. And they're all every single one of them is disadvantaged. Yeah, that's true. Oh, so they can't hit you. I mean, they can, but it well, won't it'll be countered out to the advantage they would get because of strength. So it's at least flat. Okay. What do you mean? What? So their advantage on him because he's restrained and all that. Oh. And so your advantage or their disadvantage gets countered. They say have full cover though. Which means your AC is higher. Yes. Um, with right. that, they up. are uh, going to use... The three that are around Felix are going to spread out to... Uh, the three are going to pursue Lofty. Uh-uh. And the three that are around Felix, one's going uh, yeah, to go there. to... Or two are going to go to Iris. I don't think this one could make it. it had to stand up first. Oh, they all have to stand up first. Well, their no, speed, no, 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 no. no their speed is 60. One, two, three, four have to stand up. No, no those passed. are the they ones passed. that passed. Everyone I, mis- else. I misunderstood. So their right. speed is 60. Yeah, I was like, oh, oh, oh speed 60? Yeah. yeah. No. They get up and then they have to use, they can't walk towards Pretty you. They use their the wings bundle. and they blast uh, towards you. Okay. Uh, and so we're going to get three on Iris. They ignore, Yikes. now that that Felix is in case, they are ignoring oh, him. Oh. And that's so we're gonna get, good. So four on Toa, three, uh, it's three on Caprice, three on Iris, and then three on Toa, I believe. Well, it's, it's three, three, yeah. yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so we're, we're just going to do three, three, three. They probably can't harm me. Um, and, and they're all disadvantaged. They're all disadvantaged. So what they're going to do is they're going to... Um, I'm going to start with the uh, the, th- the two claw attacks on Iris. Um, the lowest is a 19. Uh, hits. Okay. And then this claw, that's going to fail. I'm an idiot. That's going to fail. And... Because of concentration, you'll have to do all the damage separately. Okay. Because I have to roll against it. Nice. Okay, only uh, two claw attacks hit. No crits. That means it's disadvantage. That sounded like the uh, Powerpuff Girls uh, intro. Okay, no bites. So, um, one claw is going to slice in for damage, and that's going to be dealing uh, nine plus... uh, Three is twelve points of uh, slashing damage, and then the other claw attack. He is going to. Um, he is going to uh, forego damage and attempt to grapple you tight. So an athletics contest. Just mostly. And is he disadvantage against uh, contest or uh, ability checks, or is he just straight? Just uh, attacks. Um, he got a natural one, <laughs> so that'll be a five. I got a 19. What okay. was this? Seems good. Uh, athletics. A 20. That you Hulk. Out. He's attempting to grapple you, and you <laughs> Hulk out of this right. somehow. <laughs> somehow. As, it's like uh, trying to hold a cat that wants to. <laughs> 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 um, heal back up eight damage, or eight damage, and then the, the one that I alt reflected the first time, I'll reflect back again for another eight. Okay. Nice. Um, so eight damage to him, which is number nine. Oh, number nine? Yeah. And I'm not sending a bird this time. It'll be like a, a like a turtle, like a sea turtle. Water's good against rock, right? Oh know. yeah, it actually yeah it does more damage. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, and then uh, God, everyone is freaking disadvantaged. Okay, uh, we're gonna do uh, the three bites on Caprice first. Uh, the fail. One was a natural twenty, but the other one is still a uh, twenty-three uh, or twenty-two to hit. So that's a bite. Do you want to add your food? Yarp. Yeah, that's wrong. Yeah, and then uh, claws. So hold on, they're disadvantaged on all the claw attacks. Nope. Nope. How big is a ten foot radius sphere? It's uh, twenty feet, 20 feet okay. across. So uh, I'm gonna roll so one bite attack. So could I get extra? All four of these guys with that. Twenty four yeah. points of piercing damage, Caprice. Ouch. And then uh, one claw attack is going to hit. He's going to forego damage and attempt to grapple you as oh, well. Oh, okay. So I have to make a... Uh, athletics, a uh, athletics contest. Athletics contest. Yeah. Trying to avoid the game. Uh, give me a 19. Uh, he got a 23. Oof. You are completely engulfed and grappled and restrained as these massive arms crunch into you. Um, okay. Uh, that is, uh, and then I need to do Toa. This disadvantage is like really nasty. Okay, three, uh, three bites, fail. Fail, okay, and then six claw attacks. Fail, one, two. Mango sticky rice? 
Oh, that, uh, 21. That hits. Derek, add your food. Okay. Two claw attacks hit. I'm gonna roll damage on the first one. Okay. Um, 11 points of slashing damage. And then, once again, an athletics contest as he's gonna try to grapple you for the last one. I have advantage on those. Ooh. <laughs> he said confident. Twist it if you need to. No, 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 it's 20. I'm going to twist of dread this roll. Oh, your roll. Oh, shit. Oh, I forgot you could do that. Got a two. Okay, <laughs> it fails. As he, as you're able to yeet out of it, uh, <laughs> I was like, I'm slapping. Stop. <laughs> and Lufty, Stop. I gotta go to go Lufty. Sorry about the, the, I mean, you guys are surviving. It's three on me. Uh, Jesting the Poet said, I know y'all are busy, but found you on the clock app, I and y'all that. are so funny. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Okay. Welcome. Welcome. That's how I'm gonna refer you know, you I met this poet down at uh, Jesters and Poets. <laughs> 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 they have really good sweet potato fries. My doctor said they're healthier than regular fries. Anyway. Uh, good old Gino. Um, good old Gino. Do you have an, uh, does 19 hit? 19 hits. Uh, 19 hits you. So he chomps into you. Uh, oh and it's, uh, I'm going to roll the I'm gonna roll the claw attacks separate. Because uh, there's still disadvantage because of whole holy aura. 19. So one claw will hit. Oh, my God. I wish they could be double disadvantaged. <laughs> <laughs> they just auto fail. Double, would there? double disadvantage be three? Yeah, that freaking four. holy aura. Anybody else want tie? Um, no claw attacks hit. Yeah. So they cannot grapple you, but they will do a little bit of damage. So just one um, bite. I, why do I have so few D10s, or I can't find them ever? Um, 18 points of piercing damage as it chomps into you. Ew. 18. Ew. Apply changes. Which one bit me? Uh, the, you will be the first to die. The one in the middle, why not? Um, okay. With that, is their that their turn is up? I believe. Yeah, everyone is gone. Um, and with that, it is the layer action. You hear the uh, you see the alchemical runes glowing what from the slots, think? and they are still uh, vibrating. And you hear the <laughs> as trap oh, doors open up rice. beneath uh, Caprice and beneath Felix. Oh shit! Oh, as oh, oh no. Felix, yeah. you feel your weight drop as you see oh, this fuck. crystallized block shrink as he disappears and as he uh, 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 is then disappeared. He is then disappeared. Um, is, so I will say, I looked at haste and it doesn't say anything about me like leaving range ending the spell. No, as long as you're concentrating now, on it. So I'm just going to be haste bot. Oh, fuck haste, okay. haste, 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 haste. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I doesn't say anything about the spell ending unless I just lose concentration on it. Oh, no. So anyway, continue. Yeah, uh, and Caprice, uh, you and this gargoyle uh, fall. You will have an opportunity to make a dexterity sa uh, saving throw at disadvantage, so it'll be straight because of Holy Aura. Which one? Oh fuck! My sniffer's broken. Um, I'm gonna use. It's because you rolled in on this book. Yeah, it, it, when they land, they do badly. When they roll, they do roll, 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 roll you lonely. Um, I'm gonna use my bardic inspiration. I just need to figure out what that is. I was gonna say moment. use a twist of fate. Oh, I mean, I'll take that. Yeah, yeah please, we got please use a twist. Okay, I'm gonna roll the other guy. Thank you, chat. That's unfortunate. Wow. Now I'm you going to use. You should have rolled the one we picked, just not on your. I got beef drunk and fried rice. Uh, oh, perfect. What'd you get? Before. Beef drunk and fried rice. I'm not even gonna ask. Sorry, I, I cannot find where this feature is. Nice. One moment. It's spicy. I don't it's know. really spicy. Yeah. It's a D12. I'm gonna add a D12. Good luck. Because I need to not fall into the doom pit. And. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> what if you fall down and it's just a luxurious waiting room? Well, I'm a block of ice, so a okay. block of stone. It's a dexterity saving throw, so that's a 14 no. plus no. 10, 24. Nice. What are you looking at? I gotta pass. 
I'm just thinking about if I dread this. <laughs> oh, oh I, I, I can't get lower than a four on the d20. Can you dread my d12? Because that's the I have a ten plus a ten plus a, uh, yeah, my d20 roll. Oh yeah. Oh, you're terrible. right. You're right. You're right. Okay. Yeah. No. So you the slot opens and you are still grappled, but you're able to uh, quickly move a, a, away as uh, the gargoyle would have dropped with you. Yeah, that would have been as, bad. As been you bad. then, is- yeah, you lunge him forward, and uh, I will say, uh, you know what? With that, the like gargoyle actually, the, you are able to get out of its grip, and the gargoyle falls into the pit as it. Yeah, so what? Oh, this so, guy yeah. falls, or this guy falls? Um, well, what numbers are they? I can't read these numbers. Sorry. Uh, three, and that looks like an absolute monstrosity of a number. Eight. <laughs> That's eight. I don't All see right, we'll go with three and eight. Three, uh, three falls down the pit, and so what we'll say is, while you were while you were uh, uh, restrained, you you like ran up the one in front of you, and then you slipped. And yeah, you, you that. now that realize, um, in the combat you hadn't noticed this, is that he falls like a statue because that is what he has reverted into, mm-hmm. as he has turned into a statue form to grip and f- the weight to pull you down. Uh, but uh, because you were not encased in this ooze, you had an attempt and you were able to slither out of it as it dropped. Yeah, I watch him as a, as a gargle my fucking balls, gargoyle! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good old. Oh, I wanted to say this at the head. These nuts. Um, if we have funny moments that you think are funny, please clip them. It will really help Richie and uh, myself uh, find TikToks for future use. Uh, for the clock app. For the, for the clock, for the clock, for the clock. Or, the clock. or, the or as Rich no. always says, the tweets. The tweets <laughs> and the nerd, the nerd app, the clock yeah. app. Yeah. You know. um, Thank you, Jesting <gasps> the Poet. Yeah. Okay, cool. okay. Uh, that is that. Love to you up. Oh, it's me. Um, um, I'm just going to narrow my eyes at number one in front of me and uh, make two quarterstaff attacks. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, 15 and 26. 15 misses, 26 hits. Uh, 12 plus 6 is 18 damage. To number what? To number 1. Okay. Um, and then I will spend a key point, um, and I will take, uh, I'm just gonna, like, do, like, a hi! I like a uh, cheerleader okay. spread eagle yep. jump, perfect formation, yep. and I'm gonna just kick seven into. Okay. Um, so this will be one is crumbling now. Like, uh, half of his torso is fallen off, uh, or not like, like a big chunk. He's got he's got like Kremmy's. Uh, I mean, not Kremmy. Briggs's <laughs> chunk. Sorry. <laughs> uh, that's all. Oh, we've been talking a lot about Kremmy. To be fair, in my defense, we have not mentioned. We've not true. been talking about Briggs. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so... You're near, I mean, you're grim. I mean, you're grim, I mean, you're near. <laughs> I mean, so we'll say 12 to number 2. Okay. And 14 to number 7. Okay. Uh, they're, all, they're all looking rough. And then I'm going to... Yeah, they're all looking very rough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 30, 30. Their wings unfurl, getting ready to pursue you. Gargoyles, his wings unfurled. <laughs> okay, uh, Felix, uh, what can I do? I would say I need you to make uh, an arcana check. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Uh, 26. 26. I, can't wait. I would say with that, you recall what this ooze is, and you realize you're able to breathe, and you're able to concentrate. Hmm. And you recall in all of your discussions with Escher about alchemy, which you had already stated that you had been doing. The fool! <laughs> um, you taught me everything you knew. You realize that as you land with a thud, that this is a basically a binding capturing agent to uh, non-lethally imprison and capture. Uh, and you realize now if you and as it landed there was a crack. I'll say I will allow you to make a um, athletics check to try to basically use to force yourself against the the portion that you believe has cracked. To try to break yourself out of this thing. A disadvantage, of course. 
Well, how far down is he? Yeah, I was gonna ask if I was out of range. Of, uh, I would say, oh, does it cut off at line of sight or no? No. Yeah, it's 30 feet down? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're in it. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's a sphere. Oh, it's straight up. My bad, I'll re-roll. This one, girl, later. 13. 13 is, is not enough. All right, twist. Yeah, twi I would say twist right, it. I'll try. I got a plus zero is the only thing. I mean, you know. I think we're gonna we'll try it. Let's roll. Left in a row. 18, 18 is the DC. Lower. Let's try it. What is it? 18? 18 is the DC. Oh, that's yeah. okay. The odds are low. Okay. Well, uh, okay. I'm going to go to the bathroom. <laughs> okay. uh, haste is rolling. Good luck. Uh, and with that, uh, it's Iris' turn. Oh, it's my turn. Fudge. <laughs> I didn't think that it was. Who? Fudge. What was the Fudge character in uh, Candyland? Wasn't it the Goopy Monster? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, Friend of Grandma Nut. Yeah, it's just like a fudge swamp puddle. monster. Yeah, it's a yeah. swamp monster, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, boo! Uh, <laughs> I was not prepared. It's fine. I'm gonna create food and water. And, uh, oh, I just cleaned it up. I can't. Nope. Spirit Guardians is concentration. Fuck. Do I have a high level spell I can use? That would be kind of cool. Um, everything, the problem is everything is concentration. Yeah, yeah, that's cosplay the cosplay Um This is uh, most of this is on YouTube, I believe, or much of that. Yeah, we still need to get caught up. Uh, but the campaign is in its final arc, so there's a lot to catch up on. So there will be a lot of context that you won't have in this session. But hopefully, you enjoy. Well, for those that are new, just a quick high level. Summary yeah. Of where so we're basically, at. the apocalypse is happening due to thanks to the demon lord Pazuzu, who's attempting to uh, him and the. Uh, uh, 12 other Obereth lords, the primordial demons before demons, are attempting to basically take over the prime material plane. Um, uh, something about a queen, something about uh, uh, a conclave, and um, they are visiting their friend, who was a vampire, alchemist, uh, machinist, and he has betrayed them because he had he was forced, or he made a deal with this demon lord and able to save his own life and his daughter's. Um, and so he's betrayed us. Can I cast Dispel Magic on Felix? Because I don't need to see him. He just needs to be within 120 feet from me. Oh, shit. Damn, I see? couldn't cast on myself because it's verbal somatic, but I was thinking the same thing. I like where your head's at. I will say for you to pinpoint where he is, I would say make an Arcana or a Perception check if you want to use your, mat and your, your knowledge of magic. Yeah. No. I'm pressing it. Here we go. Twist it. But I don't have to see him. The DC's low. Uh, 17 or 25. Yeah. 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 You are able to hear clunk in this castle. Your cat ears perk up, and you're able to see, realize that he's not that far away from you. You didn't slip it deep into the castle. You hear him. You are able to cast a spell magic. On. So yeah, I'm gonna cast a spell magic. And suddenly, <laughs> what? And you hear you're, it's not that you're choking. I still have to. I still have to roll, right? Oh, oh no, no, the, the third level or lower. I would say in this case, I would say you. I'll give it to you. I'll okay. give it to you because you're spending a resource, and that's a creative use, and it's not an active spell, but it is a magical. Effect. It's a magical alchem. You're basically uh, eliminating the alchemical reagent binding agents to harden this, and suddenly you're sputtering as it just turns to slop as you're completely coated in <laughs> disgusting goo. Uh, you guys can hear me muffled from the stone. Like, <laughs> it's like Felix. What's that movie where there's like alien snot all over, like all over that? Like it's whatever that movie is. I'm, I don't I'm like, picturing he's dying. Over. He's yeah. being killed. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you look around, uh, Felix, and you are in a, um, you're in a prison cell. And oh. it's well lit. It actually is, It's it looks comfortable. Um, there's actually a, a, a tray of wine and food ah! and... Um, covered, the green room. covered in good. Yeah. Uh, there's uh, no prison on a Vantress that can hold Felix. <laughs> uh, and that's what you see. Yeah. On a Vantress. Well done. <laughs> Toa. Bonus action or anything? Thank you, Iris. Um, All of my bonus actions are like... I will, understanding that this holy aura of Anubis is like protecting us, I'm gonna go... So if you want, if, you, if uh, Six wants to make an opportunity attack, feel okay. free. He will. Um, uh, to disadvantage, correct? Disadvantage. Correct. 
fails. Well, no, I recklessly attack, oh. so it balances. I'm gonna roll again. He's gonna, gonna bite you, uh, and he fails. Okay. Uh, and I am going to attack. I think number four, because that's the one that I've been. Is that, where's number four? God, Mike, you should really rate these numbers. And I'm, I'm sorry. The numbers on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, number nine. Nine. Uh, I'm gonna attack number nine. Okay. Uh, he's chipped as well. I mean, they've all taken quite a, a, a beating, or many of them have taken quite a beating. Fuck it. Fuck it. Uh, okay, I, that hits for sure. Deciphering all that. That hits for sure. <laughs> Those are really difficult to decipher. That I don't hits know how for the fuck sure. You do it. <laughs> yeah, it's all color coded. Easy peasy. Uh. Yeah, but Easy. nobody knows the tree branch of decisions and, and things that are happening. Well, I can oh, thank you, Gilded you Staff. Like, I didn't, if someone got you, I apologize. Thank you for the follow. For the follow. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, oh, Gilded I really Staff. enjoy Edge of Midnight. We'll watch to get context. I'm like, trip to Wichita. You. Thank you so much. I, I, do. I miss Edge of Midnight. Yeah, so me too. I me too. So Gosh, I really too. miss old Jericho Sticks. Something mysterious about Shah. <laughs> I'm okay. so sorry that I had that be your thing. Like, that was. Um, All of my characters have a thing. That's yeah. fine. I, I don't mind a catchphrase every now and again. Yeah. So, I guess that's something cryptic is really the, 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 the catchphrase. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, usually about Char. The first attack is a 5, 9, 10, 11, 12. The first attack is a 22. To number 9. To number 9. And you smash into it, and it just completely erupts into oh, stone yeah. and falls to the okay. ground. Uh, the Bye. next attack is going to be on... Oh, wait. Just Sorry, barely, though. Nine. Barely, though. The next attack is going to be... I'll move... Uh, here, and I'll take another two opportunity attacks. Okay. Uh, disadvantage. Or no, you're, oh, it's straight. Straight. Uh, that's actually going to hit. And then the next one is a uh, 18 and a 24. Uh, the 24 hits. Okay. I'm going to roll the damage real quick. Ooh! That is max damage. That that's is a, going to be a 25. That's cool. 25 cool. points of piercing damage. Okay. Oh, chomp. Wow, that's so 12. For chomp, me. chomp. Okay. Uh, the second attack is going to do 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 24 points of damage on number 10. 24 points of damage on number 10. Yep. Uh, he's still alive. Okay, and then the, the uh, third attack does, um, what did the other die get? Oh, no, it's... The other attack is oh uh, here six. Uh, the other attack is sixteen points of damage. <coughs> uh, to number what? To no. number ten. Uh, he was the one who had, hadn't taken much, so he's still alive. Okay, and then because I killed one, I'm gonna use yeah. my feet to do this action attack as well. Okay. So we'll do one more attack here uh, that hits. We're gonna see if it procs. It does not. That is going to do nine. 10, 11, 12, uh, <coughs> 9 plus 10 is 19 damage. That's enough. As it just enough as you smash into it once again. Well now there's well done. it's scattering across the floor here. Uh and that is I'm gonna s- Yeah, I'll stay there. Okay. Okay. Roger that. Um with that, it is Caprice's turn. I am very lucky. Uh, but I'm still singing. Uh, A dwarven still- thrower. <laughs> Plus one bracers, magic poison darts, chainmail armor made out of mithril, a bottle gin seeking free will, a manual of martial arts, some random robe of useful items, every pocket contains a bunch of valuable gems. Is this heaven or is it just a red? dragon, a red dragon's treasure hoard, and I go on. Uh, I'll do another fucking destructive wave. I don't give a yeah, shit. Let it uh, so all of them, uh, with the exception of these three bros over here. Uh, how many are still up? I apologize. Just a lot. Uh, there's twelve. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, there's okay, seven I'm, there are five I'm just going to roll the three that were on Lefty. No, uh, they're, they're unaffected. The, the, uh, they happen to be the only ones that are unaffected. Okay. Um, so they all need to make a oh, constitution saving throw, DC 18. So one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. seven. I'll roll my jazz. One succeeds. Uh, two oh, and f- big money. Two and four fail. Money. That's huge. Right. What's weird is your lows are all twos. But then you got a tough six Fail, fail. Fives. That's bizarre. Yeah, that's bizarre. Succeed. Fail. And then fail, fail. Okay. God, that's massive. Okay. Okay. Um... Thunder damage first, 10. Just, it's all the same. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Add it all up. 
for my peanut yeah. head. Oh, that was pretty insane. 15, 21, 18. Or 11 and 12 affected at all? 21 plus 22 yes. is thir- 43. Yeah, so 43 points of damage Jeez. total uh, to anyone who failed, and they're not prone, and half to could any you, of the others. Can you tell you me which, which three are immune? Number one, number seven, and number two. The, I get to pick the uh, So wait, number one, number I, seven, otherwise I and number two. And stuff. Okay. So, uh, 43, you said? Yep. Yep. And uh, four, five, six are all completely obliterated. Uh, eight's five, completely six. obliterated. That's excellent. Uh, 11 and 12 are... Wait, hold on. Yeah, 11 and 12 are barely hanging on. Um, and nine, and is, nine okay. is also okay. Uh, so if se- seven was <laughs> out of it, right? Seven was out of it. Two and one and two out. We're out of it. Yep. That's okay. right. That's yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. And I'll I'll shout, trying to vocalize as I'm singing. Um, uh, Red Dragon Felix, get up here! We 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 need you and we love you. And I'll give you a, a bardic inspiration. That'll Thank be the you. conclusion of my turn. I only have five gargoyles <laughs> being up. <laughs> Your fucking face. <laughs> what do you only yep. have? Hold on. You have six. You oh, nine is dead, by the way. Nine, Nine's nine dead. is gone. Nine yeah, nine, nine is dead. So you only have five living. Yeah. 11, 11, 12, 1, 2, and 7 are up. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's it. But it has full okay. cover. Uh, oh, that's they, fair. As you burst right. out and just all of the pieces of uh, plaster, or not plaster, but of stone just fly out and clatter to the ground. Uh, with that, it is uh, their turn as they are going to fly um, towards, uh, they're not gonna pursue Lefty actually, they're just gonna fly towards uh, Toa, Iris, and Caprice. Mm-hmm. And one's gonna go on Toa, uh, one's gonna go on Iris, and one's gonna go on Caprice. Can they make it to Caprice? Uh, yeah, uh, this they, one. They, have, yeah, they, they have 60 feet of flying. Mm-hmm. They have 60 feet of flying. Um, so one on each of you, so that's two on Iris, one on Caprice, or no, no, two on Caprice, one on Iris, and two on, okay, so. Yep. They're still disadvantaged, right, because of Holy yep. Aura? Uh, so, uh, two bites fail on... Ni- oh, does 19 hit, Rich? Oh, yeah. Okay, 19, so one bite, and then, um... Oh, right, do you recklessly attack, though? Yep. So that cancels out. That's a straight. That's a straight. Okay, so I will... I'll re-roll with all of those. Okay, it was the same regard. Good. Okay. Um, so then I'm going to roll, uh, the... Four claws. Good. So you don't need to see a it, natural twenty and uh, a twenty-two. Okay. That's funny on me. So yeah. like, he's oh. kind of uh, no, it's not. Uh, oh. like thunder. And normal. Roger that. Mm-hmm. So like just two claws attacking you. I love that you look at me. Oh my god, you want to use your reaction? I mean, I've been using my reaction on you. Ten points of slashing. And then okay, so five points. Uh, God, they're not going to be able to just to grapple you because you're fucking Toa. So you can try it. Thunder when I use no, my manacles, but no. I figured maybe I'd switch it up and try something like that. You fuck it. Uh, <laughs> and uh, twelve points really of slashing. Really like um, okay, and then uh, we're going to do a, a <laughs> bite, a disadvantage on Iris misses, and then two claw attacks disadvantaged. Mess and miss. Okay, uh, bite attack uh, two uh, two bites on Caprice. Uh, and then uh, four claws. <laughs> Bam! Okay, uh, one's gonna hit. It's an attempt to grapple you again. Athletics contest. Oh, oh it's not doing damage. Yeah. No. Okay. Never mind. Uh, athletics? Mm-hmm. That's not what I wanted. Uh, 15? 22. Yeah, that is. As it's grappled. Twisted. You are now restrained. Uh, there's, I, I have a plus two. Oh. Uh, so 22 as it grapples you um, and once again you feel it start to harden and turn to stone again um, as you grapple the restraint. Uh, with that I believe that's, yeah, that's our all of them. Okay. Uh, oh. Lair action. <laughs> I'm safe. Hopefully. <laughs> as you hear the as it shoots no. down again, More everyone goo? needs to make a dexterity saving throw against Next the go. At advantage oh, no, because of my arm. No, no, you, you hear like light jazz music playing. Like, what the fuck? 
Yeah. And there's actually like some light perfume. I pour myself a glass yeah. of water. Yeah, there's a, there's a huge, there's a, a nice uh, bath. If I was Vandress, I would not be eager to. There's get actually back like a hot water that's running, um, and it's actually just some light reading. Yeah. No, there actually is like a little mini bookcase. He googles on YouTube uh, lo-fi for studying, and I will say that all dark of the academia playlist. <laughs> yes, I will say that you look. And you like see like a big tall shelf and you expect it to be books. All of the board games that Caprice had bought are all there. And there's like a table <laughs> for gaming. Huh. Um, oh, Twilight Imperium. <laughs> uh, so what did everyone get for the dexterity saving throw? 22. 17. 24. I think I 26. 26. Um, but am I, because I'm grappled, does that affect my ability at all? I, I, oh, you're disadvantaged. Yeah, you're disadvantaged. But I, that, oh, so but it just straight, balances it out. It out. So yes, you're good. I don't know which one of these was you the need to re-roll. Roll it, yeah. I just re-roll. Unfortunately, yeah. 18. Oh. 18, that's enough. As, but who got what? 17. 17. It coats you as... Is it Dex? It is Dex. Oh, it doesn't matter. I keep reading your As the, the doors anyway. that open up in this, because it's round three, the door, both it's the goo and open up, you just sink like a stone. And and uh, you look as you hear the loud rattling Felix, and suddenly a green block, in, uh, including Toa, falls down right next to you. Wow! <laughs> Toa, Am I frozen. Uh, yes, this is okay. uh, this is more this is more much more intense now, Got and it. you can see that it's like powering up as this is happening. And uh, the priest, you can make a dexterity saving throw at disadvantage again, but it's I guess straight to see if you fall down as well. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. So you, the, that gargoyle that's gripping you falls down, and you'll the gargoyle crashes next to you guys. Was it two or twelve that was gripping me? Um, it was. I will tell it you. Was it was twelve. Oh no, no, it was two. It was two. Okay, so he just. So we need to move Toa next to Felix. Yep. Yep. Bye, bye, Toa. Okay. Toodaloo. Uh, hey, man. As there's goo all around you now, and four gargoyles remain. Lufty, you're up. You see, as 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 two of your friends have disappeared. Um, okay, I am going to uh, run up to seven okay. and make a staff attack. Okay, you are run with your spoon and it's very Ooh, cracked. Terrible. Pieces are crumbling off. Um, uh, a second. One of its wings is broken in half. God, those are both awful. Two or five? It's a bow, it's one of each actually. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I made that. two attacks, they both were horrible. Okay. Um, I will spend a key point for to um Not to that. God, what the hell? Are these seventeen? Uh yeah, seventeen, yeah. Okay, so um, I'll uh jab with my elbow. This is your elbow. I've already made an attack with my manacle on here. So uh, 14 damage to number to number seven. Uh, it completely with a crack of thunder, it bursts into stone. Uh, and can I move my? Well, I guess I did. I made both of those at the same time, but they move it to the next one if, if you. Yeah, if I'll you just want. hit yeah, to not, eleven. As a hero in a world, you would know. <laughs> Hey, oh host, uh, Demago. Welcome. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dungeons and Dragons, if you like D&D, we really appreciate the follow. You can also join our Discord. I know it sounds unusual for Dungeons and Dragons, but we're having combat right now. <laughs> Crazy. It is quite unusual. 15 to number 11. 15 to number 11. We're in a Dracula's That's castle enough. fighting some gargoyles. You uh, shatter it. They are all looking very rough as uh, it looks like you'll be able to hopefully clean up. And can I just like take a look around the room? Do I see any like lever? or like things that look like would release a, tra- a, a trap. Oh, make a perception check for me. Just straight. I'll say because you killed, you, the, the, the gargoyles around you have been crumbled. Eh, eight. Eight, mm-hmm. you look around, you hear, and you see some gears moving around, but you have no idea how the fuck this You're too I am totally confused right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're just way too drunk to understand any of this. Uh, yeah. Huh. She, 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 she's a lever, but there are like three of them. And so yeah. she's like, I don't know which one's <laughs> uh, With that, it is uh, Lefty Felix. Oh, Felix, yeah. As soon as Toa is yeah. in this rock to chunk, And then a gargoyle comes, and he, Ew, just, he lands, and he crumbles, and he just... <laughs> Nasty. Looking forward. So Toa would... Oh, he's blind. So Toa's blind, he's completely... He, yeah, he's can't, co- hear. He, he can't hear. He can't hear. I'm totally... He's in, able to breathe, snow. but he can't hear. And you remember that this is basically like a containment to... And that... that, that um. 
it was actually kind of grim how uh, Escher would encase prisoners in there to then kind of keep them in a cocoon. In a it's cocoon like how spiders to feast. like to feast. Yeah. Alive with, yeah. Yeah. Um, not yeah. like all like I'm, I'm ah, I freak out because I see the goblin ah, <laughs> so and I will not even remember that I couldn't see or hear anything uh, and run over to him and and I'm I'm shouting uh, I'm pretty sure I was able to dispel this but it really and I'm pantomiming like you just have to be really strong and break out and it'll be fine so I think I'm gonna get us back up there and I touch him and I cast Dimension Door and I visualize the corner of the room that was this corner where as far as I know when I left there were no gargoyles there so I will just cast make an intelligence check to see how how well you do it ah. Pythagoras is a bitch uh, yeah, oh you crush it yeah yeah I got a, I got a lot I got like 20 um um, D- Dimension Door is just, I just have to visualize where I want to yeah, go. Yeah, I would say you do that and you're able, you bloop and suddenly Toa encased in a green block. It's okay, buddy, uh, I'll get us back with, up there. With uh, Felix, bloop back into the room. Amazing. Ah, okay, and then I point at him and I say, remember, just be strong! And he can't hear or see anything. Where have doing. you two been? We were down in the prison, it, it was kind of weird, but it's fine, I'm back! And that's my whole turn. Okay. You smell like incense and wine. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Okay, Felix. uh, Iris, you're up. Uh, I'm going to dispel magic on Tello. Okay. Suddenly you hear, and you're just coated in this disgusting green slime and sludge. But you're able to move, and and, uh, it it doesn't taste as bad as you expect. Oh, man, how did I move from there to here, anyway? (laughs) Because I I didn't see or hear any of that. No, no. Wow, I'm fast. (laughs) Thanks, Uh, Felix. (laughs) With that, Toa, you're up. Or Iris, or, Thank uh, Iris and get going! Come on! Uh, I'm still hasted, so I'm crazy fast. You are? Like, oh, yeah. Out, yeah. <sighs> you're still good. Uh, we'll, do one, we'll do these attacks one by one. I'm they're they're very weak. Thank you for the gifted sub, Horror Becomes Thank you, them. Horror Thank Becomes you. Them. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Mahone Calpo. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, hello. Hey. Oh, well, it's good, good to see you again. again. Hey. Jinx. Also, if you'll scroll up just a little bit. No. He's having a turn. Never mind. 16 damage turned to number one. Since your name is number one, uh, you completely obliterate him. I walk in up here. Ooh, a one and a thirteen, so that it does still hit. Metalhead, how much did both of those? Do you have to ten damage? Two, three, it does. Yeah, yeah okay. you obliterate them. Uh, that one, and uh, suddenly quiet returns uh, to the room. Oh, well, that was before. Easy. Before oh, quiet, uh, really can you scroll up just to br- briefly? We had, we had a comment from a first person. Oh. Uh, Hola, abuela Itor. Uh, ¿Cómo está? Uh, no sé leyendas de Matrix, pero nosotras somos leyendas de Avantras. Bienvenidos. That was impressive. Well done. Oh, okay, I learned that Derek was speaking I sure. apologize. Wow, I'm impressed. Yes. The, uh, room, the room hasn't stopped. But... Horror Becomes Them says, Love you guys and gals, my favorite D&D people story. Oh! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tonight, I'm stoked for you! In-person d and It's what we do it's here. It's the best. <laughs> How did he do that? Can you imagine if you're like, we were in a room, and they were in a room, and you were like by yourself, and we just stitched it all together. Oh my god, that'd be very impressive. <laughs> yeah. Isolating. You could yeah. masturbate the entire time. Ew. Uh, <laughs> and no one could would it? know. I think we'd all know. I think I can do that now. <laughs> I no, I can see your yeah, crotch. We have right a magnetic window. No, I mean, Literally. I can. I'm not saying I don't want you to see. I mean, I, I, you know, joke's on you. I'm into that. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the, the trying yes. gears and the alchemical ruins as they get brighter and brighter as this, the, 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 this trap room is still active. So, right. uh, Caprice, you're up. Oh, I'll continue singing. Yeah. A vellum deck of many things. The first card is... <laughs> I can't believe it. I've been imprisoned. Something is wrong. Gods, I'm stuck here. I'm stuck in a void here in the far realm. In some state of stasis. In some extra dimension. Feeling overwhelmed. Gods, I had a family. I had a mission. Gods, I had a party. We had ambitions. How long have I been here? This is real bad. Is this forever? Think I'm going mad. Potions of flying, <laughs> spell scrolls of scrying, a wand of fireballs, incredibly complicated apparatus of qualish, a tomb of leadership and influence, an immovable rock. 
God. Three massive pearls in a mountain of gold, and the deed to our very own stronghold. Is this heaven, or is it just a... I haven't planned my turn. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, can we clip that? Yeah, uh, throw, throw, uh, that's, that should be a uh, TikTok coming up. Right? I think they were all dead. They're like, Toe's totally unaware of all the years. He's just like jamming his eyes yeah. closed. And they're blowing oh, the nice. sea as the, 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 the nozzles, or they're like, there's holes in the, uh, um, in the, in the Is everyone feeling okay? What's going on? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, sorry. Bleeding. Are you hurt? I'm, I'm, I'm Are you definitely okay? bleeding. I mean, you see like all these horrible like burns. And you quite literally, you're the wounds. only one that really took yeah, a bunch of damage. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll bring and at a um, uh, I'll say fourth level. I'll cast cure wounds on you. Uh, you're gonna be all right, and I'll give you inspiration as well. Yeah. That'll, and that'll be the conclusion of my turn. Oh, that's so pleasant. I really enjoyed that song, Caprice. Do we still? So do we still feel stuff shaking and moving? And oh stuff? yeah. So like the the. The room is shaking. Uh, uh, Escher's uh, coffin is is remarkably still, uh, but everything else is just. Should we get? Out? Can we get out of here? And as a layer action, it's empowered even more as <laughs> goo shoots out once again. Twenty-seven healing. I everyone to make the dis- the, at, at disadvantage, but I believe your advantage. So straight. Um, oh no! Am I out of range? Thirty. No. I'm good. It's sixty, right? Or one hundred twenty, right? Yes. Yeah, no, it's, it's like it's the entire a 30 area. foot radius sphere uh, okay. around you. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. No, I, no. Are you 30 feet? It's only six squares. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, you're out. Son <laughs> of a gun! <laughs> uh, what type of uh, saving throw? Uh, dexterity disadvantage. Oh, oh straight for, uh, for for everyone except for Felix. Okay, 25. 24. Oh, straight, straight for us. 26. Oh, it's dex seven. Oh, I actually passed this time. 21. Let me use two of my dreads on Caprice and uh, and uh, Toa. Natural 20, get fucked. Oh, from 18 to a 19, you get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> you see, as as Felix, you feel the, it's something in the back of your head. Not again. Oh, God, I hate this. Ah, <laughs> no. He, no. He, like, uh, like at the fucking bank, one of those, uh, those tubes. The pneumatic tubes. The pneumatic tubes. It, 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 it hits me like a head. I land first, first on the, I land face first on the stone, and then I just fall. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to play board game. <laughs> Lift it, you I blew up. like a fifth level spell slot to get out of there. Fuck this. Why can't he just stay in one place? Jeez, it's not that hard. Unbelievable. Um, <laughs> I'll, um. <laughs> fucking holy orb. I'll look man. around I, I again. Do the same thing. And now that, like, we're not under pressure of attack um, from gargoyles, I'll look around the room again and see if I can find it. I will it say, make room. a perception check that will affect the DC now that there are no gargoyles. I don't know how to say this. There's no gargoyles. I don't know how to say this. There's only no gargoyles. I'm not very perceptive, is the only thing. 15. You look around, and I think that everything is. R- r- rocking and, and shaking and moving, but the uh, the single point in the center of the room with Escher's coffin, with the grave dirt spread around, is very strangely still, and that's the thing that you notice that's, that's off about this. But you look around and you, you see alchemical runes, you see the slats where all of this this alchemical goo is coming from, um, uh, and you see the, the, the slats and all of these different... Uh, 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 all the different trap doors in this space, but that's what you say. Meaning, I can see where uh, which squares are trap doors. All of them, except basically the coffin oh. one. Seems oh, to be I very see. Where is the coffin? It's, it's at the like center. Dead the center. Yeah, sure. Um, the map is no longer in play, is what I'll say. Is it open or does it have a lid on it? Oh, it's a lid, but it's a jar, so you can see that there's uh, uh, the grave dirt. It's actually very plush and upholstered on the inside, but there's still grave dirt. Um, uh, strewn across the, the the bottom, very beautiful the lead design. It's now filled with some uh, rubble from the uh, um, from the gargoyles that you've uh, massacred. I'll jump in um, to just like jump on top and kind of stick my feet in there. I can't believe he has all of this money in a castle and he still sleeps in dirt. <laughs> um, and I'll just like start kicking the dirt around to see if there's anything underneath of it or a like, button within or like uh, just. I would say make an investigation there. check. And that'll be your action in order to do yeah, that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Terrible! 
three. <laughs> there is a lot of rubble in here. There's actually a, a, a pile of like, you, there's actually a gargoyle like a uh, head chunk is looking up at you like, why, why? Uh, with uh, dead is eyes. And you And so you see Lufty and she disappears being as small as she is. And you just see like bits and pieces of rubble flying out of this coffin. Uh, and you have to dodge it. And that will be your turn, Lufty. Sure. Uh, Felix. Um, as I land back down, am I in a different cell, or does it look like I'm in the same cell? You're in the same cell. Okay. It looks like this is a, a a prison that he has built specifically for you. Um, <sighs> and oh, because you can't see, so you're in a block of stone. Oh, no I instantly. I don't even have. Oh no, it basically has been powering up, and now it's an instant. It's instant. Tr- it's instant ceiling. It's instant carbonite. Well, lucky for you, Mike, I choose to pass my turn. Okay, and by that I mean I get to make like a strength check, right? Um, I would say make an arcana check. Oh. Plus 10? That's, That's going to be a 25. I would say because <laughs> you of the time that you took with Escher to learn about the alchemy, I will grant you the ability to use your action to make a, uh, a straight saving throw. All right. To All right. try to burst out of it. Don't forget, you're inspired. Oh, that's right. Plus 12? Plus 12. 1d12 if Ooh. you think you need it. I'm going to need it. I get plus zero to my strength. Unless I like natty 20. 18, 19, or 20. 17. That makes it an 18 at least. Plus an 8. So I have like 25. Yeah, you smack out of it and you break it. And as you look around, there's something different about this place. Huh. It's kind of humming with a strange uh, glow. The bars now are kind of shimmering with almost <laughs> translucent. Uh, magic. It's, there's still that, that faint form of alchemical green that you've not, noticed to be uh, Escher's hallmark in his in his magic, um, but it, you feel an oppressive aura of some kind. As I've used my ma- uh, my action to yeah. break out of this chrysalis, yeah, <laughs> I will uh, use my movement as it catches my hmm, and I will walk over and uh, begin to inspect and pass my turn. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Um, does an anti-magic field on you uh, cancel your concentration on haste? Wait, what? If you were in an, if you happen to be in an anti-magic zone, now that the last That's gargoyle has been. Uh, I don't think so because the magic is now is already like done. Co-op. You're right. Yeah. Correct. So you're able to keep concentrating on it. I'll say for at least for this, I'll make oh. that ruling. Yeah, it says uh, spells can't be cast. Summon creatures disappear, and mundane magic items or magic items become mund- mundane. It doesn't say that it like cancels. Okay. Yeah. I'll say that you're able to concentrate on it, uh, and you f- you're inspecting the uh, the oppressive uh, the the strange nature of this place. Okay. Um, with that, is Iris' sister. Oh. 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 I'm gonna go uh, climb oh. into the coffin with Lufty. Okay. Make an investigation check at advantage because Lufty's helping you now. This is. That's very good. Was an 18 Impressive. plus. So that's good. 20. Um, Lufty has done a lot of work clearing out the rubble uh, and, and a lot of the grave dirt, too. Um, it's actually quite plush. It's quite comfortable in here, and it, and it fits both of you. Uh, Escher seems to like a lot of space. And you look around, and you see... like a litter box. You feel you that ball, along the side, that there's a little bit of a bump on the upholstery on the left side. You... <laughs> You extend a claw, perhaps, oh, and I do. you tear into it, and through uh, bursting out is this very uh, plush down, and you see a very brutus-sized uh, uh, lever that's glowing with the same kind of alchemical magic. <laughs> well, there's a lever here. You, it's just immediately visible. Had to be a lever after you asked I, for it. The, I mean, there was just it was there was dirt. I, it looks perfectly clean to me. Because I was cleaning it. You were cleaning the opposite side of the, the coffin. Uh, yeah, well, you know. It was uh, right here. Everybody you knows is, you start from the head of the coffin and work your way to... You're the, at the foot of the coffin. Oh. <laughs> that explains it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Should we pull it? Yeah, I guess so. You also, Brutus is in trouble. I'll go over and pull the lower. <laughs> The room settles, all of the glow uh, disappears, and the lever actually looks very similar to the Brutus level. Um, if you remember, as oh, entered, yeah. there were two levers, one for Escher mm. and one for Brutus. It seemed to be the exact same design as it. the room settles down. 
the room settles. Uh, Felix, you are, you hear actually some pleasant harpsichord music around. Uh, as you smell incense, there's a, it seems you're in a very comfortable holding cell. Um, as you see bars as a cross, you're very clearly in the dungeon of, um, of Castle Ramornia. And you look across the cell, there is a shimmering, you see, you see these bars spread across, but there seems to be some sort of shimmering field past them. But you're able to see across as you look, you see smears of bloodstains, skeletons, very clearly elven, very clearly Shadarkai, Dusk Elves in some of them. Um, but your cell seems to have been made up very recently. Um, and that's what you see. And all the rest of you see the room that you've been in as the alchemical runes. It seems to be very basic now. Uh, it's not nearly as dark. You realize now that the darkness over it had been also a spell. It was magical darkness um, produced by alchemy. As uh, it just seems to be dimly lit from just the very faint green glows of the runes all over and uh, the machinery settled. Uh, Felix, nowhere to be seen. Do I recognize, like, if I inspect oh. it, do I recognize this as anti-magic? Uh, you won't do it even have to roll for it. You are, you feel the innate magic that you have as Toa, you collapse in exhaustion as it fades. For right. six seconds, I'll go. <gasps> yeah, because it's, it, a, a minute will happen. Yeah, yeah, well, point. that's what I mean. That's and what I mean. Spell You'd be concentrating. Yep. And do you realize now that haste is over? And My aura's gone. You, the aura's gone. Uh, Felix! Felix! Can you hear us? Do What's I down hear, there? Do is is he going to be okay? Was there a bunch of gears? He's being ground up into a bunch of Felix mints? <laughs> what I'm, do you mean down there? When I realize it's a, a magic, anti-magic field, I will yell for help to see if, if the they plot. can hear me. Yeah. I was stoned the entire You're time. Stoned. I didn't perceive any of it. Yep. <laughs> uh, you call out. You all hear a quiet room. Um... So he can't hear us. Felix is directly under us. Fe uh, you, 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 you dropped down and when you were in a block form. What was down there? Oh, I didn't perceive any of it. Thank you for telling me that. <laughs> now I understand the meaning. <laughs> and why do we get down? I start like kind of, I want to like, kind of like bang on. Do I feel like I can break a, a, a square? Uh, make a, uh, make an intelligence check. Oh, I think that's a, yeah, 16. Can I break rock? Uh, I think that, like, you get the sense that this, I mean, it's all stone. You smash apart the gargoyles. You know, it's all just stone and machinery at this point. There is magical alchemy through this place. I can try to break it. I mean, if you, if you want to try, oh, well, I can just, you know, give it the old whack. Let's try the whack first, and then I'll try the, 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 the magical whack. All right, well, we'll do the, the non-magical whack first. Uh, and I'll, I'll just attack the, uh, you know, one of the, the square that I think the fields went down in. Okay, I would just make an athletic check at advantage. Simulate you attacking and smashing this thing. 22. 22. I'll say that's enough as you smash and you crack and you just are going. And I will say it takes you more than just an action. Yeah. You're hammering and hammering and hammering. And suddenly you're clang as the rubble flies across from the stone that you're on. And you hit the sheet of shimmering metal. That was underneath. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I'm getting through that. <laughs> Can you do anything about that? With your magical whack? I, I think kind of wrong. <laughs> <laughs> don't talk uh, back. <laughs> uh, I Maybe. I mean, I was going to cast Shatter, but that's usually for, like, crystal and I don't know, stone. I, I don't know if it works on metal. Well... I mean, it, it looks magic-y, I think. I don't know. Can you get rid of it? Iris, anybody? I can't do this. Why am I the one with the ideas right now? <laughs> I do have the ability to dispel magic, and then maybe we, we give it another non-magical whack? Does the metal look like... Is it like super sturdy? It seems metal? very sturdy and, uh, and shimmering with some kind of treatment. Uh, I get the sense... And you get the sense that it's still just a sheet of metal and a part of the machinery within the castle. Well, I mean, I think it would take too long to get through this. Gotta just be stairs downwards somewhere, right? Well, let's go find Brutus and force him to take him. Take us take us to him. <sighs> I propose that we just find Brutus. Yeah, he... <sighs> let's hunt him, let's hunt him down, let's find him, and we can... You guys look for Brutus, I'll try to find a, a hidden secret passage. Or stairway. 
I don't well, think that we should like split up. No, I, we, 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 we're already split as it is. Uh, let, let, let's look. Let, let's look around. Everyone, everyone, pick a, a cardinal direction and see if you can find a way down. I go north, and I have no idea which way north is. <laughs> but I'm just gonna walk this way. I see him go north, and I'll be like, I guess I'll take east. <laughs> we work quickly and attempt to investigate the room to see if we can find any natural path or uh, secret uh, 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 staircase or some way to get down without having to bash through the metal floor or fall to our. Make a group investigation check. Or for those that are, are investigating. See, every time it lands without rolling. Nice. That's actually pretty good. Uh, Eight. I got a 13. It's not bad. 16. That's great. Uh, 19. Better. I'm from Golf um, I'm terrible at looking east. <laughs> you get the sense that the only way, the only thing beyond these metal sheets are these, uh, the strange tubing of the of the goo that would run off all from the ceiling, however. You get the sense that there's sheets of metal all connected to, to, to gear contraptions that w- are opening and closing attached to the stone. You get the sense that if you wanted to attempt to bash to break through the metal, you could attempt that and know that will get you down. Otherwise, you look at the door and you get the sense <coughs> that you could, with that roll especially, that you could just bash through it and just make your way to the dungeon uh, if you wanted to and find Brutus. There's multiple options here, uh, however you care to attempt. But there is no secret like chute or ladder going down beyond just the trap door mechanisms. Uh, you also see that there are gears if you wanted to attempt to kind of break into the, uh, that there's gears behind the walls if you wanted to attempt to try to uh, shimmy something as well. That you, I would say that Iris with that role, you'd be able to make that connection. Perhaps uh, Toa would not have. Do I think that a giant scarab could bore its way through this metal sheet? Hmm. What abilities does a, does a giant scarab have? Burrow through metal. Yeah, burrow through metal. Burrow through metal. I don't know. <laughs> It's just, it's from my staff of the swarming scarab, Um, but I don't think you ever gave me like a stat block for a scarab. Oh, interesting. I would say that perhaps with like assistance, with like a heat metal or a dispel or assistance, that there'd be an acidic kind of thing that could, that could, an acidic spittle, I'll give it because that sounds cool, uh, (laughs) that would be able to eventually make its way through. uh, If it, if it took, you'd have to take like, you know, it would probably take a full hour, but it could definitely break, bore bore through uh, the metal. Uh, maybe not quite an hour if it has assistance, but um, like if you just left it to, to its own devices. Maybe you can help me. If you vocalize that idea out loud. I just said it. Oh, we, we could try that. Sorry, I was in the east. Say what? <laughs> Say <laughs> what? East? I'm, I'm staring at a wall here. I'm looking at a goo tube and trying to decide if I want to turn into a rat or not. What is your idea? <laughs> <laughs> I, do kind of like it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like the rat idea is great. I, rat or like armadillo, I could turn like a little ball and just like Metroid my way down to wherever it goes. <laughs> Super monkey ball. <laughs> yeah. Wait, through the goo tube? I mean... What if it's full of goo? Almost. Then you'll be stuck as a rat statue in a goo tube. And then when you go back to your current form, you just like squeeze out like a ketchup laser beam. Oh no! I would look like that fat kid from Char- uh, Char- Charlie and the Chocolate Factory when he goes through the tube and he's like being lifted Augustus up. Augustus glue. Augustus yeah, yeah, glue. thank you. Uh, shit. Okay, well I don't want to do that. That sounds like a nightmare and I'm remembering that I have claustrophobia. So I'm going to walk away from the I'm going to walk away from the tube. Uh, a rat could definitely fit though. I'm gonna walk away from the tube, and I'm going to. Uh, it can shoot the metal. Well, let's start with this. Does anybody know how to get to the dungeon? No, we either need to go find Brutus. We we can fuck with these gears, or we can try to continue to break through the metal. Did I can ever go to the dungeon. No. Well, then we have to. You just were break running our to the dungeon through. to get Ashar, and then he came out. Right. And bloody tears played, and he slaughtered all the bugs. Oh, all that. that was very. And cool. we thought about going into the dungeon to talk to the Shadar Kai that he had like down there for, right, for feeding, and but we he, never did. We well, played board games instead. He, he fed on him for the. When, when there was a window played. of opportunity when it could have been like, "Hey, what's up, guy?" Yeah. You're like, "Oh, my name's Shadar Guy." <laughs> Shadar Guy. We played board games instead. I'm yeah. Shadar Guy. I taught everyone nice monopoly and get, get soggy bread and all the like cracks of like the whole thing. Like Brutus was like literally taking one of those like little 
what do you, those little like cleaning things, the scrubbies? Oh, like the, the, the grout, like yeah, 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 yeah the grout. He is. He's like spent like this entire time you've been on your adventure. And he's been out with a grout uh, cleaner, <laughs> getting all of the soggy bread out of the, I'm the going floor. To walk through every room of this castle and create food and water. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do that? His betrayal will go answered. Oh, I, really, I agree. Really did not see that coming. I did. I've got some ideas. I'm going to give him the curse of the gummy booger. That's disgusting. Oh, what, what Tell is me the more. curse of the gummy booger? Oh, uh, he just he has one of those gummy boogers, and no matter what you do, <laughs> it's always <laughs> it never wish. quite. <laughs> I would, I would, I would <laughs> <hate> myself. <laughs> For the rest of your life, you can you can cram it between the fingers, but you know it's there. You know it's there, and then no, you. No, that's 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 no. worse than death. <laughs> <laughs> the curse of the gummy yeah, booger. Yeah, that is worse than death. Oh yeah. Worse than death. It's about right? the size of a small pea, and it just it just has like a huge booger. And it's gummy, and it's, gummy. It's, and it's just gonna oh, stick on you fall. for the rest of your life. <laughs> I, I guess if it was just normal, like it would just be life. Well, that's yeah. not a curse. <laughs> That's fair. That's actually a very good point. Yeah, so I've got my plans. <clears throat> do you want to try to get out the door and go to the dungeon, or should we just try to get through? Well, my fear is if we leave the room, clearly Brutus put us in here for a reason. If we leave and they're alerted to us wandering around the castle, we might find ourselves in a situation without Felix when we need Felix. Yeah, what if we walk outside the door and there's just more gargoyles? Oh, that's a good point. All right, I guess I'll get started. <coughs> do you think... <coughs> yeah, you keep working on it. Clang! Clang! Do I, do I feel like I'm making any progress? Absolutely not. <laughs> Without assistance, no. You're like you're starting to like warp it a little bit, like, but it's it, your your mole and the nature of what you're doing. You don't feel like you're eventually going to burst through without perhaps like a heat metal or an acidic, you know, None thing of us to have help corrode it. Stop suggesting it. Is, <laughs> this, is, this is an example. Is I know, metal. I know. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's very reinforced, but like it's it's just normal metal, right? Yeah, it's it just. Oh, so it's not anti magic metal. Uh, well. <laughs> they have not deduced any okay. of that. That's, yeah. what, that's what I'm, I'm just making yeah. sure. He did right. describe a shimmer on it. Right, though. that's why I want to make sure yes. I heard that right. That's all. I apologize. I, I wasn't trying to medicate. Well, I'm, I don't really, I probably don't perceive that, so I'm just going to keep going until someone else. You think, you think Brutus is going to come back anytime soon? Felix, who isn't here? <laughs> <laughs> um, in the meantime, I will have uh, checked the, the, the... I'm not going to touch the bars, because I know what, what's going on. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to raise this, like, suck my soul out of my body or some shit. Uh, so I'm going to attempt to pick a lock, if there even is one. I don't want to mess with that. I will uh, help myself to the wine. Okay. I, 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 there's really no point in abstaining now, I guess. I mean, I, hopefully they'll find me eventually, and yeah. uh, I'll sit here and I'll think for a bit. So I will pour myself a little bit of wine and maybe uh, you know open my notebook and like look for the books on the- I would say uh, make an investigation check at advantage because you're just taking your time. There's some charcuterie, a little prosciutto. <laughs> nice. Uh, at advantage? There actually is bear prosciutto, which you guys invented. Is it, oh yeah. In investigation? <laughs> yeah. Delicious. 21. 21. Oh, yes. I, I think you look around the inventors and you're able prosciutto. to find, um, there's actually a, a good number of books on alchemy, and you actually put together that uh, that things that Escher had said, oh, we'll talk about that when we get back to Castle Armornia, they're all of the stuff that he had been mentioning is all there. Then I will pour and, myself a nice glass of wine and I will start to peruse and do some, like you said, and, do some light reading. Yeah, and uh, the, and the, the corner um, will, and in the corner there is a strange kind of mechanical contraption that basically it's like a, an old timey uh, record player horn type thing. Oh, and a it's gramophone? A gramophone, exactly right, thank you. Uh, it's like a, it's a magical uh, artificer's oh, gramophone oh, oh, that kind of hums oh, with a shimmer. Oh, uh, a shimmering, uh, uh, bluish magic, um, and it, it, there's a little note on it that says, like, uh, if this is play me, I'm sorry. Oh, well, then I'm definitely oh, wow. going to do that, and then I'm going to go pee so that they can continue to RP someone to find me, and then you can uh, tell me what the thing is. But then you sip the wine, you have to make a constitution. I'm, yeah. You enjoy the wine, it's delicious. Yes! It's, 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 the, it's the same wine that you all had been served at the feast that you enjoyed with Vasha and, uh, and Escher. It doesn't look like you're making much progress. Should I, like, uh, uh, maybe uh, attempt to heat the metal in some fashion in order to make it softer for your impact? Oh, you can do that? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, why would you suggest? Well, I can that? make a really high pitched sound, and perhaps the, the the metal will break up. But that that shimmery biz, uh, it makes me think that perhaps it's uh, resistant to your physical attacks. 
Do I get a sense looking at the shimmer that it's part of the reason why Toa is taking such a long time? Make an arcana check. Oh. oh That's oh, where I'm okay. something. I'm, I'm definitely something at that. Do you want to summon your friend? Do you want to summon the Thai food? <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, I am stalking it like crazy. <laughs> oh, it's taking for freaking ever. I'm in shimmer orders. <laughs> I look at the shimmer with a 17 in Arcana. Hmm. Um, I would say that it is it is magically reinforced. Uh, that 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 the only reason why Toa's uh, maul is making a dent at all is because it is a magical weapon. Because it's Toa, uh, and it's Toa. The sheer amount of strength is the only reason why it's slightly denting, and that that it's it's not meant. It is meant to be resistant to just being brute forced through. Um, however other types of damage would be able to, you know, wear it away. It's not meant oh. to completely resist an assault. Let me see uh, what you, I can do. You do, do know, I, you do, do remember. Do I imagine that if I summoned um, some kind of angel from uh, Anubis's realm uh, with Jesus. like a shield and sword that it could destroy this thing? I would say, yeah, that's pretty hey, cool. Hey, this no. door's <laughs> stuck. Can you open it? That's it? <laughs> what the Why fuck? Why you summoned me? Yeah. <laughs> I can't get the Jar of the, or the lid off the jar. <laughs> Can you open um, the pickle jar? For and, and I will say that you recall <laughs> that Horrible. the uh, horrid arachnoid abominations created by Ravenovia with their acidic uh, necrotic spittle were able to get through the metal as well. So it is penetrable, um, as well as you know the stone. So I will say that. Oh yeah, I remember that. And I'll, well, yeah, I mean, let me see if I can reduce the magic or maybe get rid of it entirely. Um, that would also help him. Oh. Yeah, divine. You get the divine fire would would be able to. <laughs> Please uh, summon an angel to open the door for us. <laughs> we need the gods blow torch. How long does he stick around? And can I That's name like an, him? An hour. I would say you can describe what he looks like if you want to have like kind of an Anubian uh, from Arcadia. Yeah, Anubian guardian. An Arcadian. So kind of like, um, kind of like in um, uh, AQ. Uh, is it AQ40? Yeah. Where they had the like Anubis set idols or whatever. Yeah, yeah, and, they were just... and Anubis, perhaps he could be he could be like a statue, like a shimmering like golden statue. Yeah. Uh, as it, as it, he's a, it would be a celestial, but you know. Uh, very similar to the um, the lion, Chinese lion dogs are, are, are kind of like living constructs that are in the divine realms. Yeah, so I mean, gods. do I want to use a fifth level spell? It uh, lasts for an hour. Let me, oh, let me wow. dispel magic and see how much progress we make with just that. It's up to you guys. I'm just going to keep hitting it. Okay. Bonk. Bonk. Toom. 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 Oh, that's a bit syncopated. <laughs> <laughs> and the syncopation is what we need in order to dispel the magic. I, 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 I look for the frequency of the magic, and if I have to roll anything, you do let have me to know. Roll, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so let me go to the dispel magic rolly rules and find out for what purpose. Uh, DC equals 10 plus the spells level. Okay, roll. I absolutely demolish it mm. with a uh, 28. I'm sorry, it's a 23. It's, a, it's my modifier, not my spell attack. Uh, so a 23, uh, and the DC would have been 10 plus the spell level of John Chang, please. Uh, you cast it, and you see please as the you. shimmer in this uh, area bursts for a second, and then to a slams into it and it dents a little bit more and then you get the sense Oh, this is going to take You get the sense that you get the sense that the the that field is coming from somewhere else beyond that sheet of metal. Mm. All right. That was ugh. And I point my claws towards the sky and I start chanting something in uh, ancient Sakeshin and then all of a sudden in front of me this gigantic Anubian statue no. appears oh, out of nowhere with his uh, hook and flail. We can't get the door open, darling. Can Who we? dare summon me? <laughs> I forgot to oh, hi, Sakeshin. Hi, hi Priestess, Iris of the Sands. Ah, darling. hi, Priestess. I am at your command, and you hear kind of this grumbling of stone, oh, but it cool. almost sounds like a chime, like a or like a gong as he moves. Darling, we can get the store open. 
Look at it. It's all magical and crazy. <laughs> and it's made of metal. Yeah, he's been hitting it for a really long time. I tried to spell magic and nothing. I, if you got some heat metal, that'd be... that'd be <laughs> I'm, the... I'm getting tendonitis in my Do elbow. Do you think you can... And have this drawer of pickles. <laughs> I've we had it we since all Zentra. have pickles. <laughs> I love pickles. He crushes the lid, and the jar is perfect. The lid, the metal, the lid is completely crushed. Perfect, perfect. And the he's metal not wearing is a shirt, right? And he's oh like no, really no, ripped. he's like he's absolutely he's ripped. Uh, and optional, uh, optional uh, Anubis nipples, if you want. Uh, please, as he, yes. As he hands, I'm the sorry. What are Anubis it? nipples? <laughs> oh, you know. I, I would use. A I pickle. don't. I could use a pickle. Does it mean like a Maybe dog nipple, nipples. or his nipples are shaped like the crest, like oh, Anubis's God. face? I imagine he had Anubis pasties on. Mm. This door. Yes, here, darling. And then, would you mind desecrating this um coffin? Oh, that's a good. Do idea you mean too. Halloween? Yes. What What are the abilities of the thing? Just so I look at, I know what. He... He's just he belongs to me for an hour. And he does like a shit ton of fucking damage if we're in combat. What's the spell? Uh, it's called Summon Celestial. He can do a shit ton. Of so it doesn't really sword. say what he can do. I think it's I'll like just allow it. I'll just allow it here. Uh, it seems like something as an angel. He looks... Because like I don't, I don't imagine why you would have him for an hour if he can only do combat. Um, and, and for this instance, uh, you look down, he looks but down But he doesn't at the need door. to hallow it, I just wanted him to destroy oh, yeah. the whole yeah, thing. I'm sure you sure. can kind of, uh, some yes. creative ways to use it for an hour. First, <laughs> I mean, this is the I door you wish for, for me to open that will not budge. Yeah. Yes. Good thing I brought my WD-40. He, he reaches to his <laughs> oh, tool Jesus. belt and he holds it and he's like, yeah. Good thing I brought my small WD-40. Yeah. <laughs> he reaches down, there's a small can. <laughs> Yes. Yes. <laughs> I love him. I'm summoning him over and over and over again. Yeah. How, how he leans often? down, and it is a magical spray as it heats metal. <laughs> ah, fuck. <laughs> as it starts to warp to along the sides of it. Uh, as Felix, you feel a little bit of heat as the roof above you, it's all stone, it starts to kind of glow hot. Ooh. As uh, he then leans down, as he kicks through, and there's a burst of stone and metal as it clangs down ah! on top of you. You have to dive out as he just kicks it with his sandal foot. The charcuterie! His calf the is gigantic. This statue has never skipped leg day in his life. Good for him. As Not he that. smashes down, and uh, he looks down at... Uh, at the coffin as he just as it, with one kick with a burst oh of holy God. flame as it explodes uh, the grave dirt is scattered everywhere and you see as all of the dirt like catches fire and burns with this holy golden radiance Ooh. as it si uh, simmers down and, and, and shimmers and fades uh, as you now hear um, that about like 30 feet up uh, or 20 feet up I'll say uh, you hear your friends finally Hey! Hey guys, can you hear me? Phoenix! We got pickles! Uh, oh, um, that's, that's great! Uh, so, sorry, I, I couldn't come back up there. There's, there's some sort of anti-magic field thing going on. I, I'm, I'm completely useless down here. You want me to lower down a rope? Um, does that look like that would be feasible? Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's, it's a tube. It's 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 a uh, a very clearly a metal tube that's been built into stone around it, uh, and you get the sense that basically it's covering this entire floor. There's a, a series well, of tubes. At the very least, I mean, we we don't really want Darling here. That's what his name is now. Oh, we don't really. Want yes, it is, High Priestess. <laughs> we don't really want Darling to come down with us if it's an anti-magic field, so we could have him statuesquely stand here holding the rope. Okay, yeah. great. And then we can all climb down. Present the rope. I don't actually have any rope. Do you guys have rope? I have 50 feet of hemp and rope. Well, I mean, he's, the thing is, he has to support my weight, and I'm not sure he's strong enough. I'm a pretty big guy. Hand me the rope! I think he's coming <laughs> up. Darling. Yeah, we're and not I, going I down, give you the rope. No, no, you guys, I, I mean, we should get out of here eventually, but there's something you need to see. Oh! What is it? Why did you just say that? And I'll jump down the hole and slow fall. <laughs> yeah, you do that. And uh, you start to slow fall. And as soon as you get to a certain point, uh, your slow fall just immediately dissipates and you fall oh, on your butt. <laughs> and you rapidly age 120 years old. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. My beautiful face. 
Pro tip for you D and D players: Never wish for every day to be your birthday because you're just gonna age. <laughs> <laughs> Monkey paw. <laughs> well played. That's Anyways, awful. what a nightmare. Uh, I try to casualty. She's falling. Yeah, I would say you're able to catch her as as it dissipates. And you it know breaks your arms, both of them. Uh, and she's very small and light. Uh, your arms dense. are now just jiggling air. like this. Why are you so dense? You're like a dark star. <laughs> you just have jiggle arms. She's very dense. <sighs> Oh. As uh, oh, as uh, darling, as darling holds the rope, uh, as you see a rope uh, cast down Chun and it makes Shang. its way uh, very easily. Well, I guess we'll go down to the place where Escher wanted us to go down. That's fine. <laughs> totally makes sense to me. Let's go. And I, I make my way non magically and uh, relatively dexterously to the floor. Oh, salamis. Hey, drop the pickles down, they're snacks. <laughs> I drop the pickles <laughs> and the glass jar shatters. <laughs> I, 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 I attempt to cast Mage Hand just oh. as it like, uh, is about oh. to, and then not, the anti magic doesn't occur. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> and you just, you missed the job. No! Anti magic! The pickles slam into the stone and just pulp. Oh, yeah, it's just scattered. There's oh. brine everywhere. Does that mean I can't sing things that create magical effects? I mean, you'd still be able to sing, but I mean, in theory, your song wouldn't interact with the weave. Red mad dragon. <laughs> oh! Red dragon. Oh, God. Oh, treasure horn. No, 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 what no, is no, that? No, 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 you know what? We'll try again later, Caprice. <laughs> now is not note. a good time. <laughs> oh, you don't actually know how to play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awful. That would be so terrible. <laughs> A non-canon, non-canon joke. No, that's canon no, now. No, non-canon. That is canon now, buddy. And I'm just standing up there massaging his arms while he's holding the rope. Are you Thank sure you, you can support me? I mean, you know, I'm, I'm 40% Descend, off. Stone Man! <laughs> I love you. You're not that strong. And I'm gonna go he's down. effortlessly holding you up. Watch my arm, it will not waver, Stone Man! He's turning an arm strong. I oh, love it! <laughs> Feeling a little self-conscious. He, as you're descending, you see it. He, you see his thumb and his finger slip a little bit, and he just lets a little bit of a gift. So you just kind of like <laughs> fold. You fall a bit <laughs> and get <laughs> scared. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I got I'm you down. there. I'm down with everybody. You join. And I, I will climb down as well. You'll climb down. I will hold the rope for. Fifty-eight more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, then I return to Arcadia in the arms of my god. <laughs> All right, well, I don't, I don't think it's going to take that long. Um, when I got down here and I realized the situation that I was in, well, I, I started looking through the books and I helped myself a little bit to the wine because I figured if I'm going to die down here, I might as well, oh. you know. Yeah, by situation, do you mean like a really nicely furnished room while we were up there fighting yeah, gargoyles? I, I'm actually in really good shape. Everything's fine. Um, oh, good to hear. But I saw this uh, uh, music player and, you know, at first I was going to go find uh, uh, Frank Sinomtra's uh, greatest hit. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, uh, bless <laughs> me with him. a boon. Um, <laughs> but then I noticed that there was already a record right on the thing. So I looked at it and it, there was a note, and it's very clearly the food's it's just here. Yeah. Writing. Well, I guess we got to hold this moment because this seems like it's going to be really important to the story. No, 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 go ahead and play it. We got plenty of time. <laughs> you all are standing in this anti magic cell yeah. Uh, yeah. as uh, <clears throat> as Felix has gestured to the gramophone looking contraption to the side. I mean, this, this the note that, that was left here, I mean, it's very clearly from Esther. I mean, we, we gotta listen to it and see what it says. I mean, who knows when he even made this? It might it might let us know if he's been here recently or if this is from, you know, b before. Do you, think, do you think this contraption or device will even work without magic? That's a great question. I mean, I, I don't know. It uh, appears to be mechanical in nature and I investigated uh, it. Make an investigation check. Lemma good. That's enough. Um, That's you good. see that the <laughs> we're like we're like uh, really the fact that we don't think 15s are good. Well, I'm just worried. We, have a, we have a skewed vision of what's going on. Like, like, I'm, I'm worried everything's very great. hard oh, now, right? Yeah. I'm just That's I'm nervous. Scary, okay. <laughs> uh, you see that this gramophone contraption is it is up against the wall, 
and you get the sense that although that this uh, this cone is projecting sound, there seems to be some sort of mechanical device. It's embedded into the wall, perhaps something powering it magically. Mm. I relay this to the team. So, yes, I mean, oh, go ahead. So it, it won't work because it's it's magic coming into a non-magical arena. You get the sense that it's powering magic, but the machine will, will produce the sounds. I, I I don't know. I mean, it seems like it'll work just fine. I don't know why Escher would leave it if it didn't work. I, I mean, clearly it's a message for, for, for someone. I assume us. There's an apology on here. How do you turn it on? There is um, some strange button or something. Well, I, you know, I, I think... So with a gramophone or this. a Vitrola, there's a yeah, crank. Oh, yeah, there's a crank. We'll just say I it's a crank. I think that if yeah. I set this here I and know, do this, and I, I've been reading through the notes that have, and all the things that are here, there were all these books and, and tomes that he said he would teach me when we got back, and we never got to, but anyway... <laughs> I, I snap the handle off. Uh, yeah. Uh, Does the you, voice get faster or slower when he changes the speed? No, of because it's magic. Oh. <laughs> we're, we're level 16 for uh, whoever asked. Oh. Uh, Negavon. Yes, thank you. As you crank it, there is a bit of a. Uh, you hear a, a humming coming from the wall beside you. As uh, Jesse, the poet, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank That's you. So nice. Thank you very much. Thank gifted you. subs. It's very generous. Just wonderful. the machinery and the gears turn and there's a humming from behind the wall and you hear Escher's voice uh, emerge from this contraption and it says well hello my friends if you are listening to this I hope you find your accommodations acceptable and it means that my plan worked and that you made the mistake of checking in on Castle Ramonia, and Brutus miraculously duped you. Ha, <laughs> oh, he really did. <laughs> Do not face or direct your ire at him. He does not have free will. He must follow my commands. He had no choice in the matter, and if it makes you feel better, he was very sad to hear what he must do. Okay. That said, I wanted to personally thank you for everything and apologize for everything. You will have enough food and drink to last until Eternally. it happens. Once the end begins, Brutus will remove the magical shackles, the anti-magic field, and you'll be welcome to fend for yourselves the best you can. I hope you and your loved ones will survive what's to come, as unlikely as it is. I implore you, do not try to escape. Do not try to stop me. What I'm about to do, I will kill as few people as possible. I cannot promise <coughs> that I won't bloody my blade. We are running out of time. I suppose in the end I am just like Brutus now, an automaton of free will, with, with no free will. And if you did leave any loved ones, the castle in Barovia, I will do my best to spare them if they do not get in my way. I hope we never meet again. I do not wish to look upon you and see, have you see what I've become. Farewell. May your next steps be the right ones at the end of all things. And it scratches to an end. So, so that's it. He's, he's just, he's working for for him now? We have to stop him. Absolutely. We, we gotta get back there. I mean, all those innocent people in Milo, they're still at the castle. I mean, what is this 
plan? Do we have any sense of what he might be doing? Let, let's get out of this room. We got rope. We can go through back up through the hole. We, we, we don't have to listen to him. We can escape right now. Right. Is there any, anything else? Keep cranking. Maybe there's more. Uh, maybe on the other side? <laughs> Yeah, we flip it over and keep cranking. B side. Oh, by the way, <laughs> you were all over the details to my plans. Is this thing on? <laughs> oh, it works. Well, uh, this is just for my own personal recordings. I, No one will ever be allowed to hear my poetry that I'm writing. <laughs> And you hear the most embarrassingly bad and cringy poetry. Oh, turn it off. Stop cranking. <laughs> she was an air genossi, but there was more substance than air. <laughs> it smelled like alchemy in air. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. That's not bad. <laughs> um, I grab uh, the copy of Twilight Imperium 3 and I make my way up the rope. I also make my way up the rope. Provi- uh, yeah, I make my way up the rope. I would like to grab four bo- um, four books, uh, Twilight, Eclipse, New Moon, mm-hmm. and whatever the other one was. Mm-hmm. Sure. Revelations. <laughs> the book of? <laughs> the book of. Revelations uh, come on the Twilight Revelations. My, my pack Revelation. My, yeah. uh, you do that. Uh, and they only have... Um, Chapter House Dune. They, like, he only got the last book in the series. Like, no one wants to read that shit. Uh, Polymorph said, grab Dune. So, no, he doesn't. It's only Chapter House Dune. Uh, oh, cosplay God. Cammy says, I might just fall asleep. I took some drugs to help with my jaw, and I'm tired. Can I lurk or something? Yeah. Yes, yeah. please lurk. Please and lurk. get rest. We want you to feel better. And you do find a book that's, you don't find Revelations. You do find Revelation. It's with an S now. Oh, got it. Thank you, Nose. I don't see any books. Yeah, me either. I got the rope. You don't grab any cheeses? Thank you, I Abby. Grab... Breaking Dawn is the fourth book that I... Just a little piece of cheese. I grab a smoked piece of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I, I eat it as I climb one hand. But... And you say, did you know that this is actually pre- pr- pronounced Gouda? <laughs> you know, everybody says Gouda, but it's actually Gouda. Did you got something caught in your throat, dog? You all right? I learned that at a poker table in Zentra. <laughs> I didn't know you played poker. I <laughs> don't. <laughs> Not very bad. It's an elaborate trick. <laughs> I you, climb up. You make your way up the rope, and Felix, you see for the first time this uh, shimmering divine statue. Hey, guys, by the way, who's holding the. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you can it see. is I, I am holding the rope. You can see right I am right darling. Right <laughs> <laughs> why, why is our art's nipples out? What, what's going on? What did I miss? Well, this is, he, he announced it to you. This is Darling. Oh, uh, uh, pleasure to meet you, Darling. I'm going to climb. Keep to climb out. And, like, <laughs> climb away from this. Yeah, scurry away from this <laughs> literal angel. Isn't he beautiful? Frighteningly so. I find the scarabs that cover his nipples to be very tasteful. <laughs> I love that they're encrusted with gems. Right? The nipples, not the scarabs. Oh, I know. It's uh, like a dotted pattern around the sides. It keeps me decent. <laughs> he's he's like fully nude with a gigantic dong, and there's just a scarab like the scarab covering the whole. It keeps me decent. He's cool, the doctor. <laughs> <Manhattan. Manhattan. laughs> You can see the scarab on his sword. He's got a scales tattoo on one both sides of his thighs on the inside. <laughs> You look so however you want him to look. <laughs> I have no dis- I have no say in that. This dong is too. huge. So He's darling. mostly dong. He's mostly dong. <laughs> Dongling. I mean darling. <laughs> He's just tripoding over the hole. <laughs> is it even a Freudian slip at this point? What's <laughs> <laughs> that belt you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> That's where I keep my WD-40. <laughs> Girl. I just tuck it in as I wrap it around my waist. Ew. <laughs> oh. oh my. Oh my. Cologne says, so we know the first minifigure they're making now. Yeah. Gotta mm. print darling. <sighs> mm. uh, yeah, Rich has to paint it. <laughs> He's gonna have the green stuff. He's gonna just be like, he's gonna just, the whole time, he's just gonna be like sobbing. <laughs> the highlights will be coming from here. Some shadow. Let me put a wash. wash. Yeah, I was gonna say the wash would be the worst. Oh, she wanted a double wrap. Oh. 
What happens if he goes into the anti-magic room? His dog technically makes him a large creature, not a medium. Yeah. So Happily can use it for cover. That's incredible. I <laughs> see these are why this is why you have to tactically be sound. You know? Oh, you gotta be man. tactically sound. I feel my AC increasing. Oh god. You know when you laugh so hard it makes the back of your head hurt. Mm. That's what's happening. Well, we gotta, uh, we gotta, we gotta move, guys. I don't know what to. What's, what's our next step? Well, I think, I mean, I guess that's where he sleeps. Is there any way we can maybe read about his plan? Probably not in this room. Is he like a library? Brutus. Yeah, I think we need to find Brutus and kill him. No, we're not gonna kill him. It wasn't his fault. We could just take his limbs. <laughs> we should just chastise <laughs> him. I think that would really get to him. Just <laughs> then he won't be able to move around. He just, he I think he went. Be... Is the door still shut? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, um, could you help us get the door open? <laughs> yes. Behold, <laughs> new one, my WD forty. <laughs> I thought he was just gonna use his battery. Yeah, I, yeah I, was I thought he was going. gonna use his. Well, no, what you say is dick into the he, he runs it. this. He runs this uh, jet flame of divine fire, very similar to heat metal. Uh, as Kip, he's get mentioning, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and he goes around the outside and is glowing with this uh, molten divine light. And you see him just stop and put his uh, arms down next to his side, <gasps> and he just fucking uh, three hundred kicks the uh, with his penis. <laughs> the door. Opens. This is. And, Dongling, <laughs> <laughs> and it flies off the handle and clatters into the hallway. Oh, that was easy. How, long, how much longer you got? I have twenty-seven minutes left. <laughs> I don't remember. Twenty-seven minutes. That's pretty good. I think he went this way. All right, let's go find him. But he, but even if we find Brutus, I mean, from what we heard on the on the the, the, the machine is. He might not tell us. He might not be able to tell us anything. But it's worth a shot. We gotta at least find him and see what we can learn. We could try. Let's go. See if we can lure him in here. Can't you like sound like Asha and tell him to come to us? I mean, I can. This castle's I can look, huge. I can look however I want. Maybe I could just pretend to be Escher. I oh, mean, I can be idea. me. I can be you. I could be some random guy. <laughs> oh, I remember that one. Yeah. <laughs> you should do it, and you can sound like him too. Oh, uh, I, uh, no, 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 let, 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 let me, let, 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 the right, there was the right pitch in there, there's a... Um, you know what voice to use. <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy to fall into that voice. Let's use the voice. <laughs> what? Use the voice. Just do it. You know what? Mm. You may be wondering who speaks to you now. You may be wondering <laughs> who speaks to you now. Mm, fire's good. Torkar. You know your destiny. I can't, I can't do a good Escher, but uh, I'm a pitch perfect Escher in the reality of this universe. Uh, I, tr- I, tr- I use, uh, uh, it's not Disguise Self, I think. It's it's the one where I'm actually alter the thing. Self? Alter yeah, Self. Alter Self. So I alter Can you read me this spell? <laughs> this is your mega illusion. And I need you to describe how you're going to form yourself. Oh as no, he looks different. <laughs> I'm fucked. <laughs> what? <laughs> you the, know, well, we we oh. we know from a, like well, sort of a meta perspective, but Caprice has, has maybe looked over this detail as that he doesn't look the same anymore. So it just depends on when he told uh, Brutus to do what he did. Right? Oh. We don't really know the time. He saw like here. all his hair digested off and like right. He lost all of his hair, horrible like, scars. His bottom, his entire his bottom, bottom half, half was entirely off. digested. Yeah. Ew. So we don't know what it looks like now. Yeah. No the point. He's probably being restored in some way. Maybe but just not use his voice way. then. Well, we don't. Did Capri say that out loud? You, no. you can't appear as a creature a different size than you, okay. and your basic shape remains the same. I just want you to describe like, how you're going to present Escher. What will Escher look what like? What will Escher look in like? This elusive form. Um, I would use the memory of what Escher looks like, uh, that I last saw him in, but I want him to look, um, even more beat up and injured. I want him to look, uh, uh, perhaps even like blood and scars on him, like as if he's been in some sort of fresh fight or something and has returned to the castle in a panic. Okay. Oh, that's clever. Okay. I like it. How do I look? I'm grumpy vampire now. Really? Oh, I, I love the voice. It's so good. It sounds just like him. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's really gruesome. But I, if this is going to get Brutus to like in a panic, maybe spill the beans, then yeah. 
And we'll wait here like Scooby Doo style, like, you know, across the way. Like one head above the others, we'll all be peeking out. Exactly right. Mmm, Brutus. I will, uh, if that's the plan. Ooh, Brutus. Uh, Brutus. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll, I'll walk out into the hallway. To me, Brutus. To me. <laughs> Barbarian needs food badly. Vampire hungry. <laughs> Make an exception check at disadvantage. A disadvantage. But it was so good. Yeah, I wasn't convinced that that wasn't Mike just doing yeah, I, I'm I'm sure. Like, sure. I um, mean, if I were the DM, I would have been convinced. Yeah. No, well, you know what? Well, fortunately, I'm a bard. Certain uh, uh, what was it twenty? Yeah. Uh, I will accept a thirty-two. <laughs> uh. You Jesus. make your way up the the spiral staircase, uh, uh, upwards, and you see where the hallway splits off uh, down in the direction of the dungeon, and you actually see this massive looming gargoyle-shaped shadow lumbering towards you as it gets smaller and smaller as <laughs> Brutus, Brutus, you hear the sound. Every time. You, say, you see the sound of these scuffling feet as you see that that, that Brutus is uh, scampering towards the, the stairway that leads down into the dungeon as he's holding a tray, and he's like, well, I'm sorry about uh, your being in prison, but I brought pistachios! As, <laughs> pistachios! As he has, as he has has a little tray, and, and you see that there's a bowl of pistachios. They have not been shelled. Uh, oh no. As uh, he is making his way, and you can see that he's very nervous. Like, okay, you're gonna be very upset. You just act very kindly. They can't get through the bars. It's fine, it's fine. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And he's like muttering to himself, and you call out at this point. I will have one arm uh, like supporting myself, like I can barely stand. And I, I, I look gaunt and weak, weaker and gaunter than I would uh, even if I hadn't fed for weeks. Oh, and uh, I see, I see Brutus. Stop, Brutus. He looks at you and he stops and he drops the tray and the pistachio is scattered I was, everywhere. I was going to throw the tray anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and as the, the pistachios like are all clattering, yeah, all <laughs> clattering down the stairs. You all, you all see from around the uh, the the stairwell bouncing pistachios down the hallway towards you. Um, and he stops and he looks at you and he blinks and he says, <clears throat> Masha, you, you're back already? Uh, and I thought you wasn't coming back for a long time, or if not ever, and, and, you, and you will restore what happened to you, all of, you know, what happened to all that stuff? It's been a trying time since I left you last. Uh, the plan was a success, though. The others have been trapped underneath my bedchamber. I use thaumaturgy to create the sound of, like, crack crackling thunder. Like booming thunder. <gasps> uh, make a deception check. We'll say it's straight now. Oh, uh, oh you do. Oh, okay. That gun, I'm like, oh. Uh, 26. What'd you get a two? Ten. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Bruce can beat that. <laughs> He can't have my insight. No, there's no way. He's a bumbling moron, but he's our bumbling moron. <laughs> he looks and he says, Oh, oh you, you, that means you got the, uh, the hairpin then? Unfortunately, no. That's why I'm here. We have to come up with a new plan. Not just that, but my mind has been addled. There were more obstacles than I thought to anticipate. Oh no, but you anticipate everything. You're so smart and wise and handsome. Yes, yes, yes. You, That's you're very a lot more no, handsome now. Now is not the time for compliments. Okay. I'm sorry, master. Um, uh, what, what, what happened? What obstacles could you possibly not not defeat with your, your newfound demonic powers? I need to review what I was planning on doing previously to refresh myself, to see where things could have gone wrong, where... where and I'm sorry, my mind is so addled. Where are my plans? <laughs> pretty good. This is pretty good. I'm pretty good. Oh, take, take, me, take me to my reading room. Oh, your, your reading room? Where my plans are, take me to them. Oh, 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 the room for reading. Okay, you really have a idle brain. Okay, I <laughs> right this way, Master. Are, are you okay? What sort of obstacles could have defeated you with your vampire and demonic powers from the P-Man? I came inches away from a mind blank spell. 
from a from a spell that would have wiped me clean entirely. It took everything I had to get out and return to you in this state. How did you Enough with your questions, ah, take me now! How did you well I'm just so I'm so curious! Is he fucked up mustachios? <laughs> oh, should I not get? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, the prisoners are all the way. The prisoners are all downstairs. They're gonna be safe until the apocalypse happens. You'll be happy to know. My you think I don't know what would happen in my own castle? Of course, I know the prisoners are away. Oh well, I just, I just was very proud. You'd be very proud of, of me acting ability. I said, oh, right this way. I am not uh, deceiving you in any way, shape, or form. Uh, proud uh, and surprised. Oh, well, see, I can be, I, can, I could go to acting school if I wanted. You know, it was always my dream since I was a little block that I wanted to uh, <laughs> to perform the classics as he's scampering, he's leading you through the castle. Okay. Uh, and I will assume that he's going to take me to a place where perhaps there will be some form of documentation or written instruction. Uh, uh, what I've asked to, uh, of him is to take me to where I do where Escher would do uh, that level of um, chess moves and, and, and figure that sort of thing out. Maybe See if I can dire. get uh, 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 a better sense of what his uh, strategies and tactics were uh, that we might not know about, that maybe we can start anticipating where, where to, to move next for real. Got it. He leads you down various hallways back up through the castle. And he continues to talk. It's like, you know, I didn't think you looked that bad with all the feathers. I mean, you know, it's not too bad. And those wings are really cool. So, I mean, that's, you know, you don't need Bucephalus. And, you know, that's that was nice. Do you need Bucephalus now again? Do you know what Bucephalus is? Should I need to travel from here? Yes. But first I... Oh, I'm glad he's doing okay. I must make sure that the plans that I laid out are, are, are still in motion. Okay, well, you know, I, I hope you, your new friend, the P-Man, he's doing okay now. I know that he wasn't feeling very, very nice. Uh, and so he's leading you through the uh, the area, the, through the castle, and he eventually uh, takes you to a room. And he's, and uh, you see that it is, uh, that it's, it's glowing with all of these magical uh, arcane runes and spells, protecting spells, and you see that there's a, a strange indentation in the lock that seems to have some sort of special, like, crystal uh, indent. And he says, oh, do you have your key, master? I, oh, look at me. No. Look at me. I, I, my, my feathers are gone. I have no, almost nothing on me. Do, do I look like I have a key on me? Open my door so oh, I can okay. get Okay, I'll use more copy. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls out a crystal gem of the exact same size that he needed, and he pl presses it in, and suddenly the uh, ruins flash, and then uh, they glow bright with this green alchemical energy, and they descend back into the wall, and he uh, uh, opens the door. He says, uh, here's a room for reading, which, uh, which you was in before you uh, left, and you gave me explicit instructions. Would you care for any um, uh, uh, bear shuto? Yes, I, look, I, look, I, I ignore him and I look around. Good, good, yes. Exactly. Is Thank every, you. Oh, is he, so the eclipse is going to happen? Blood. Did, oh. Wine. And perhaps a healing potion or two. What what, uh, what type of blood? Any preference, uh, Master? Perhaps I can interest you. We, should, we got bear, we got bull. I'm feeling a bit berry. Barry, uh, we're out fresh out of humanoids unless you want me to tap anyone downstairs. No, I'll deal with them on my own in my own time. Okay. Leave well, me. This, uh, okay. Okay. And he scampers away uh, and he and he uh, scatter, he uh, scampers away from you. As soon as I hear his footsteps get muted from distance, I will immediately start to um, uh, look around and see if there's any written a uh, uh, material that would indicate like a journal or 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 uh, literal plants uh, uh, I, I'm thinking in order for him to maybe schematics or or, or something that he's been doing f since his time uh, coming back to the castle that could give us any hint or clue or indication as to what he's been up to where he's going next or what P-Man is up to next uh, uh, so that we can start to get in front of this uh, nightmare event I need to make an investigation check straight. Meanwhile, what are the four of you doing? <clears throat> Standing in the hole. Yeah, I guess we'd see him walk off, and then I'd be like, uh, I don't, I, we, sh we shouldn't follow him, right? I mean, we don't want to like mess up what he's got going on, right? I don't know. If we're sneaky, maybe it wouldn't hurt. 
But do you have a way to like hide? If we're not sneaky, we could ruin everything. That's true. Yeah, I mean, as long as we stay out of sight here, I think we can just wait for Caprice to come back and hopefully yes, have I'm some sure information. He will come back. Yeah. Oh, what if we run into him? We could be like, oh yeah, Asher freed us intentionally. Yeah, but he was just with him. That doesn't make any sense. Or maybe on his way. No, we should know. definitely stay here. I think we'll just stay here. We'll stay out of sight, and we'll be fine. What's we, we could play pin the dong on the angel. Oh, uh, Oh, he's fading. Look at him. <laughs> so sad. Yes, it's... Where do you wish to pin me? Up against the wall, darling. <laughs> As you wish. <laughs> I'll be busy for the next 15 minutes. <laughs> I need to do a strip set. And muscles is flex. <sighs> muscles on top of muscles. Yeah, yeah, Lifty, yeah. would you like to help? Oh, yeah, this is a, a two-woman job butt. for sure. <laughs> it's a lot of him to cover. <laughs> and we'll, we'll attend to the angel. This is a forehand day. job. Whoa. Full skin job. I'll just pull out my ukulele and just kind of like tune it a little bit. Blink, 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 blink. Oh two, my. And I'll just like strum to myself. There's a coconut under a tree. And dealing with the trauma that I experienced several sessions ago. Uh, make a stealth check as you play the ukulele. Fuck! That's a good point, but Toe didn't think about it. And neither did Brett. Oh, you're in good shape here. Uh, 21. <laughs> so you're, doing you're doing it right here. It's not... They're very, very quiet. Damn, he even got a 20. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you, you see... Nice try. Uh, you hear him... You hear Brutus coming, and he's like, Oh, well, it's just a good thing that the monster doesn't have a feathers. I've got to get... Uh, he's feeling very okay. It's fine. I'll, uh, maybe I'll surprise him with some bears. You do too, to pair with it. Oh, what would what cheese would pair with that? Ah, oh, fuck! And you see you hear him uh, stumbling. Ah, oh, pistachios! <laughs> as, he's like, as he slips off pistachios. Like ball bearings are that. <laughs> and he tumbles down, and he makes his way over Every towards the... Every single one of those pistachios is the kind where they don't even have the small slit that you oh, can pry open. Oh, yeah. yeah so there's like, closed. no, they're completely sealed. Yeah, yeah and they're very uh, slippery. Thank oh, God Caprice oh, didn't get his hands like on those. Uh, <laughs> and you hear his little wings flap oh, as he writes himself, like and he uranium. mutters to himself as he scampers off in the direction of the kitchens, <laughs> uh, which you know to be on the other side of the castle. <clears throat> Straight up home alone. <laughs> yeah. Any? Are you going to do it to any answer? As he, as you see that he goes off towards the castle, m muttering about the kitchen. Oh, Sarah, I was distracted. Was that Brutus? Yes, it was. I think we have time. Maybe we could join the priest. Yeah, let's go. What? Uh, um, I... Did you not hear him muttering about getting things for Esha? Which yes. means he will go back. And if we're all there. Just close the door. I'm sure there's a door. Couldn't Caprice and I'm sure like, he's make got us all keys. invisible? Isn't that something he can do? Well, I'm not sure. We'll just have him tell him to what fuck if, off. What if Brutus has true sight? That's very oh, unlikely. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time that he pulled one over on us, though. That's true. Oh, there was really more Escher pulling one over on us. I don't. Via Brutus. I don't think vessel. we need to be involved in everything. No, I'm just. What, what happens if he gets trapped? Like well, a rat in a cage. He could turn into a rat and travel through the tubes. Look, Caprice has many tricks up his sleeve. And I honestly believe sometimes he would do better without us. Did he at least leave third edition of Twilight Imperium? We could at least start a game. He took it. It's in his pack. Uh, but I do have Twilight and Breaking Dawn, if you're up for some Oh, he left meeting. Knife Monopoly. I want to be the little hat. <laughs> <laughs> and you see the hat has a little knife in it. <laughs> so, we'll, so we'll start playing a game of Knife Monopoly. Uh, <laughs> what makes it Knife Monopoly? It's just all about knives. Look, and look he's, a, he's a dog stabbed clear through with a knife. <laughs> Yeah. There's a battleship that shoots knives. And technically in the directions, whoever wins gets to stab the loser who's farthest apart. Oh. We don't usually play it like that, though. <laughs> what if you're not very good with knives? Yeah. It doesn't really matter. It's more about, you know, the game itself being about knives. And knife monopoly. What's the difference between the, the colors on the board? Different colored knives. 
So How many types of knives are there? Well, there aren't that many types. Just there's an orange knife and a red knife and a purple knife and a yellow knife and a green knife and a kind of a teal knife and a sort of like a burgundy knife and a. <laughs> he goes on. And so on. what's, on what's the knife. purpose of collecting coloured knives? Well, Caprice didn't get that far when he was teaching us the rules. I think it's just so you know. Like I said, whoever has all the knives at the end stabs that, the loser. Is that why there's a jail slot? Well, right, because, I mean, once you murder someone with a knife, you have to go to jail and serve, you know, 35 in life in prison. <laughs> well, why is there free parking? Oh, that's a good question. You look down and it says free knifing. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of jail, it's prison. <laughs> <laughs> it says 35 to life on it. There's an old man behind the bar. <laughs> Anyway, that's what we do. I could have sworn that that little man had a monocle. Well, it's it's a knife monocle. No, he doesn't have a monocle, period. Oh, what does he have? No monocle. Oh, is this one of those Moncala effect things? <laughs> yes. Oh. I could have sworn he had a monocle. There's a mustachioed man down there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no monocle inside. No monocle. As you decide to wait there and and explore the wonders of knife monopoly, uh, Caprice. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a twelve on investigation. <laughs> Perfect. I'm so glad we're not. How? <laughs> I don't know. It, it's just a plus five, and I rolled like garbage. This a is seven. A, this Caprice's is a yes. this is very clearly interesting. <laughs> I feel like the outcome was already arrived, but it's up to you. Yeah, go ahead. The touch was work. That's better. Twenty-three. Let's, Let's go. go. Okay, that changes things. You. This is very clearly Escher's study. There is a uh, fireplace that uh, is empty. Uh, there's very plush furniture. Um, a very. Uh, <clears throat> A very a plush a love seat right by the fire with uh, a table that has an empty glass of wine, the stains on the glass, uh, or rather blood. Um, and you see that there is a wide variety of bookshelves and uh, pieces of art and decorations. And you see very clearly and immediately uh, large sketches all pinned up over the room especially the table uh, and the desk that he would have worked on. Uh, and you see that there's all sorts of um, pinned uh, bits of alchemical runes and all over the space where he would have sketched out uh, new bits of alchemy. He has schematics for all sorts of different contraptions. You see the, uh, the mechanism that he had designed for the trap doors. Uh, that had trapped uh -huh, you. You uh -huh. see the mechanisms for the tubing um, with the rat-sized uh, nozzles. He shows a for for uh, scale a rat trapped in a <laughs> horrific block of. Uh, of oh, of uh, looking at the goat. bottom of the floor trap, I, I see in the corner a note that says, "Hopefully they don't have heat metal." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's only second level. Oh, or, or an angel. <laughs> Odds are good they might have it. <laughs> um, and you then the see something that uh, is. Very, uh, uh, very alarming. That matches up with what you've what you've heard. You see a sketch of the castle of Barovia, uh, and you see that there is um, that there is a cross section of all of the various different rooms and uh, a pathway that has been drawn um, where. And, and little points that might uh, indicate uh, guards or, or a watch in a rotation. And you see that it's very clearly trying to chart a path to the chapel area that you have been. But not just the chapel, the uh, offshoot, that there was, there was uh, several other uh, shrines to other gods, that he was going, that this schematic, this map of the castle is to guide him or someone to the chapel of, or the, the shrine to the Raven Queen. And you recall this, uh, the, the, the artifact that was encased in glass there, um, a reformed uh, hairpin, uh, reformed, and that seems to be his destination. I'm going to take in this information quickly, but not try to solve the puzzle. Yeah. 
What I'm instead going to do is I'm going to start taking pins out. Yep. I'm going to take the p- pieces of paper. I'm going to start rolling them up. I'm going You're... to start putting them together as much as I can and bundling them underneath my arm with as much time as I have and, before Brutus returns. And you do that, and that catches your eyes, and you're looking through, and then you see something that immediately makes you stop. And directly over in this low light in this chamber is sketching, and it, he's a brilliant artist. And he, and but this this work seems almost maddened, overly quick, and you see towering up a very uh, looming, ominous um, sketch of the citadel of the Queen's Conclave, <laughs> the central citadel at the at the at the heart of Zentra. And above it is something that, as you look at it, you can't tell if it's an eclipse or a portal. And then what you see above that portal is something horrifying and something you've seen before in your worst nightmares, and your soul perhaps was there at one point. Upside down, mirroring the citadel of the Queen's Conclave, you see that horrific ziggurat oh. that you had seen oh, shit. in Pazunia. The the, the the with the powerful nightmare creatures all staircasing up into. You do not see any of the but creatures. That's, but that, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. But yep, that's yep, what yep. I'm reminded oh, of. Shit, that ain't good. As like the sky's broken open in a portal. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. That's bad. Yes. Like that's uh, so cool. like Shadowlands. Yeah, it's it's basically that. Yeah, and so oh, upside yeah. down, you see drawn is. Uh, is the Citadel. And um, I presume you take that as well. I am rolling up anything I think is relevant so I can get it to the smartest man I know. Okay. Uh, Ow! (laughs) (laughs) I will say you see various bits of of, of sketchings, of writings. I'm just blown away that this worked. I'm just like, oh, evidence. Okay, we're fucked. Oh, oh. (laughs) God, no. Oh. (laughs) Uh, and I'll say that you're able to uh, grab uh, grab a ton of different uh, things. And with that of investigation check, you have all that you think would be relevant, at least you hope so. Okay. Um, I try to calm myself, and having taken the notes, and I'm really bundling them up, uh, I, I look around, do I see um, Anything that I think might benefit the party in general. Uh, does anything look like uh, there would be magical uh, knowledge? It's the library, right? Uh, this is the reading room. Does, is there history books or something? Anything else that I think might uh, that I might be able to pick up and put in my pack before Brutus gets back, or do I think I'll Brutus say is like right around the corner? You see a uh, a uh, almost kind of looks like anachronistically like a like a, a briefcase. That is, it looks very sleek and shimmering, and it actually seems to have a bit of a design that you wouldn't expect in a place like Skethernail and Striga. It almost seems like Galtican in design. And you see a little bit of a humming glow around the lines of this case. And as you, you pop it open, you see that there's a number of empty slots, but there are three uh, uh, brightly colored gems that are humming. Uh, in it, uh, and you see that uh, that there is one blue, one red, and one green. I'm going to close the top of the lid, and um, does it look like I could uh, fold and put the the um, papers in without? them touching the gems in such a way that they might you know, No, this, these are very big sketches oh, and a okay, lot of okay, things okay. And, and and it's very tight it's meant to be like very compact like carrying holding Then case. I will not touch the gems but close the, the, the beginning case, of our case. snap it shut okay. um, and admo- like admonish the Galtican sort of style that it is and, and boggling. Uh, I'll put everything under my arm. I, I'm going to start making my way slowly as if I'm still a little bit wounded almost maybe a uh, uh, lurching forward, um, continuing to uh, make my way back towards the, the where I know my friends are, where the prisoners are. Let's see what we'll do, is we're going to do a uh, dexterity contest. 
and see how fast you were able to do all that versus how fast Brutus was able to. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's see. Unfortunately for Brutus, he broke both stone legs slipping on the pistachio. <laughs> so we've got infinite time. Uh, gotta give it up. Oh, let's Ooh. go. Oh, wow. Let's go. Uh, 24. Okay, Daddy. Natty. Whoops. You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> She's rolling really hot and it's yeah. Brutus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's got a minus to deck. He flies on his little wings to get there faster. He, I literally rolled a 19. And I gave him plus four to Dex. Unbelievable. So he's a 23. Uh, so I would have just closed the pack and then maybe turned around and he'd be like at the door with whatever I asked him for. Oh no, I'll say with this, oh. you're able, if you look at that, whatever you're trying to plan for, you succeed. Okay, I want I want to finish with my things and then um, I would expect it would probably be because Brutus is a fast servant. He's an, he's an amazingly fast domo, right? Yeah. So, oh, yeah. I mean, with a 23, yeah. uh, I don't think that I would make it back to, the, okay. to my yeah. friends. I would probably be finding him in the hallways yep. with the things under my arm yep. and being like, and did you bring the blood? Did you bring the wine? You, you open the door and he's standing there and you see that there's a, a nice tray of uh, a bottle of blood, a glass, um, some berchuto, uh some cheese. <laughs> Uh, some smoked cheese as uh, he looks at you just, oh yes, and I, I avoided the uh, pistachio this time, so unscathed, and he good, uh, good. raises the tray. Uh, I'll, I'll grab some bursudo, um, I'll take a sip of wine, <laughs> and not to arouse suspicion. God, that was I'll... the blood. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I know you don't care for the bear blood, Master, uh, but it's all we have unless we. we it's ran rejuvenating out of elves. enough. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. just a little cold. Ah, <laughs> uh, 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 I think I have everything that I need. I'm going to go and speak with the others. <laughs> you need to redouble our defenses. Understand? Oh. We we could be uh, taken. Uh, uh, we could be surprised by uh, enemy forces at any point. Oh, well, I need uh, you around the perimeter. I'll uh, I'll go uh, uh, fetch all the blockheads. What was in your sleeping chambers after they uh, kidnapped your the prisoners? And I'll just have them uh, 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 take a look. <laughs> Are the demons coming now? Soon? What's what's the deal? One moment. I need more wine. <laughs> Is our friend in Zentra ready? Oh, yep. Yep, I knew it. I fucking knew it. Yes, yes, everything is going according to plan. My mind is feeling more and more unclouded. Thank you. Okay. Um, I will go down and see the prisoners. Why don't you come with me and make sure that they are uh, uh, totally... Served by your, you, 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 you've laid out all the food. And, oh, it's come to all. I left them even the third edition of uh, Twilight and PM. I forgot to put all the pieces back correctly. I have no idea. That's good. They'll be distracted by that for some time. Let's <laughs> <laughs> let's go down to the jail together. Okay. Uh, do you, you want any more blood? You look like you could use a uh, regeneration now that you've lost all your feathers and you've got your hair back. And of course, you, I yeah, love okay. blood. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there we go, master. Yeah, I was trying. I know you sometimes don't feel like eating, but you really need to regain your strength, especially <laughs> after. But wait, without the help, and how is uh, P Man going to be able to to make it well enough to do the thing? I'll explain later. We have to go speak okay. with the others. We have a task for them, and I will making this shit up as I go along. Start to uh, make a deception check again. Oh, no. oh boy. Good luck, brother. It's Thirty-two. Uh, oh, wow. I need you to call Not even close. No. You did okay there, but no, not even close. Uh, so I guess my plan is I'm taking him down to the prison, but that's stupid because no one's in the prison. <laughs> They're all above in the block room. The hole. Shit. With the horrible hole in the ceiling of the prison. Okay, that's fine. None of that works. So we'll get down there, and I will act alarmed that I see the hole. They've escaped! <laughs> Brutus, what have you done? What? <laughs> You hear a clattering plate as as he drops off the water. Oh no, the, the blood! <laughs> uh, wait, I don't, I don't, I don't, no, I swear that it was um, the, 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 all, the, the, everything happened and all the goggles. I, I promise, they were shit. You didn't do this, of course. Why would I let them out? This is How? A- but no, there's no magic. Uh oh. 
Oh no, you would still keep your. Oh, oh yeah, as long as I'm not inside not the party. Oh, no, no, you're you're looking. Yeah, you're, <laughs> just, you're good. <laughs> I'm just Caprice now. <laughs> don't, just don't accidentally like step inside. You know? oh. Let me test the the, the, the bars <laughs> from the inside. Oh Can shit! Go for the blockades, master, and we have to search for them. They could be anyways. You, Why don't you go search the you perimeter? You from upstairs. What kind of knife is this, Toa? <laughs> oh, more pistachios, master. Oh, this is called the the the, the board knife. Well, I hate it. The most expensive one. It's kind of like a... This game is stupid. We've been playing for what feels like 14 hours. Oh, I hate it too. (laughs) Um, I don't know why Capri said it was so good. He said it's something about rules that people didn't play it right, and he insisted that we're playing it right. Why would anyone bid on a knife? That's just the point of the game. We maybe we're knife collectors. I don't know. We're bidding against each other on stupid knives to then stab each other with them and go to jail. No, go to prison. There's a big difference <laughs> between jail and What's prison. the difference between jail and prison? Well, jail is more like a temporary thing, you know, And but then once they figure it out and convicted you of murder, then they send you to prison for a long time. Prison's well, a then how come there is no spot for a court? You, you know, can't go to question. prison if you don't have a trial. I mean, I guess I think some places I think you do. Maybe we're in one of those places. Thank just... you, welcome Catsy Ratty. <laughs> Thank you, Catsy Ratty. Thank you, welcome. Um, anyway, oh, Caprice, there you are. <laughs> um, I will, I will. Wait, Capri- oh, where's Caprice? No, I say you can hear us. Oh, yeah? Loud. Well, yeah, we're just arguing so in the hallway about if, if you could hear the voice, if Brutus could hear the voices through the hole, then he would. He and I would both look oh, at each other Oh, no, man, they must have uh, had some sort of large burrowing acidic creature or something. <laughs> with, with me, Br- Brutus, we have to make our way up there and see what's left of the blockheads, is how he's been referring to yeah. the other guy. Yeah, the, uh, the other black blockheads. Come, come, follow behind me. Of course, as, as you wish, master. And I will start to run forward, and uh, we'll quickly work our way up the spiral or however we would get to uh, through the it's hallways and stairs. At this point, you hear Caprice and, and Brutus running up the stairway in your direction towards Should the... we hide? Oh. They're clearly coming together. I've got no idea what he's planning, but yeah, pro- probably. I mean, we always... Should we get back down into the hole, into the prison? I don't necessarily want to go anywhere near that in any magic field. Right, but Caprice could let us out. Um... I don't know what to do. I don't know what his plan is. Why would you bring Bruno Pillis here? It make well, let's, let's get back into the prison, and then we can pretend like we've been cooped up this entire time. No, they were just down there. We heard their voices. We, heard their we voices didn't hear their voices. <laughs> you hear them coming up the stairs, yeah. Or in your just, direction. But we know that they were downstairs. They wouldn't be coming this way if they... I, if no, they weren't I, going to I check on us. I don't want, I mean, we sort of, I mean, I, I don't know what to do, but I don't want to go back down there. What if we well, need to get out of here? We need to go back down there. We don't want to drop Caprice's cover. Is anyone else going to have a, formulate a different plan? <laughs> it's not bad. I personally liked the hide plan. <laughs> Wait, oh, Felix, you said we should hide instead? Well, actually, I was suggested it first. I was just on board. Oh. Iris, what about that hide plan? Yes, we'll hide in the dungeon. <laughs> oh, more nappies, that's you, monster. we better hurry. Who wants to jump first? <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. Felix? I'm not going back down there. I'd be useless. I, you know that I don't have strength. I'm not like Toe, I don't have muscles. If I go back down there, I'm absolutely worthless. Well, if we get caught and break his ruse, we're all absolutely worthless. Well, no, maybe we can jump them both. And we won't know that, he won't know that that's complete. We'll just treat him just like he's Escher. We'll do our own ruse. (laughs) I'll smack him right in the face. (laughs) Caprice? Yes. Is his spell concentration? I don't know. I hope it's not. <laughs> they're walking down. They're getting a lot closer. Oh, oh my name is Deshi. I'm staying right on the other side of the door. <laughs> and I'm just, as soon as Asher comes in, I'm going to smash him in the face. <laughs> I'm just going to hide behind Joe. Okay, okay. Uh, make a stealth check, Joe. I'm going to start cleaning up nice and <laughs> And you hear the voice. You hear, you, you see, as oh, Darling looks at you, oh. says, Before I fade away, I may have hated Knife Monopoly, but I enjoyed my time with you. <laughs> I will see you again, darling. 
Hopefully without knife and I'll believe. I'm going to marry that man. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> means, the head of his penis is the last thing to leave. <laughs> and it twinkles out of existence. With a loud popping sound. A little sand. Like a tape measure retractor. Uh, <laughs> great analogy. Fifteen. Um, it winks out of existence. And... That's one way to put it. Uh, so I will, I will get As to As the... you turn the court, what do you get, Toa? 15. 15, what is your passive perception? Oh, that's Higher a than that. mind oh, blowing. I don't know. Well, that's Wiz, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah. How yeah, wise is Caprice? He's a monkey, like, he 100%. Passive perception is 18. Yeah, yeah. So you definitely see Toa just, like, waiting there around the corner. But I, you probably don't know what he's going to do. No, no, no. But you just see a lot of shape. Um, you sense his presence. You just know he's there. Brutus, be ready for anything. <laughs> <laughs> like what my we like what my ah! as Toa comes in and <laughs> swings his maul directly. What are you at gonna you. say when you do this? Oh at me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's you. As soon as uh, I mean I don't want it to happen, so I'll attempt to duck. I'll do it recklessly. Oh um, my god. Just, uh, I are you trying sure to kill our friend? <laughs> and he's Toe is stupid. He's really committing to the, to the 20, bit. 27 to hit. That hits. <laughs> 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 They're not raging though, so. Oh, uh, <laughs> thank you, God! You see it coming and just can't get out of the way. And I could reroll these ones, but I won't. <laughs> Good point. Good point. Good you can do it. I mean, that's not how. I don't know if you get to choose the. In the reality of this moment, you're hitting me in the face. It's not like you can no, it's, turn it's it in such option. a way that it's more gentle. Yeah, well, no, but it, it's, it's one of my features. How much? Yeah, how much do I take? Ones. Uh, <laughs> it's only nine points of damage. Okay. <laughs> Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I start taking it off your feet. Um, <gasps> I, I, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll fall prone and uh, uh, grab my nose. Oh, Brutus, at them! And um, as soon as I see him pass, like focus on them. If, if if my command is enough to get him to try to dive into combat, then as soon as he turns his back to me, I'm going to try to use whole person on him. Nice. I want. I want to. I want to lock him in place. Isn't whole person humanoids only? You know that's really. Is whole monster you need for constructs? <sighs> Man, I really don't want to blow a fucking fifth level. I spell. really want you to cast whole person though, regardless. <laughs> you look. You see the. Oh no, monster! Oh, it's you, it's whole monster. It's a sixth level. Okay. Oh, oh no, monster! You've lost your power after losing your your fiendish demon blood. Oh, no, I'll protect you. I don't know how you got out. Oh, very sorry, but it's like we. He looks around and you see he, he looks down. Yes, and, sure, how can you betray us like that? And uh Oh don't, don't know how they go. He looks and he sees the remnants of knife mall. He reaches and he picks up one of the knives and includes it in the box. <laughs> oh protect you, master! And he throws his more to try to stab you. Uh, I will uh, attempt to cast Hold Monster on him before he has an opportunity to attack. Okay, but he, he, he might he might get it off before oh. I do. Uh I'll say, as that happens, uh, we, uh, it needs to be a uh, just straight dexterity straight contest. Dex, yeah. Okay. To see who's fastest. Oh my god. 17-21. Oh, that's pretty good. Got 23. No! no! He's advantage. He's advantage. Ah! <laughs> like your thigh. Like your meaty thigh. <laughs> that sucks. That's your thigh! Yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna let it happen. It. Yeah, I'm, let it happen. Gonna, I'm gonna let it happen. <laughs> Ah, he's closing his eyes. <laughs> and he's also screaming. Ah, <laughs> we should have gone in the fucking hole. No, those are so dull. Let's flip from the bottom. Ah! <laughs> oh, it crit. I mean, I think it hit an artery. Ah! Eight points of beautiful max damage. Oh, Unbelievable. Oh, and you're ah! raging, so you take that the That would hurt the most. Yeah, exactly. It's in the bone. It's in the bone. <laughs> it sinks into your leg. Why would you do that, Brutus? I'm protecting my man. How did you get out? Ah! And he's going to keep. And so it me, 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 He stabs into Toa. His blood is blurred. Oh, uh, it's looking in horror, it's I will do this and uh, alter self is concentration. So in the moment that I cast hold monster, I transform back into Caprice. Okay. Uh, what <laughs> saving throw does he need to roll? Uh, that is going to be, and I upcast it even though there's no. Oh, uh, I can, uh, I can do an additional, additional creature. Poison That's damage cute. from the lead paint on the game piece. <laughs> uh, yes, there is. <laughs> That's uh, actually made constitution, uh, constitution saving throw. 
<laughs> he picked up Barclays and Boardwalk. I got like I got the ten. Ten was the DC. Oh, hold on. Let, me, let me make sure then, because I don't want to guesstimate here. I might fail. You want to fail? Don't I kind of want to fail. Oh, it's like thirteen. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. it's just ten. It's it's fortified. yeah. I'm pretty. Yeah, yeah. you have very strong stone blood. Forty percent wrong. Okay, oh, so you so he got a fifteen. He fails. No, well, wasn't the stat? Was the stat? Was the stat? It was wisdom. Wisdom. No. <laughs> oh wait. He has a 16. 18. Okay. Yeah. So I am able to hold him, and you will see a bloodied version of Escher, the one you watch walk, uh, walk out on, holding all of the gear that I now have on my person, fall to the ground after being smacked in the face by Toa, watch everything, see Brutus suddenly actually statue. Ah! He's paralyzed. With ah! the knife in the thigh Still of Toa. Still in my thigh. <laughs> ah! Oh, and now Caprice, Caprice emerges in front of you. Uh, tie him up, tie him up! I don't know how long he, I can hold him like this. I, it's a, uh, you can make a wisdom saving throw at the end of each of his turns every six seconds! <laughs> uh, I will uh, he fails. reach in my pack and uh, get rope and, and begin to, to bind his limbs uh, the best that I can. Dexterity check. Uh-oh. An advantage because he's completely... Uh, Since there's nothing I can do to help... Oh, that's a natural 20. Uh, straight up dex check, you yeah. said? So 23 total. Oh, yeah. No, it, he is completely bound as you grab his stone uh, hands and just uh, yanks the, the blade out. So his uh, blood <laughs> sprays out. I'm oh, trying to put pressure on it. Like, stop uh, the bleeding. As you then put it into place and he is completely tied oh, up. Oh, it's now. worse because it was blunt. <laughs> <sighs> We, I, th- we, I think we got him. All right, it's, 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 Toa, are you all right? Is everybody all right? Are you all right? You you really hit Caprice pretty good. Yeah, my eyebrow hurts because you hit me right here. Well, I didn't, didn't know what your plan was, so I was just trying to play along. Yeah, you did good. You did there good. There is a large crack along your skull. Oh, jeez, this bone. <laughs> it's exposed. It can't be good. No, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't touch it. Don't touch it. All right, we'll heal that later. Uh, I got all this shit. How many fingers am I holding up? Two fingers. Great, you're fine. Uh, you see a look of realization as you're holding everything in Caprice, and he looks around and he says, Oh, Marsha's going to be so upset with me. Sorry, Brutus. I, uh, it takes one to know one. That's not how that works. Uh, we, we, one, what's good for the goose, right? Huh? Uh, some kind of betrayal thing. Fuck you're you. Double, double agent. <laughs> Some kind of betrayal thing. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, you know, got him. <laughs> so I had Brutus take me to uh, the planning room. And look, I've got a just uh, a, a case full of gems, and I've got all case the plans. Look, 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 look Caprice, here. Caprice, open your mouth. Did you bite your tongue? No, we there was Kool Aid and wine. <laughs> Kool Aid and wine. Uh, oh you have blood God. all over the. Yeah, I had sixty-four mouth. ounces of Kool Aid. It's fine. <laughs> it's a lot of sugar. I'm going to set the case down, start rolling out all the parchment that he hands yeah. me, and just like try to take it all in. Oh no, that's probably not anything important. Please don't look at that, please. Brutus, shut up. Uh, Brutus, don't you know that it's just now trying to end the world? You should be trying to help us. Aren't you a good rock? <clears throat> Guy. Oh, I don't want to be doing this, but I don't have a choice. I was created to serve my master. Well, we're going to make sure you get your free will. It's now my goal from, from here on outward is to get your free will back or, or at all. So I don't want to burst your bubble or anything while I'm spreading out all the parchment. But, uh, you know, from what I understand about uh, alchemy and the things that Escher was teaching me, that there's a very good chance that if we do deal with Escher and he is uh, no more, then uh, Brutus also might just be no more. Just wanted to give you a heads up. What do we got here, Caprice? Come on, talk to me. Oh, uh, so uh, I think this one is the most important, and uh, I'll um, lay out the one where you see the ziggurat and the the uh, clip slash portally thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll open up some of the uh, these these look like uh, diagrams for the traps that we already experienced. So, I mean, I think that's good knowledge, and you should keep that around for for future use. But R and D, R and D, and I will start to lay out what I think would be the most important, but that's probably not going to be the most crucial of the documents. It's going to be... Oh my god. This is Zentra. The Zentra doc. What? <clears throat> what? Surely this, this confirms that there must be people on the inside. 
I mean, we already thought it was weird that the message that we got back, but, but there's, there's, there have to be people working for him on the inside. And Brutus knows too. He knows everything. He, he said, he said just as much as we were walking back. What do you, no! do you relay that he mentioned a friend in Zentra? Uh, that's what I'm relaying now. Okay. Uh, and, 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 and frankly, uh, Brutus, I'm sorry that you're, uh, 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 bound to your master, but you're gonna have to tell us everything you know, or, uh, you know, that hole goes into an anti-magic soup. I'm just trying to think about something that <laughs> this is like does, the is laws he, of does, does he know something? Does he know? No, I don't think, I don't think that would happen. Um, he looks and he says, oh, okay, okay, I can't tell you what I'll know. I, 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 I'm, it's, it's a part of my, uh, my, my, my being. I, 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 he told me not to, to tell anybody. I'm going to go. Besides him. I'm going to go sit next to him. Brutus, your job is to protect your master, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's my programming. Yes, if it was, if I was a robot or something in a yes. sci-fi adventure. Yes, and and wouldn't it be a shame if you knew that his prisoners were going to go and disrupt all of his plans, and you couldn't do anything to help, and you just had to have all of your magic dispelled, and you were nothing but a gargoyle with no sentence anymore, and your master was just going to die, and it would be all your fault because you didn't give us the information that we needed. It would be my fault that the master was dead? Yes. It would be all your fault. But none of that has to come to pass if you just give us the information we need. You would be protecting your master. I Iris is right. We, 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 we're, 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 we're not anti-Escher. We're not, he's not our enemy. We understand why he did what he did, but he, 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 he's, he's triggering a much bigger problem. We want to help. I give Iris inspiration. Make a persuasion check. Uh, what is the inspiration? The d10? D12. Oh, nice. I'm big, yeah, I'm big T12. Big money. Money. It doesn't get bigger than that. <laughs> well. Did you roll? <laughs> Probably not good enough for this. He said persuasion. Mm -hmm. 18. He looks at you and blinks. And he says, Oh, so but but giving you the information that I was supposed to keep safe, secret and safe, that I would be helping the master and saving his life? You were supposed to imprison all five of us. You failed. The rules have changed. The rules haven't changed. I need to serve my master in his best interests. Yes. And so are you trying to get, do some sort of like uh, like mentor Baron Harkonnen thing <laughs> with what I, I, I need to, to give you the information to, to, and it'll still help him? I guess that actually kind of tracks. Well, we could put it this way. If you give us the information, we won't kill Escher. We now know his plans, and there's no going back on that, and we can probably stop him, and we'll certainly encounter him, and I think we could pretty effortlessly kill him. But we spare his life if you tell us what you know. I especially don't want to kill this uh, this Escher uh, for, for the very reason that he's created some sort of a, a mechanical sound machine. I feel like I, I could I could record my own uh, uh, tracks and songs. Uh, we can start a whole enterprise yeah, together. There's a whole thing. He looks and he blinks and he says, well, I just want everyone to be okay and for the master and for the young lady to all be back here and for all of us to be happy and to protect him and maybe telling you we'll do that and so maybe I can try to say something. I guarantee you if you don't tell us what you're trying to hide, that outcome will never happen. We'll all die. Escher and his, and, and, and his, and his daughter will never return to the castle. And then It'll you'll be, be alone. I guarantee it. Alone forever. You will be alone forever with no one to boss you about. No one to boss me about. No. Ah, make a persuasion advantage. <laughs> That's what we do now. God, it's a damn You twist too. I rolled two natural ones. Oh, oh, holy shit. Holy shit. It happens. It does Thank happen. You, Good God. Yeah, I guess one of them. And then I rolled an 18. Nice. There it is. And you're persuasive. That dice is so pretty, but it's uh, So, eight, uh, 26. 
he looks and he blinks. Okay, we'll try it, and maybe you, you will. I'll allow it because I think you're right. I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. That's worse than being going out of existence in the void of oblivion, as the master says. Uh, I would agree. If I had tea ducks, I would be crying right now. Oh, you're all right. You're all right, Bruno. I use a thaumaturgy to give him tears. <sighs> there you go, Bruno. Maybe he uh. could. Like upgrade you and add like goo tear ducts and use that so that's like stone goo. Oh, do you think it would? Do you think people would say, "Oh, look, he's like a real person"? Y- yeah, I mean, y- you act just like a real person. You'd fool me. Oh, do I look like a real <laughs> handsome man? Would you like to be a real <laughs> handsome man someday? Oh, I would like. Well, I don't need to be. Well, it would be nice to be a real handsome man. I guess I just want to be appreciated and loved. That was why I was created to be having a cripplingly a crippling need for affection and love. So, to, as a child's toy, basically. Well, I know what we would name you if you were a real person. Brutus? Michael. Sound <laughs> <laughs> <Is that> right. Come on, man. Game. 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 Holy shit! Wow, I need to take my jacket off. Nice. <laughs> Good night. Good lord. Is it on here? <laughs> also, this thing is covering me in weird jacket crumples. Well, it's getting nice. real it's, old. It's dissolving. Oh, oh, it's been bonded leather. It gets fucking yeah. bad. Yeah, my, the What's bonded leather on my headphones has started to come off, so I oh, keep yeah. getting little leather pieces in my ears. That's yeah. awful. Ooh. Oh. Awful. I'll clean up all those jacket crumples later. <laughs> Yeah, thanks. It's uh, it's got a lot of blood, a lot of blood on it. So anyway, you should probably tell us what you know. What do you need to know? I need to be specific. Who's his friend in Zentra? Oh, well, I don't know his name, but he says the man with the demon eye. Zentra. Is this too meta? No. Should I even ask though? Do you, yeah. I, do you know what I'm gonna ask? I have no idea where. Uh. Ask. Yes. Is it too meta for me to ask it? No. Do we remember if, and I'll keep it general, do you remember if any of the seven eyes of the raven had an eye patch? Yeah, General Bradley Furman had an eye patch, yep. Yep. Uh, holy shit. <laughs> the demon eye? <laughs> the man with the demon eye. Oh, uh, my, my face will just go pale. Toa probably wouldn't put that together. I think what Felix would, though. But Felix, uh, I think, might put it together. I, I do have 20 int. I think Felix would put that together. But with Rich's help. <laughs> <laughs> Felix is the smartest man in the room. Felix has turned into Scrim this session. <laughs> <laughs> I cast idea. <laughs> I, my face will just go white. All right. All right. Uh, how? Sorry. Uh, out of character question. How much do we know about the hairpin? I mean, like we know, we've heard of it. We've been, we've been told about you it. You saw it. You too. saw it, and he said that that had had the power of the Raven Queen. It was, and right, saved okay. Barovia. Just want to make sure. And you didn't go in any further, but basically he kind of mentioned it as, in passing. And we saw that it had all the little cracks in it that it was yep. all like and it was all silver light. What is that? Uh, the Japanese style with the gold kitsugi. 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 Basically, it's silver kitsugi uh, of the of the hairpin. And what is Furman's rank? Uh, last you know was the general. Right, or, general. Uh, yeah, the, the general. Okay. My, my face will go away. But we know that there is a new high general right. and they know Zerm was dead. And I don't know who is the right. new high general. Right. And the last time we saw Furman was before oh, we man. went into uh, Irius. Irius. Uh, we like, and sat down and talked to him. He was yes. a jerk. Yep. He, was, he was the one that was a jerk. Yeah, he was yes. a jerk. And yes. then we met the fear bull that took yes. us into yeah. Zorbeck. And I'll say at this point, <laughs> I will say at this point. Is Zorbeck dead? No. No, he's around. You don't know where he is now. He's in the, in the grizzle palm. Felix, <laughs> you now look. Son of a bitch. No camping, bitch. No camping. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, don't beat the Urshan. bears. I finally uh, got rid of that horrific interloper. <laughs> Zorbeck's favorite tag is NTR. <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> don't Google it. Don't yeah, you're Google saying it. don't Google it. Uh, <laughs> you see, as you I'm gonna uh, have to spread Google the it. map, everything that Caprice had grabbed. As you um, see a map 
of Zentra. And you realize that there's a number of points that he had made all kind of around the front in a circle around uh, around Korovakia. Brilliant. And uh, the, the placements of, of all of the major forts are seem to form and, and different uh, embattlements in the military towards the front seem to have a circular deliberate pattern and sketched very lightly over over it is uh, Escher seemingly having put something together. He's traced in, uh, some sort of alchemical or magical circle in, in that. Uh, sorry, I have my own hair in my own mouth. Uh, <laughs> my face will go pale and I'll say, okay, the way I see this, we have to get back to the castle and we have to confront Escher and stop him from getting the hairpin. That's number one. After we do that, hopefully there's something that we can do to save him. Hopefully we won't have to end him. But then, as if from the very beginning, I feel like I've done nothing but try to uncover and rip out the corruption that has been plaguing Korvaki and Zentra from the very beginning. And this all seems to tie back to General Bradley Furman. I never liked that guy. And I got an awful vibe from him when he walked us all the way out to the front lines of Heroes before we went in all those months ago. Mm -hmm. I would bet money that he's the inside guy. Yeah, I'd put all my knives on him. You also remember, just so that every, with 20 Ant, you would also remember that there were uh, two uh, privates stationed in that watchtower in uh, forever ago. Oh, and it was right. Virgil Zern and Bradley Furman when they were both boys. That's right. And I you knew that. that. And right. you knew that. Yep. And you know that, that Zern and, and uh, Furman are around the same age. That message that we got from them, it makes perfect sense now. I mean, it's it's all just a front. And we, we gotta get there as soon as we can, but I, I have a feeling it's all gonna end in Zentra. Well, so that's why we as an eye patch, maybe? Tarnished demon eye? I mean, maybe. It seems... Well, uh, I didn't know if maybe it was a literal thing, or, or or maybe it was just some sort of, you know... I don't know, but but it's very possible that that, that, that it's a, not a real injury. Obviously, it was a, everyone thought it was a, a war injury. I mean, obviously. I had a bad feeling about him since the beginning, and I, I assumed it had to do with his name. The Jabaxi Affirminator is my greatest enemy. But now I see there's something far deeper to this. And, and look at this. And I will line up the, the, the drawing that goes over top. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> you have like PTSD flashbacks. Uh, I will, I'll line it up and say, yeah. Look, I, I know I don't know much about this kinds of magic, but I, I mean, this couldn't be any more clear. This is, this is clearly alchemical in nature or, or something. I, I don't know what they plan to do with Zentra, unless the whole thing will just be some sort of horrific gate or opening for this. And I'll point to the the other, the beautiful, horrific nightmare drawing sketch that is this upside down ziggurat over Zentra. We know that General Furman was sort of in charge of the front lines. Maybe that's what he's been doing this entire time. He's establishing all of these forts so like, is is one of them Fort uh, Austin Guard? Yep. Fort, yep. Fort yep. Austin yep. Guard. So they're all the different forts along the line. Yep. And 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 Escher seemingly independently has put together. He's been doing his own research, and you see like question mark, and it says like it says uh, conjuration question mark, transmutation question mark, like uh, 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 summoning, tra- transforming. You know, he's he's been trying to figure it out even in his service of of the P Man. I don't know how much time we have, but the first step is stopping Escher. He cannot get that hairpin. How much time has passed since... Brutus? Brutus. <laughs> how much time has passed since Escher left? Oh, I mean, that's why I was confused, because, I mean, he should have... He, 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 came, he came back to... Oh, man, I should have put it together. He'd be arriving at the castle in not too long, or, or, or soon. He, he just left. Oh. His, and I, I'm not sure how fast he could fly. Maybe he's faster than Bucephalus, maybe not. I'm not sure. Bucephalus is dead. He is? Oh, I don't know. <sighs> Ira, stop it. Is he with the princess? No, he's a nasty horse. I didn't like him very much. 
Huh? Is, is, is Asher with the princess? Are they going together? Or are they splitting up? Oh, no, no. Um, uh, he said that uh, the P-Man... I don't know his actual name. Yeah, that's for the best. Asher refused to tell me. He said it was for the better. It meant... It's Purvis. Oh, Purvis! Gosh, no, no, don't, say it, don't say it more than once! You're right, I'm sorry! No wonder he prefers the P-Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who wouldn't? Sorry for him. With, 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 Purvis with, a, with a name like Purvis. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We, ah, I, I, I said it twice. I said it twice. Too. Well, gotta be very careful. You have to say it three times in succession, unbroken by any other words. Right, right, right. Oh no, I'm sorry. I have to do this. This is part of my pr- Purvis, Purvis, Purvis! <laughs> well, I guess it's good that his name is Pazuzu. <laughs> No. <laughs> I kill Iris. <laughs> Someone modifies memory. <laughs> I don't anymore. Uh, it's uh, that would have been hilarious. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, um, uh, what do you say? Sorry, I'm just very nervous. How long? What? He, he's looking around. He completely did not hear you. What's going on with the princess? Did he, did he... Oh no, no. Uh, he said that. Uh, Princess was in in the, the land of the, of the portals, and 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 P Man had her as collateral. Oh, oh that makes sense. Oh, he had to, no. we had to we had to spend at least fifteen minutes to, for me to learn how to pronounce collateral. <laughs> it's a tough one. It's a tough word. Well, okay. At least we know that she's not a part of this. That we just need to deal with Esha. Can you just teleport us back there? Not today. <laughs> Oh no! I mean, hold on one second. Actually, mechanically, let me just check one thing. Uh, hold on. I apologize. I should have had this. Oh no! Features and traits. Is my laptop charger. Down yes, there? yes. I can. I need an hour. An hour. Oh, okay, okay. And you can take us right there. Stump. Yes. There. Hmm. No. Yeah. No. Absolutely, I can. Do we know of? There is a permanent transportation yeah. circle there, right? We were given permission to use it, weren't we? I we will have a scroll. A, a what? There is yes, but there's a, there's a permanent transmutation circle to Zentra. Oh, to, to yes, yes, to uh, ca- the castle. To Zentra, I, I know yes. we have the scroll. Yeah, yeah. So I know we have the scroll. Yep. Yep. But I meant to to, to castle uh, uh, Bloomvale or whatever. Yeah. No, no. Uh, I can't. Barovia castle. Barovia castle. Well, let's the castle Barovia. Castle, Barovia village. Yeah. New um, Barovia. Yes, I just need an hour. I just need an hour. I need a moment to just center myself and 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 mm-hmm. and, and recover some of uh of my 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 strength. All right. Oh, our gargoyles. What, what happened to our gargoyles? They did. Oh, no. They're here. They, uh, as she said, uh, basically gave the instruction for them to come back if just to get you to the castle. They're, they're not going to fly you there now. Okay, you should definitely... They also it. tricked you. I'm sorry. Oh, man, I feel so betrayed. <clears throat> um, I will take an hour to basically begin to draw a transmutation mm. circle on the ground, teleportation circle, you know, like a, I'm just flavoring the spell or whatever, and uh, so that I can I can rest and, and recover spell slots. Okay, yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah, you, there's there's plenty of places to go. It's like, well, um, what, what do you what do we do now? I'm sorry. I'm sorry that, uh, that I tricked you. Do you all hate me now? <clears throat> um, we don't hate you. You probably hate me. No, you're all right. You did and what you, you, you had to do. If you need to get comfortable, you, anything you need, if it's going to help the master, Mr. Felix, or anybody else. <sighs> not, we're not mad at you. We're just disappointed. I'm a mad. Okay. I mean, we're, uh, we're a little pissed. Hate me. It's not, it's not hate. I mean, we understand that you were just doing what you needed to do, and I'm still concentrating on what I'm doing. But, look, we're trying to fix this. And if things go the way that we want, then... then Maybe we can return Escher back to normal. He's still our friend after all. He helped us a lot. You think you could do that? I hope so. I certainly don't want to have it come to blows. Thank you for the follow, oh. Sir Stone Lake. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Um, if we're if we're taking a short rest, I'll uh, enjoy a song of rest so that everyone gets some benefits that they want to use some hit dice. Yes, I do have to take a short rest, so. So yeah, you enjoy. I'll say maybe you're able to go to a more comfortable place in the hallway, and you're just bringing. Uh, like he's hog tied. He's like, on. yeah, he's hog tied, uh, and you just carry him along. <laughs> his wings have been flapping. His tail, yeah, yeah and then, like, we're carrying his tail like, uh, is waggling. He can't get. He still can't get out because <laughs> you just tie. You maybe you tied his wings down and you tied his tail down. Um, 
All across the van trips, the song of freedom rings. <laughs> a song that's growing stronger every day. I sing uh, the gazpacho theme song. <laughs> And, ever, and everyone feels so thing. much better. You gotta do the whole thing. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> it tells us when we listen to the message that it sings. Let us lift our voices. We can make the choices. We will make the most of all that best that freedom rings. Gazpachos is the one that brings us choices. I don't know the melody anymore. Reaching out across the material plane. Each and every day, get a little freedom in your life. All over Avantris, a quiet revolution has been taking place. More and more, both parents and are working and raising families. Life seems to be moving faster than ever, and Galticans have rediscovered, are redefining what really is important in their lives. They want quality in their personal life, in their business life, in the goods they purchase, and in the food that they eat. They want good, basic home cooking, quality food, and they want choices. Variety, all at a reasonable price. Galticans want value. Gazpachos brings the choices that you've been looking for. You said the whole thing. Giving you the right to choose. We're offering much more by holding to tradition, yet changing with the times. Choices and selections. Choices of direction. Choices that can add a little freedom in your life. Gazpachos is the choice. I mean, this. I'm halfway through. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Keep going! I am dead! No, I'm just gonna go to the end. <laughs> Gazpachos. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere in Avantress, Bavar's ears begin to burn. <laughs> That's right, somewhere in some deep, dank Galtican prison. I can't believe you didn't sing the whole thing. I can't, I've forgotten most hack. of the fucking. Uh, Amazing. You, and, and as you're carrying him around, or as, as he sits there, he's like, you know. The, the, the jingle rider for Gaspacho didn't have to go as hard as he did. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. So we take uh, an hour for a drawing, yeah. and uh, once we're ready, I will. I can begin to cast teleport. And you are heading towards uh, the castle in, in Barovia. <laughs> yes, the goal is to okay. get to the hairpin before Asher does. Okay, got it. Good luck to us. I think we beat him if he's flying. Because it, it took us how when you Because it took us how long for us to get to the castle on the on the the garm the garm Le- less than a day. Garm it had to be less than a day. He's he's been gone two three days, right? Oh, uh, we're fucked. This is a terrible plan. Why did anybody stop me? He's been gone two or three days. Let's listen to the smart guy. He's been gone exactly two days. Know. Two okay. days. Oh. Yeah, he's gone Brutus two days. was kind of vague about it. But yeah, he was like, oh, he just oh. left. It you might know. it might be a uh, convergence. We'll we were say. there like a day ago, and we know the hairpin was there. Yeah. So like. It's, it's worth a shot. Toa thinks it's worth a shot. I right. would absolutely... We have to risk it for the biscuit. You know? All right. um, and and I guess what right. I'll say is that as you continue to... Because you I want to keep your investigation score. And you kind of had not really kind of focused on, on what you find. They're just not oh. focusing, period. Um, Touche. You find the... Exactly right. 100%. Um, <laughs> you find uh, sketches <laughs> of... Um, of a strange vulture looking demon that uh and it seems to and various incarnations of it that are some are vulture like some are are uh hawk like owl like raven currently that have all of these various different formation but there's de- these demonic creatures that look familiar to you that you had fought uh once at uh one of the seals beneath the lock feather lodge um and uh sketches of uh mentions of transformations and um mentions of a demonic power to uh open a portal at the eclipse um what else uh you see mention you see written scribbled down um uh the man with the demon eye uh you see, and you see uh near i would say near that you see uh, the wings of pazriel the wings of pazriel um, Which we know was Pazuzu's angel name. Yep. 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 Mm. And on the back is a bunch of hastily scritched, terrible poetry. 
Um, and then Some also next, uh, I guess next to the man with the demon eye, you would say, um, uh, traitor, uh, true servant. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, I mean, you did this whole thing, you gotta get the information. Uh, and then, uh, with kind of the plans, it says, um, hairpin of Ravanovia von Zarovich. Um, Getting close. Uh, reverse. Reverse Raven Queen's curse. Uh, that oh, sort of thing. Reverse. Okay. Reverse. Pause real quick. Reverse yeah. Thank you, Polly Moore, for the $20 tip. Oh, oh my God. gosh. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, oh, fill up the snaggle box with pistachios. Thank you. Thank you. Thank thank you. We don't buy a big Meyer. wooden chest that says snaggle box. <laughs> <laughs> it's never been fuller. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. So thank you. Oh, you're so cow. generous. Thank you. Thank you. That's so oh, nice. Please. And that emoji is really cute. Yeah. <laughs> that is very cute. That was the water. We love, love you. Heart. Thank you. Um. And I would say that you learn all of this, and 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 you're able to discuss before you. And you're, I would say, you're still getting ready to cast the. the yeah, I can talk to people yeah. while I'm doing yeah. this. I'm like mulling over the things and just so, drawing the circle. Quick question: What happens if the castle and the teleportation circle have been destroyed? Um, what would happen? I guess I, I can read this spell, but my and obviously it's up to Mike, but I. I can still aim for something that's just a, a general space. It's just it wouldn't be a guarantee because it's not a it's no longer permanent teleportation right. circle. Gotcha. So my guess is that I'd have to roll a d100, and uh, hopefully we get close. Cool. And it would depend on how familiar I am with the actual place. Now, if I teleport us into like a you know a pit of lava because that's what the castle's turned Oops. into, I can't really tell anything about that. But, uh, and obviously, I can do whatever he wants to do. Sounds Please good. don't make us be in a bit of fun. But yeah, if the cast is fucked, we would just end up near near it. Where so you're just you're casting the spell and that's it? Is well, that, okay. once, I wasn't once, sure we're, talking. once yeah. we're ready. I mean, if yeah, we would say, like to still... Like, we don't have to RP this. <laughs> uh, but if we'd like to RP some more stuff, we absolutely can. I'm just, I'm just taking the... I was RPing the hour rest as me preparing to cast Teleport, mm-hmm. and then whenever we're ready, I'll cast it. Uh, I would think, you know, once you're ready to go and you let us know... Say, all right, Once we should. We're ready to go, and you let us know. We'll cast it. Are we all healed up? Do we all feel energized and ready? I mean, I could use a full long rest for full energizing, but yeah, let's yeah. go. I figure it's already been two days. What's another day? I've used a bit of my, uh, you know, energy back there in that fight, just you know, in and out and up and down and into the prison and out of prison. But you know, what can you do? And of course, here we go. I got, I got to teleport us over there. But I'm, I'm ready for whatever. I mean, there's no time like the present. All right, because we very likely have a fight yeah. when we get there. Oh, or we'll at least... Our, we'll do our best. All right. A fight okay. with who? With Escher. You think he'll fight us? I think he would. Maybe he'll just be like, oh, you got me. You got me, gal. I, I mean, he's going to do anything he can to try to save uh, Rovinovia. And I'm going to be honest, I'm a little concerned about what state we might find him in. That's true. He might be some horrific nightmare creature. I don't want to kill him. Oh, he's definitely going to be a horrific nightmare creature. I mean, you saw the way I made myself look as I appeared as Escher, and and Brutus looked at me like I'd gotten better. Right. That's true. uh, All right, well, let's just do it. Is everyone ready? Get it over with. Yep. All right, join hands. And I cast Teleport aiming for the permanent teleportation circle that we know within the castle. If for some reason that castle is not <laughs> there, that teleportation this. circle is not there, then uh, I'm going to have to roll for accuracy. I, I it's like guaranteed the if there's a permanent circle. You say all that like like you're the car disclaimer, com- like end yeah. of a car <laughs> disclaimer commercial. <laughs> Please keep your hands you and... and you cannot be held responsible for anything. Like Arms, limbs, legs, 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 uh, the teleportation, the, the, the chalk will begin to glow, uh, an arcane blue and silver, and there'll be swirling winds and just a, a, a wrenching feeling in the pit of your stomach as we begin to move through space and time. You do that. I've never done my music for my iPad before. Ooh. We'll have to buy the adapter for the phone. I didn't know that was a thing. Let's see if this works. 
That doesn't Boy. sound very That's good. That's exciting. Uh, I don't like that at all. It sounds like a rising game of a rousing game of knife monopoly. Brutus smudges some chalk lines and the whole thing goes sideways. He just like really quickly spits on the circle as a spell <laughs> Oh, we Brutus! Uh, oh no, you good on Tom No! <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's just tied on the floor for eternity. He'll be fine. As you feel he doesn't have to eat. Yeah. Does he eat? No. Oh, the right. ground leave you. Ooh, a pistachio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you inch along and Please like, do not nonsense. willy worm every session. <laughs> do the willy worm. Uh, Yuck. Gr- the ground leaves you, and suddenly you uh, you uh, appear, uh, and and the, the teleportation circle is still there. There's the glowing hum within the castle uh, of Barovia, and. Uh, you hear what sounds uh, echoing off in the distance. You see that there is, um, that there's no one in this room. And you hear the echoing clanging of metal and you hear (gasps) echoing uh, far off into the castle in the direction that you know the chapel to be as, uh, as you arrive. We've got no time to spare. We gotta get there as quickly as possible. All right, let's go. Oh no. Follow Felix. You follow, you run down the hallway and uh, you make your way to where you know the grand cathedral of this castle to be. And you see now up ahead uh, that, that, that no one's here, but then as you see in the direction of the chapel, you see a knight mm. uh, uh, with a, a, his eyes staring up blankly with a, uh, a slash uh, through his chest, and you oh. see now there's a horrific, uh, necrotic, uh, uh, his wound is horrific and necrotized already, as uh, as he lays there, uh, just completely motionless, uh, it, is, it is cut through his armor, um, cleanly, oh, as... Does it look like... Is he dead? His rapier, like a dead sort of... Uh, it or not looks, rapier, whatever he has. It looks like uh, a rapier cut. Yep. Uh, except just with this horrible necrotic, uh, and there's blood strewn across the wall. That's a good question. Is he? I don't know. Is he clearly dead? I'll run over and like look at his face and make a medicine check. <laughs> yeah, he looks dead to me. <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen. Um, as. You see the uh, you see look into his eyes as it's staring up, and you see just these tendrils of, of black demonic uh, oh, uh, corruption fuck. Uh, fill in as he just stares completely motionless. He's dead, very clearly dead. I, I, get, I think he's dead. Let's just go. Oh no! Hurry. Hope Mono's okay. I, I know, I know. I don't want to think about that right now. Okay, okay, we gotta right, stop, Esther. I'm sorry. Um, you sprint. Uh, into the cathedral, and you see now that the uh, that there are s- several of the pews have been actually split in half, and they're laying de- uh, uh, far apart from each other. As you see uh, the bodies of knights of the Morning Lord, their tabards with the sun emblems um, uh, bloodied. As you uh, as you see their weapons strewn across, and you see off in the. Uh, off in the distance as uh, that little uh, offshoot far off, it's, you know, and this is a massive cathedral to the Morning Lord. You see the offshoot to the left as there seems to be a uh, motion, as you hear the collapse of metal on stone, uh, as you you see a knight tumble out and uh, spit up this horrible black sludge as he stumbles forward uh, and collapses onto the ground. What do you all do? Uh, Toa would just be. Yeah, I would just keep would running. Sprint to the to the Raven Clean Room. I I I would be following Toa. I I agree. It's just as fast as we can get there. You you're like jogging, like everyone else is sprinting as fast as you can. You're <laughs> like, oh wow, so oh jeez. <laughs> I'm skipping. <laughs> Toa, you're in the lead. You are sprinting past the corpses of half dozen crusaders. Some that perhaps you had gotten to know over the long march to Castle, Glo- uh, to Castle Gloomvale, 
um, and in your encampments as uh, their weapons are clutched in their uh, are clutched in their hands and you see what the same necrotized wounds as uh, this seems to have killed them almost instantly as you then turn as you as you approach the small relatively small hallway the offshoot in this cathedral I need to make a dexterity saving throw as oh, you right. as you attempt to, to cast uh, cross the threshold. Oh, is it geez. some? Is it a source that I can see or hear? Uh, it, it's an immediate. You can't. You can't see. Okay, it here. so it's, I can't a, use it's an expl- It's almost an explosive. That's fair. Uh, let's do it. It's a plus three, Chase West. Oh, uh, it's a plus three. I mean, that's close. It's up to you, really. I, I, you, you, you've been handing them out like candy. Take yeah, them. I'm fine with either way. Thank you. One twist. Uh, let's use. Yeah, let's use the one. I feel good about me. this. Here we go. I feel real good about this. Nine. That's enough. That pass the DC was eight. You turn as you see the gilded doorways to the other gods that may not be the primary religion of this valley, but are held in very high regard due to their religious and and historical significance. As you are blasted by a swirl of black feathers and demonic necrotic energy, as you are blasted back, and I'm going to have to roll some damage for you, Toa. Oh, this is not a good start. We may have been a little hasty. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of damage. This could be rough. With any luck, it's not like, you know, a disintegrating is going to We're gonna start this fight with Toa just being atomized. <laughs> It's the scene from Terminator 2 when Sarah Connor has the dream. <laughs> she just runs into the. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what do you think of this that that shit. I have not Dude, that messed me up as a kid. And then, like, all of a sudden, I'm like, skeleton. Terminator like... 2 was the first R rated film I ever saw. Yeah. And I remember. It's terrifying. Um, Mr. Jilson sat down and was like, You guys didn't see the first Terminator, but understand that there's a robot man who is. He, like, he walked through the whole thing. <laughs> 61 points of necrotic Holy! damage. Holy! 61? 61 points of necrotic From damage. What? As a barrier, a barrier a, that we ran into. As a blast of uh, fiendish, yeah, almost eldritch like uh, energy blasts you backwards. You are knocked prone, and you see Toa skid uh, into you, and you have to actually step back and get out of the way as he's blasted onto his ass and falls backwards. You see as there's uh, almost there's feathers uh, uh, clinging to him as his whole front is, is completely uh, seeping with this horrible, um, uh, 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 deep necrotic uh, corruption on his, on his front. As you are Me? blasted back, yeah. So for the Holy first, shit. can I use a reaction? Yeah. For the, I think it's the I've had this since level four, and I don't think I've ever used it. So I think this is for the first time in, in the campaign, you'll see me get hit, but in response to it, you almost see this the skin that gets hit, like harden up and almost turn oh, into stone. Oh. And I will, instead of rolling a die and reducing hit points, I can become resistant to the damage. Oh! So I will, <laughs> Instead of, how was it, 60, so 60, 60 one, 30. 60 so 30, 30 points of, of necrotic That's damage. That's fucking huge. Uh, yeah, that is huge. So I will use my Goliath heritage to reduce that. Ah! Ah, Toa! Ah! 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 Are you ah! I want to, like, look up. Can I get it? Like, do I have a vantage point to see what the source was? Like, you turn, and you see two figures. One is slumped up against the wall, Clutching a bloody wound in his stomach. Oh no. Don't say Alexa. Yeah, Gilded armor. Oh, fuck. Matted blonde hair <laughs> at his sides. <laughs> Alexei von Zarovich. And you see he turns to you. It's what has become of Escher Kreskov. As you see the long, the tall, slender body 
standing not on feet or legs that were once human or vampire. They ha- ha- are. They are. They've been so dissolved away. Long, extending talons with uh, raptor-like claws. A dressed in a similar uh, toga wrappings oh, to this patron. This and the upper torso somewhat human, but covered in black feathers. You see a uh, a bald head, no hair, covered in in feathers and a dark, a necrotized skin as Escher looks at you with uh, pure black eyes as he turns. Four wings spread out on either side as you see him holding what perhaps was once his rapier, but now it is, it's larger, it's longer, it's humming with demonic necrotic magic. And he looks at you as you now see what's just past him. A shattered glass case. He holds a humming hairpin in his hands. And he just stares at you with not malevolence or anger, not quite boredom, but just a duty-bound melancholy. Like a resignation. As a resignation. As he looks at the barrier that he summoned, barring you from him, and he looks down at Alexei, and he just mutters to himself, uh, almost to no one. Well, this seems familiar. And he looks down at himself, he looks down at the hairpin, and he looks up at you. Stop me. And the wings consume him. And a moment later, he explodes into feathers as they all settle down as well as the barrier. They explode and and whip around and fill this space and almost blast into the cathedral. And suddenly you realize Escher's gone. The dark feathers are all that remain. Dora, are you all right? Are you okay? I'm fine. I don't. Do I feel like anything's corrupting me or like changing me? Make a medicine or or a commentary. Don't you, don't you, don't you, don't you, don't you, you bastard. Uh, If he turns into feathers, we can call him Boa. That's true. Or Moa. That's fine. Moa's great. That's very thematic. 11. (laughs) Uh, It hurts. (laughs) You're very grateful that you uh, were able to channel the stone skin and you realize that if it was organic flesh, it, you'd be far worse off. As you realize that there are feathers on, black feathers almost growing and attached to your skin and you're able to <clears throat> rip them out. But you don't seem to, it doesn't seem to be growing. Is that just like the tree trying to tell us? Yeah, it's, and it's what? It's, tree. it's not rain? That sounds like rain to me. No, it's that's the tree. a tree it's in the, the wind, wind just scraping against the side of the house. Of the house. Oh, and so as Mike's describing all this horrible shit, like at first I was the only person that heard it as it's going... <laughs> and then Kelsey finally hears it. I'm like, okay, I'm not going crazy. Uh, I was hearing it. I just thought it was rain. I liked your sound effect of the tree. I'm a tree. This is why I'm a DM. You should have heard her T-Rex earlier in uh, Jurassic Park. Uh, uh, what's his name? Jeff Goldblum. The tree is just Tim Curry. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one too. <laughs> if, if Nikki could reproduce it, her T. Rex the other night was just outstanding. <laughs> wow. I don't remember it. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was definitely that. That's what it, was. it was definitely that. That's what it is. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, oh, I, I'm gonna... oh yeah, we're playing a game. Oh, thank God I'm 40% rock. Oh. <laughs> I'll just 
just check on. I'm gonna Alexi. rush. Okay. Yeah, I'm running. Go ahead, you do it because you'll do it better than I. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna rush over <laughs> as, as the healer and <laughs> check on Alexi. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, both of you run over and Lufti's just like, trying. Oh my god! <laughs> I'll run over to the display case and start casting mending. <laughs> I don't really do that. I'm, I'm behind. I'm behind the iris. You, I'm kind of catching my breath where I was hit. And you iris run, is he okay. You run over and you see uh, uh, as Alexei von Zarovich looks at you, and there's uh, tendrils of a black demonic. Uh, magic spilling out and there's a, there's some red pulsing in there as well as it reminds you of that horrible taint that was on uh, Felix's blade from the chain god but also something unique and additive as uh, you see as Alexi spits up what might be blood, like very dark blood. There's a hint of red to it, but it's mostly black as you see something within it. It's not a clot. It's like Ew. it's bundled up feathers. But he's alive. As he's alive, as he's, as he's wheezing, clutching I'm his wound. first going to cast Death Ward on him. Oh, so oh, to prevent him from dying anytime soon. Love that. Um, God. And thank you so much for the raid. Uh, hey. you too, did we get you from the raid? Life at disadvantage. Yeah, Life at disadvantage. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. We've been getting the notifications. Oh, we have it. Okay. Raid. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Twice, yeah. Thank you so happening. much. We appreciate it. But thank you very oh, much and welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Hi. Oh, Quest and Chaos. Chaos. Hi. Welcome it's good to too. see you. Send yeah. the follow as well. Let's get both shout outs in. Thank you. Uh, so, yes, first I'm going to cast Death Ward. Um, just to keep him from dying anytime soon, fearing that he might be, you know, vampirism kind of things. Um, and then um, I am going to, uh, I would like to medicine check him and see if I can find hints of curses or what may be causing his oh, illness. Make a uh, medicine check, please. And, and we'll say disadvantage. Thank you so much for the four hundred bits. Disadvantage. Advantage. Advantage. Oh, oh thank shit. you so much for the bits. Thank you so much for the bits. Thank you so much. One hundred away for only ninety-three. Ninety-three away from a twist. Thank you so much. Those seven foreskin twists at the beginning. <laughs> oh yeah. That feeling twist. when you're not proficient in medicine. What? Um, yeah, I know. How is that uh, possible? You were at one point. Uh, thank you so much. Oh, anyway. that's a twist. Hey, thank that's you, a twist. Chaos. Thank you, thank you, twist and chaos. Uh, uh, how are you not proficient uh, in medicine? I'm just not. Uh, 18 plus 5 is 23. That works. That's pretty good. Thank you. Oh, uh, thank you, Stealthy Bees. Thank you, Stealthy Bees. Thank you. Oh, thank you very you're very so much. nice. So 23. You stare into Alexi's eyes as you place a paw on him, and it, and he, you feel it. Your paw surges, and you, you feel a sense of life energy, almost transferring from yourself and your God onto Alexi, and he's very. He's at the the edge of life and death. You have dealt with this your whole life as a priest of Anubis. You know what it's like to shepherd souls back. It and and you see with that role that there is a shimmer of gold in his irises that's threatening to be polluted, and, you, and it's almost like a flashing shimmer. And you realize now that the only reason he has survived this long is how strong he is with the Morning Lord, Ooh. that it has kept him alive and has very briefly fought uh, off the effect of whatever is on Escher's blade. Just wanna say shout out to the Morning Lord. I marries, read some of those tents to him. I am a keep alive. It's all right, just uh, always aid. <laughs> Remember, always aid, do your best, you know, don't die here. <laughs> Your tenants will not help this man. Look at this condition. <laughs> and you see as he spits up another wad of, of bloody feathers and you realize that is what the knights were spitting up as well. And he looks at you and he's gasping, uh, or not gasping, it's a very slow wheeze as blood is running down his chin and, 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 and it's uh, running out of his ear and he's clutching his wound. Um, but he is hanging on by a thread, the thread that you have woven in this moment. Alexi, darling, can you speak? The, the pin! The yes. Pin. He has it, we know where he's going. You need to survive, do you hear me? This land needs you. It needs your strength. Hold on for me. We will do what we can for you. 
pray for me. And just he spits not just a little bit, it's a flood of just blood and wads of wet feathers. Uh, spit up. And you see now that uh, uh, running from his uh, wound through his fingers is blood. And you see a little bit of a crumpled uh, uh, black feather as well. I forget. This, in in this main like cathedral, is this the Morning Lord's? Or so is there a room for him? So, here, let me, let me draw it just because I don't think I was very super... I wasn't super clear. Um... It's a sharp. No, I'm just gonna. No, I shouldn't be. I can move all these minis out of the way. So basically, like it's your classic, like you know, Catholic cathedral, right? It looks like this, and this means nothing to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For for all the non-Catholics. Yeah, the non-Catholics. So this is basically a major cathedral. There's like rows and pews and that sort of stuff. It's like a huge room. It's a huge room. That's like a church, right? And so, so you came in through the back, and there's basically two offshoots here. Okay. And like this area, I believe I mentioned was like this is where the priests and the clerics and like they do their healing. Dirty and things. Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus. Yikes. Uh, I mean, who knows? Uh, and then over here was basically a number of shrines. And this is it's a terribly terrible drawing. But there's like a, sh- a shrine to Garrix. There's a shrine to the Raven Queen. I, I don't know if I mentioned any others, but there's a couple of other gods. That but are- what is the main sh- like? What is the main god here? The Morning Lord. Yeah. Oh, it is. So this, okay. so this cathedral's for the Morning Lord. Okay, okay that's what yeah, so I was. This is all at. about him. Like this is a grand cathedral, but it's like, oh, we also want to pay homage to these other gods that we hold in in, in special reference uh, that have, have protected or looked over uh, this land of Barovia. Should we take him up to the altar? Yes, I think that we should. Okay. I can carry him. I can help. Better you than me. We'll gingerly grab yeah. him from each side. You do that as you take him up leave. To the altar. You see the scattered glass fragments in the shrine of the Raven Queen and the way that the silvery light in this room shines off of them for a brief moment reminds you of the shattering mirrors from the, your, your journey through the, the memories. Uh, and you, it holds your attention for a moment and you make your way out into the cathedral past the statue of Sergei von Zarovich, the one who commissioned the, the construction of this cathedral. Um, and through stained glass of, of various saints and, 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 and legendary knights and crusaders and clerics of, of the Morning Lord, the shimmering multicolored light shines through, uh, especially through the large circular uh, uh, window at the, uh, at, the, at the head of this cathedral that is just simply the, the sun symbol of the Morning Lord. And you see there's a number of, uh, of, of trinkets uh, that had been on this altar. Uh, the cloth that's draped over it is stained with blood from a streaking strike that Escher had done. Uh, and, and and a part of a pew had flown over and uh, knocked off uh, a cup that had been filled with, uh, with uh, sanctified wine, perhaps, as uh, you're able to arrive at the altar, up the steps. Lay him down. Okay, gently. And I'll, like, fold up some cloth from my pack and put it under his head so that he's comfortable. You do that, and you see now, as you as you lay him down, the this this cloth that had once been pure white, you see now this uh, sickening uh, deep red start to soak out on either side of the, uh, from his back, uh, uh, into the cloth and drape over, uh, as it, it just is drenching this thing. The only thing keeping him alive is the magic of Anubis at this point, and whatever tether uh, he has with the, the Morning Lord. Um, I'm going to use my staff to cast Greater Restoration on him. Okay. Um, to see if that can remove whatever is afflicting him. Okay. Because it does have the same properties as something like Remove Curse. Um, so I don't know if that will help, but I'm going to use it regardless. Okay. Um, and it's from my Ankh. And that's actually not true. I do have all of okay. these there. So I'm going to use half of my onk charges to cast this. I will be uh, like nervously bringing my hat in my hands, and I'm, I'm watching as they're, you're, you're getting ready to do this and placing him on the altar. I'm looking over my shoulder back at the, where we came in from, and I'm looking at the altar and I'm looking back over my shoulder. Um, but as I do it, I'm going to step up to the altar. I'm going to close my eyes and Anubis, Lord under the mountain, though. 
I am a priestess, and you are my god. It is not to you that I call this day. Morning, Lord, if you can hear me in your house, in your temple, please send your light to cure your champion. Barovia needs him. Let Alexei live. Fill him with your holy gift. Cure him of this shadowy darkness. Let your light shine here this day. And then I'm going to slam my staff down on the ground and attempt to greater restoration. It's this, the familiar and uh, almost expected warm feeling of desert sands and a pleasant wind, dry but not uncomfortably so wind, does, does not fill this space. In a similar not too long ago, it was the sand that had reformed the body of um, Sofiana Belikov from sand uh, through the power of Anubis. What you see, possibly, <coughs> is a sunburst radiate through every single stained glass window, casting an incredible uh, a dancing um, symphony of lights and colors over the space as it then turns to the color of rosy dawn, the pinks and the blood red of a rose and the golds and, and yellows as they all then uh, uh, center on Alexei. And you see as he starts to almost shake and shift. You see his body start to, to almost slither his skin as his, as his feather, you see a sprouting feather as he pukes up a massive deluge of blood and feathers as suddenly you see the uh, slithering tendrils of, of, of dark corruption uh, are immediately removed from his eyes. His irises turn gold. As uh, you see the uh, the slithering uh, corruption start to shrink back in as they turn color from black to gold. As then suddenly his wounds, uh, not closed, but no longer corrupted and diseased with a horrible pestilence that reminds you so much of that horrible curse that had killed Vorak. As you now see before you, Alexei von Zarovich, still run through by an incredibly brutal weapon, but no longer diseased by the pestilence of Pazuzu and the Chain God. And I will step forward with the light of the Morning Lord still shining in, and I will place my hand on his cheek, and I will look up to the light that's shining for a new dawn and a new day. And I will cast heal on him, which is the best heal I've got. Mega new he yeah. gasps and sputters, and then he does not cough up blood. 80 hit points as, is, the is what as you see his Just skin shift, but Holy it shit. shifts as it's his, his wound run through by Escher's rapier closes. The blood uh, uh, fades away as his empty, tired eyes open and widen with the power of dawn as he uh, gasps and, 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 and his lungs function again. His, he, his life blood returns, his anima no longer slipping into nothingness as you have saved Alexei Von Zarovich, the Count of Barovia. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll collapse from exhaustion, because that was a lot. <laughs> Not like fully collapsed, but just kind of... <sighs> oh, Alexei, I'm so glad that worked. Your God, he has a lot of faith in you, as By do I. Good morning. Well, relax, darling, relax. Don't try and sit up, lie there. I should be dead. Yes, I know. You should go check out Milo. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you stay yeah, with him? Yeah. I'll go with yes. Felix. Let's go. I, I, we gotta go. I, I'm sorry. We'll, we'll be back. We'll meet up. Come on. Huh. Then we just sprint down to where Milo is. And Valeska and Sofiana, they're still there. 
you uh, make your way through the castle. I don't know what kind of music I should have for this, actually. Oh, I have an idea. Thanks for coming with me. I, I, I didn't want to, like, break up that really awesome moment. I'm glad Alexi's okay. God, Iris is really strong. We gotta find Milo. Thank God we have a... God, if you can't really screwed if we didn't. Iris, my foreskin grew back. <laughs> I, I, totally I, I, I know. I made sure to think of it while I was casting this spell. But part of my dogma morning. requires it be removed. Oh no! Oh god! Again. Real quick. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Someone Bumble bring Bumble in Bumble the snips, Rumblefoot, and save for the follow. Uh, Aurelin. Thank Aurelin. you. Thank you, thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Welcome. You make your way and you realize now at this point uh, in, in the area where Castle Remornia was, it's the constant cloud cover. You weren't sure if it was day or night or even what, what time it was. And you realize now it's just past early morning as the uh, as guards rush past you. Um, this was a very recent uh, a very uh, sudden attack that uh, that many of the castle just waking up. It was really only those that were already awake and, and armed and, and and dressed for battle were able to to, to meet Escher. Um, you walk past as as their healers, uh, uh, several of the servants. Their eyes are filled with fear and terror and sadness. They see the slain uh, knights. Um, across this cathedral as they rush past you as you make your way through the castle. And you see the loose direction of the bloodshed that seems to have um, come from that direction. You turn towards the tower where that you know Milo to be and you see a guard dead, his eyes corrupted as, a, as there's a cleric of the Morning Lord uh, desperately trying to do something, unable, uh, a sadness in their eyes. As uh, you see that he was slain with his throat cut and his eyes are almost wide with surprise as before the cleric closes them. As he uh, as you make your way up, you look in to the room and you into the room where you know Sofiana and Valeska to be, and they're both in bed together, uh, sleeping, embracing, resting. And you make your way down the hallway and you see Milo's room. His door is open. Oh, boy. Son of a bitch, Mike, don't do this. Uh, I'll just run and, and immediately uh, like kick open the door. Milo! Milo, where are you? You make your way and you kick the door open and you feel a light breeze as you see the window, the morning light is shining through and the window is cracked open as the morning breeze is uh, is whipping through. And you see uh, uh, bones and f flesh <laughs> as you see the remnants of a full turkey uh, come to flesh entirely gone, well played. devoured. <laughs> As okay, you see, but next to the turkey is the body of Milo. <laughs> <laughs> As you see Milo uh, in bed and his eyes are wide looking at you, and you see there's some crumbs from cookies. You look as uh, there's a glass of milk and what was probably a pile of cookies, now just crumbs and chocolate chips. As he looks at you and his belly is definitely distended as he sits up in his pajamas. And he says, what happened? Oh, God, you're all right. Oh, my God. Uh, what, what did I tell you about that door? What door? Your door to your room. Keep it locked. Oh, no, I had a really cool dream. What do you mean? There was like a really cool guy. He was like uh, the bird guy. And he said, oh, let me in. Let me in. He's like, can I come in? I'm like, sure, you look really cool. And so I opened the window. And then, and then, uh, and he said, like, don't tell anybody about this and go back to sleep. And then I went back to sleep. It was a really cool dream. Oh, Milo. No, 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 you didn't. What? What, have a really cool dream? It was, it was a great dream. I usually have, like, I, I've, I've really... 
uh, really, usually they're a lot crazier, and usually there's like a kitty that's well, there, like and he's talking, giant, sit on and the bed, he has like, like a big rainbow tail. Uh, Milo. And I get to ride him. Milo! Yeah! That wasn't a dream. What? I just woke up! I think you were tricked. It's, it's okay, I mean, you would have gotten in some way. And you couldn't have known. Oh. Damn it! Well, at least he was in his right mind and he didn't kill Milo, he didn't kill Sofiano or Valeska. He only killed, you know, the people that got in his way. I mean, that, that's, that's gotta be something of him left. I mean, you heard what he said in there. He wants us to stop him. He knows. He knows. He's still in there somewhere. I... I was hoping that maybe we'd have a chance to reason with him, and, and maybe we can. Maybe we will. I mean, you know, Zun was sort of under his power, but still had his own plan, so... You know, maybe there's some way that we can, like, break him free, like we didn't get a chance to with, with for, for Zern. Yeah, I mean, at the very least, we have to get rid of that curse before he moves on. If we can't save him, we gotta, we gotta cleanse his soul or something. I don't know, this is Irish stuff. I don't know either. I, I do, did, do I remember him saying anything about, like, little vampires and souls and... Like the abyss and all that. I think he mentioned that his soul's gone. Yeah, it might, it might be complicated because I think he mentioned that like he doesn't have, really have a soul because he's a vampire, and so like death doesn't really work the same, and 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 so it might just be a little more complicated. Yeah, you're probably right, My, Milo. Listen to me. You have to listen to me. You can't be talking to strangers. I mean, even if it seems like it's a dream, you have to be more careful than that. You don't. You can't trust anybody. Even a really cool dream bird man. Yeah, e Especially. even a really cool dream bird man. Especially a really cool dream bird man. I can't believe I'm saying this, Milo. I don't know it's real anymore. Milo, I know you're just a kid, but the time for that is over. You gotta grow up. Oh, I should have had so much turkey. I know they say it makes you sleep really deep. Uh, I need you to focus. I'm still really full. I know, I know. Look, we're dealing with some really heavy stuff right now. Like, really bad. And and I'm trying to do my best to protect you. I can't lose you again. I need you to man up. Yeah. Yes. And he said it's a really trait. I'm a man. I got, like, a whole beard right now. Look. It's just, I, like, just I, chocolate smeared on his I, face. I, I don't know, man. It's literally just chocolate. Listen, but it's not really in our genetics. I'm just letting you know. Don't get your hopes up. Wait. Our what? <laughs> I can never grow a beard. It's highly unlikely, but we can talk about that another time. Oh, man. I mean, look, I've been going through hell these last few weeks. And I Did our really dad not have a beard? I mean, that I couldn't really tell you. That, that's another story for an entire another day. Listen, I, you got to stay here for now. Uh, unless we figure out another place to move you guys. I still think that this is going to be the best place for you. I don't think that that guy's going to come back here. He, he got what he needed and he moved on, but you got to promise me. From here on out, that you don't just randomly trust people, you gotta protect yourself. So birds, don't let them in. Especially birds. Anything bird related. If they're feathers, but they're not a bird. Like any bird like, maybe a beak or two. Like birds shouldn't be talking to you, ever. Okay? Ever. What? If a bird is talking to you, that's really bad. No, it means all my dreams came true. This and later, Milo goes on a pilgrimage to kill all parrots in Evandros. That's why it's on the endangered species. <laughs> Devil bird! Okay, well, okay, I'm sorry if I messed up at all. No, 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 it's, it's okay. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm really stressed out right now, and I don't mean to be yelling at you. I'm just kind of yelling in general. Uh, yeah. It's not your fault, you couldn't have known. But now you know, all right? And you just have to be extra vigilant. Okay. I'll be really vigilant. I'll have the eyes of a hawk. Oh! I mean, the eyes of a, of, of an eagle. Oh! <laughs> the eyes of, a, of something that sees real good that isn't a bird. Uh, <clears throat> okay, sorry, I'm just, I'm super distracted right now. <laughs> what is Derek doing? 
<laughs> he's he's writing a message to me upside down and backwards. It's, uh, <laughs> it's all backwards. And it's pretty good. I can kind of get the gist of it. Pet turkey? Uh, but yeah. even but oh. even with 20 intelligence, Destry? I don't Pet think Felix turkey? would think of this, uh, Des- to be honest. Oh, destroy you guys are having turkey. a conversation like, don't trust any birth. There's like a turkey carcass. <laughs> an entire turkey And like carcass, moments, yeah. moments from now, it's going, bum, 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 Okay, look, uh, there's some stuff that we have to deal with here in, in, in this castle and the cathedral and all this stuff, and, and I need you to just stay here, you know, and get, get a little bit more sleep. You know, it's still a little early for you, I'm sure, uh, and, and you've, you've had a rough couple of, 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 of well, months and the better part of a year. And anyway, uh, rest, Life? Just rest, yeah. Life's been rough. <laughs> Uh, Do I have to hate bluebirds too, Felix? Oops. No. That is okay. You know Beatrice. And that's the only... Oh, shit. <laughs> she shows up with six eyes. <laughs> bum, 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 oh, bum, should bum, I bum. trust Beatrice? Uh, it's it's really more you're looking for the distinguishing features of multiple six eyes, like red, like if they look red and they look evil and there's like no, more. No, this bird guy will get like... Cool black eyes, like he's like, eh, hey, I'm a tortured wizard or something. I don't know. Uh, that kind of generally falls under the evil. Category. And I'm like, I have a brooding brother who's a tortured wizard, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, uh, uh, I, I'm sorry if I gave off that air. He's way like cooler that's... than you, though. Yeah, he's well, still well, you know, nerdy. I'm still kind of like, you know, I've been dressed in the same fisherman's rags for months and months. I don't really have a cool outfit. Or anything. You never changed your outfit? No. You're still wearing not. the same stolen clothes from a year and a half ago? <laughs> Absolutely. What do you think? It's just like, you know, I'll, I, look, my, my, my Korovakian dress military outfit was way cooler. Trust me. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, let's go to Korovakia ASAP. <laughs> well. Let's go back home. So some of us are going to go to Korovakia, but for now you're going to stay here until it's safe for us to go home. Why is it not safe? I like oh, I think I know. Because of the, a lot of chickens in Korvakia. <laughs> well, you might not be as far off as you think. Uh, the point is, like I said, there's some pretty crazy stuff going on right now. So I just need you to lay low. Felix. What? Who's the... And you see that like, under his shirt, it's starting to distend. Milo! And, and, no! Ah, what's ah, wrong? Ah, ah. Oh no! <sighs> Milo, are you okay? Ah, no, Milo! I'm evil jerky! Uh, I killed Milo! And he's, he's sticking a hand out of his uh, his button-down pajama shirt. Milo, this isn't the time Double for jokes! This is very serious! I was laughing. <laughs> Toa, this isn't funny! So is Rich. <laughs> this isn't funny, Toa! Oh, I thought it was kind this of This is smelly. very serious! <laughs> nice prank. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't scare me like that! He buns up his shirt again. Well, I mean, it was just too good of an opportunity. I'm sorry, Felix. I'm sorry. Jesus All right, look, we, we gotta get back. We gotta keep dealing with this, but you gotta stay here. You gotta stay with Sofiana and, and, and the, 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 the priests and the knights here, all right? They'll, they're gonna make sure that everything's okay. Okay. And just all I can ask is that you take care of yourself. All right, don't do anything dumb. Okay. I'm only gonna good eat. Luck. I guess this is an endorsement for me to only eat sweets while I'm here. Please try to eat reasonably Well, if I burge and might rip out of my stomach or control me into an evil, cool, sad bird wizard man. Don't you want to grow up big and strong? Evil, cool. You gotta eat well. Take care of yourself. So if I eat well, I'll have the balanced food groups. That's a good start. Cake and cookies. Occasionally. And brownies. Occasionally. And the sub-food group of blondies. <laughs> <laughs> That's the top of the series. It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> and the whole, the whole muffin family. <laughs> Which is just he, cupcakes. He probably should have just died. <laughs> <laughs> Banana nut. No, that's a good muffin. Banana nut duck muffin. <laughs> <laughs> it's a duck a bird. <gasps> I don't know if mallards count as birds or not. I'm sure it's some kind of subfamily. I'm not a biologist. I made uh, cupcakes, but I didn't ice them so they're muffins. <laughs> uh, is that what biologists do? I don't know. Ornithopters. 
Fine. Ornithopters. Mm. Oh, from that Doom Major image. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right, all right. I- I'm gonna get going. But if you need me, send for someone, and they can find. When us are you coming me. back? You go for a little bit, and suddenly, uh, then I I have a dream, and suddenly everything's bad again. I know, I know. But if everything goes according to our plans, then this will all be over soon, and we can go home. In fact, when we go home, we'll make a quick stop, we're going to pack up all our things, and then my good friend Toa here is going to take us to where he lives, which I hear is the most beautiful place in the world. That was very nice. And we're going to have a nice little vacation. <gasps> a vacation? Yep. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had a vacation. I've ever wanted. Well, you'll get to have one. Vacation had to get away. Vacation's all I've ever Vacation's all i ever wanted. Soon. Can we fish? Yeah. Okay, so fish are okay. You like to fish? He oh, yeah, I love fishing. Joe is the best fisherman I know. Just sneak off to the fishing hole. Oh, yeah, I can teach you how to fish real fish. And sail. And sail. I can teach you Whoa. how to sail. There was never any any lakes near us that were big enough to sail. A paddleboard. What was and, that? And row a canoe, maybe? We could swim? Toa knows so, this nice little cove. <laughs> little pirate treasure. Oh, can we crab? <laughs> Oh, we there, crabs? Poor Joa. <laughs> oh, yes, crabs. Cra- crab is delicious. Toa, you're sweating a lot. So, sorry. Uh, we can go crabbing. Flashbacks that I thought I had repressed. <laughs> uh, anyway, it'll be lovely. Yeah. But just stay here. You'll be okay. fine. Okay, okay. Um, and, you know, Asher did say that this would probably be the safest place once he was done. So, you know, at least there's that. Yeah, and we're going to stop him. <laughs> All right? Right. Are we in agreement? Do you understand? Yes. I'm right. going to stay here. Don't trust a single bird. Eat only sweets and maybe some meat that isn't a bird. Great. Good. Like ducks and, and no chicken vegetables. and turkey. Uh, it's fine. You don't have to eat the vegetables. Yeah, gross. Until I get back. Oh. All right? Fine. Come here. And I'm going to give him a hug. He gives a hug. And I'll kiss him and on he his stops. <laughs> and, he, and he stops and he says, I love you, Felix. Yeah, I love you too, Milo. It's going to be all right, all right? I promise. He's saying, Pat. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, buddy. I'll, I'll be back okay. soon, all right? Okay. Goodbye. Good luck. Lock your door, all right? Okay. Did the, did the strange bird man unlock it from the inside? He must have. All you got to do is that. Yeah. So, yeah, it was really, really easy for him. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's all right. black feathers all, all over it. Oh! Uh, definitely did. Yeah, that was from the dream, too. Oh, well. He had a really cool sword. Yeah, and like in my dream, he was like, and it was like, wow, this is really cool. Oh, yeah, the theme song. Yeah. Oh, that's just, just so cool. It was really cool. <laughs> Anyways, don't die, please. We're not going to. Okay. All right. We'll be back. I promise. I'll be here. Yep. See you soon. Yeah, Cass. Let's get back to the others. Let's go. Hmm, I'm hungry. And he falls asleep. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Vintage. <laughs> we return to the others. Yeah, you all return as as uh, the clerics have rushed in, the healers to assist you. As uh, they will go, unless if you want to talk to him, they'll try to go take him to where the the, the infirmary would be. No, I'll let him go. That is in a dungeon. Yeah, uh, they can go. As is Milo okay? Yes. Uh, good news and bad news. We'll start with the bad news. Uh, it appears that yeah, Asher was good able... news first. No, nah, I'm gonna go with the bad news first. <laughs> okay. I just think it'll set up narratively a bit better. <laughs> let me let me flash back as as they're yeah, kind of taking him away. Please he'll do. look at you and he'll say, "Thank you, the Morning Lord, and your God saved my life." But I felt myself starting to change. I have no doubt that you did. Into what, I can't be sure. Is that what is coming for us? No. No, it's not. We will do everything in our power to stop it. To our very last breath. Hmm? I meant it when I said this. A new day has come. You will fight back? Yes, this land needs you. There will be casualties. This will be something, I have no doubt, that will rot some form of destruction across this land. And these people need someone to look up to. 
someone strong, a leader they can count on. They need you, Alexei. Rest while you can, but not for too long. The darkness of the abyss will be banished by the light of morning. I will protect all here. Thank you, Iris of the Sands. Thank you for everything you have done, Alexei. And with that, he squeezes your hand as uh, they bring in a stretcher and the, the, the priests and the healers uh, take him to where he can be healed once more. And it's at this point that Felix has returned with Toa. And so what you're telling me, guard, is that all of the turkey carcasses are coming alive and trying to kill everyone. <laughs> That's really weird. What? Oh, no! <laughs> the door's locked. You can't what? get in. <laughs> I can't let you in. I'm not supposed to trust I like turkey. <laughs> it's good. It's dry. Goes down rough. Who let a bear become a guard? <laughs> it makes me My sleep. My disguise! He's literally something like a brown bear <laughs> and like an armor, a uh, suit of armor. His name's Trinket. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> you, were, you were about to say the good news, but give us the bad news first. Right, I'll give you the bad news first. That's a great idea. I'm really Thank glad you. you suggested Thank that. Thank you. Uh, so the bad news is that uh, it appears that Escher was able to get into the castle through Milo's window. I thought he had some kind of a dream and... and, and he opened the window for him, and, and he came right on in, and told me. Why on point. earth would Milo open the window for something that looked like Esha? Yeah, even, dream. even in a dream. But even in a dream, why would he do that? He's a little weird. He's had a rough time. I can't really explain it. But that leads me to the good news. He didn't harm Milo, nor Sofiana, or her daughter. I think there's still something of Esher in there, especially after what he said to us. Well, he seems. He seems captive. I mean, exactly what would have happened to me had I, uh, as uh, the, the Lordy uh, uh, Red uh, uh, Nightmare Horns bro. If he hadn't uh, uh, saved me, I would have been... Uh, captive is really the best word for it. I would have been totally under his spell. There would, there would have been nothing I could have done. Yeah, I, He could have sent me back and I could have been like, oh, look, I'm fine. and Like a puppet on strings. Like a puppet. Yeah, yeah, Escher's, Escher's just doing what he's told it. because he's afraid for his daughter. He's made a bargain, and he he he, he feels he has no other choice. Well, and I guess, you know, he did say this in his message to us, but this confirms it. I mean, you know, he really only did harm the people who got in his way. So uh, maybe there's hope. Maybe we can reverse this yet and free him. That is good news. So what do we do now? We gotta find him and stop him. We weren't fast enough to get here before he got the hairpin. Remind me, uh, I took not just the scrolls of all of the um, traps and designs and thoughts and notes and everything that I could get to Felix, but I also have a briefcase. Yes. And in that briefcase, there were four uh, compartments or, or, or slots, but three gems. Or I mean, there's, there, there's probably like a dozen slots, but just oh. three gems. You oh. have been taking them, using them. I see. So I have I have a briefcase with just okay. It's not okay. I had a different yeah. picture in my mind. All right. I I think of that as we're talking, but I don't mention anything. I mean, do you think he's going to Zentra now? Well, that or he's going straight to the guy himself. Uh, which I, I mean I I don't know where that is or how to get there, but I think going to Zentra might be our fastest route to maybe intercept him if we can get to Furman before he does. Yeah, so we can kill him. As, as an option, I think that we all need to remember, at any time we can go back to that dimension. All we have to do is uh, give it the triple P. But then that means that we need to make a horrible deal with him, too. I'm not sure it means we have to, just that we suddenly get transported. But I don't want to do that. I'm just saying that seems like a that's a really something. stupid idea, but know that it's an option. All right, all right, no bad ideas. We're just keeping our options open, open-minded, okay. I wish we could talk to Zoom. He would know what to do. He'd be able to save the world again. Well, to be fair, he hasn't saved the world at all. Well, I mean, he kind of saved the world in the sense of from the, the chain god, but now the chain god's in Pazuzu. Ah! Ah! Finish it! It's fine, it's fine. He said Zeus. He didn't, he didn't finish I it. I didn't finish it. 
have no. And it has to be said unbroken. Really and and you've said words name. afterwards. I really wish I did. Can someone like just get rid of that memory for me? No. Can any? Can anyone? No. I can make you incredibly stupid. <laughs> I can help. Here, drink this. Oh, this will make me forget this name. If you drink enough, or oh, it will okay. make you reckless and you'll say it. Ah, give it a shot. Oh, it's not really working. Can I have another one? Yeah. It's really never ending. Just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you give me the, the never ending <laughs> wine skin? <laughs> I don't feel anything. <laughs> then it must be working. <laughs> <laughs> Because I have like 18 or 19 constitutions. Yeah, so it's going to <laughs> you're going to have to make a constitution saving throw as a damage because you've, you've consumed enough. Who wants to play wizard staff? <laughs> uh, it means something different than Antrus. Yeah. Right. 17. Uh, uh, you were smashed at this point, but you, the it's it's now it's uh, uh, Pazazu uh, in your head, and so you've at least forgotten the middle you. Oh, I think I forgot. I think it's sort of working. I can't remember quite exactly how it is. Uh, what do you think it is? No, 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 we're not going to test that. I just was curious. I mean, this, I could be onto something. I could be like a doctor. Well, I, I mean, I don't really remember exactly. Was it something like... <laughs> You're making me really nervous here, yeah. Tella. It might be just best to not worry, like, say okay. it at all. I'm just not revert revert it back at all. to P-Man. P-Man. There you go. Okay. I don't really like how I feel anymore. Oh, right, it's going to get worse from here. This like if you're worse. you're feeling this drunk now, <laughs> you haven't really even processed all of the things you've been like eight hours of hell. Oh no! Sit, sit on one of these broken <sighs> cues. It's like slanted up, and is it creases? Mm. Tell us, that. I'll, I'll sit on one of the pews. Oh. Like <laughs> Slightly tilted, sit slanted. I don't know what our next move is. I don't I, know. I think we have to get to Zentra. I mean, I, I but what are we him. going to do in Zentra? Kill Furman somehow. And how are we going to get to him? We'll teleport there directly to him. Well, I don't know about directly to him, but can you, I mean... And don't you think that if, if he's in league with Esher, he is going to have all of his guards looking for us? It's not like we can walk through Zentro <laughs> the way we could when we were on Zern's good side. We're now going to be the enemy of the ruler of Zentra. Who did we know that wasn't Furman? You know, I, can name, I can name a lot of people. That's a lot of... Stop. Stop. <laughs> stop naming... Stop naming... Uh, what, what about the lady? Uh, well, Sophiana's Zorn, not uh, Furman. Brother, there's Brother Gruber. No, not him. Uh, there's Milo. No, not him. There's uh, Ravali. No, not him. Sophiana. Uh, no, not him. There's that nice hooker that we talked to all those moons ago. Oh, she's Honey, so nice. yes. Here, the one that took Thomas back to... Oh, I mean, there's a whole host of hookers. That's just another one, yeah. <laughs> there was a lot of Well, hookers. she's not a hooker anymore. Well, well, she's a nursemaid. Uh, hooker number three. A hooker really well-paid nursemaid. What about the lady general who helped us? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I can't remember her name. Constant. Name. P no, P it started name. with a C. Paradiso. Oh, no, that's probably it. Paradisa? Uh, no. Portia. Portia. Paradiso. 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 Yeah, that's what I said. I forget what it was. That's the word. Paradiso, probably. I don't remember her yeah. general. Oh, my. Oh, you mean General Paradiso. Didn't she die in, like, a grease fire? Or... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? what? Is that a thing? <laughs> it's oh, tragic. She... she was inside of Jimmy John's when it went up in flames. She left the gas on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Turns out it they were kidding when they said Jimmy John's was fast. It wasn't insurance fraud either. The whole place just went right up. Oh, free smell. Is just burnt flesh. Someone uh, tried to put it out with water. Oh god! <laughs> Complete random Jimmy John's fire combustion. Well, if she's still alive, she'd be a huge help. She was the eye of fate. She was basically the head of the like the the state church. <laughs> Okay. But wait, did she die in the grease fire? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, Kels? <laughs> yeah, never listen to anything I say. <laughs> she died. So of. <laughs> yeah. 
we know the very it's least. It's been a long campaign. I mean. <laughs> we know Chumley's dead. Chumley's dead and Hugh Jotter are dead. So they were the only <laughs> song that Chumley was executed yeah, off right. screen. Right. Yeah. Chumley. And Baron have died in a great fire. We just learned about it now. They all just mysteriously died. Here we are. Some Caprice's mouth. Well, Look, I, you know, we, we'd be walking in the lion's den, but I do believe that there are still people who are loyal to the nation of Gorbaki and want what's best for its people. And that ge- the general might be one of them. If we could somehow get teleport right to her and explain the situation without getting instantly executed, then, you know, things might be all right. Well, we messaged her yesterday. Maybe you can message her again and let her know that we know that... F- that Furman is a traitor. Was the Jimmy John's the place you convinced that man that he didn't have a penis? Yeah, that was the, that was the exact spot. Hmm. <clears throat> You're sure that place didn't go up in flames? I could have sworn I heard something. You were take back and it was Johnny Jim's. <laughs> oh, no, you know, that was Johnny Jim. <laughs> oh, yes, right across oh. the way. Mm. I so often get those two confused. You one has free smells, the other one has Sky free Reach. feels. Uh, you, you'd think that the Sky Reach district would have something a little bit more upscale than a Johnny Jim's. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm I, just don't, I just don't understand the person who's motivated to make a Johnny Jim's when they're staring across the street at a Jimmy John's. And they're like, you know what this place really needs is a Johnny Jim's. Well, to be fair, they yeah, they yours. advertise their free feels. <laughs> Whoa. You know what that street could really use? A Jammy Jim's. <laughs> A pajami jams, and they oh, and, and they sell nothing. Say pizza. And did somebody <laughs> say pizza? And they can they can sell peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, pajami jams. Uh, what if it was in a tortilla? Mm. Oh, that would be awful. Who would ever do that? The moment you put the jelly in it, it would just drip out all over your lap. Yeah, that's true. You couldn't even coat both sides in peanut butter all right, to new keep pitch. the jam in. New, new pitch, soup orbs. <laughs> And how, how do you get all? How do you get soup into an orb? You freeze it in a in a. In Wait, a, you want to serve frozen soup balls? Yeah, like on a, a stick? like a soupsicle. I was gonna say, isn't that just a popsicle? <laughs> yeah, soup. but but with yeah, like but savory. savory. And then what do you do in the summer? I actually it's wouldn't even hate better. that. Even better. And then Kelsey says, I actually wouldn't hate that. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds horrible. We, we all agreed last Wednesday that this is the worst idea in history. Really? <laughs> yeah. I, like, popsicles? Like a salty oh, chicken no, broth I, I popsicle? Was, I was all I, for I, it. I be down for That's that. No, but then you like... idea of soup cock no. But then you lick like... Ice cold chicken and soft carrot. No, I just want broth. Like, no, but I it wouldn't be. It would be actually. It would be actually you would soup. get frozen clam chowder on a stick. Yeah, the, the problem is that like any I don't fat want to chunky. soup would get really nasty. Yeah, in frozen form. That's the problem. Yeah, it'd what be if all it's misty? Frozen. Like what if it's like dip and dots? Yeah, and then the, no, and then the moment yeah. it the moment it starts thawing out, it starts to become like jelly and chewy yeah, that's and the just problem. really gross. Would, it becomes, the fat would become gelatinous real quick. You can I'm tell when we don't this. know what to do when I sidetrack this hard. <laughs> <laughs> so my point being, what was my point? That you didn't want to go to Zentra. No, I still don't. Well, why not? Well, this would be good. We're going to be in. murdered. But the whole point was we have to stop Escher, and we know that Escher is going to go to. We know that Escher has a friend in Zentra, and we know that it's. Yes, Furman. and I think we know. Or yes, we know it's Furman, but that still does not answer how we get to, how we get into Zentra, how we travel through <coughs> Zentra, how we get to Furman, how we destroy Furman, all without dying ourselves. You yeah. need to, if you send a message to to General Paradis tomorrow, why not today? I did not prepare said Well, and today. to be fair, I think I'm going to have to rest. I know that I have a spell scroll, but I think mechanically I have to have the spell slot to cast it, right? I have a stupid no. idea. Uh, no, if you have a spell scroll, you don't need it. No. As long as it's on your spell list, and it, I think it is. Okay, well then I can go <laughs> right now. But I'm still down to rest. Maybe we just risk it. Risk what? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Let me think back. Long and hard. Our ravens that Zern gave us, can we use those to communicate with her? I have an idea. <laughs> What's your idea? <laughs> we ask, how do we get into Zentra? Didn't we already sneak into Zentra once? Yes, but we quickly gained audience with Zern. We went through his strange trial of the Raven Queen. We became Wings of the Raven. We were given permission to walk around. We will no longer experience that kind of freedom. 
But they isn't all, there a tunnel from just, a lab? Yes, I'm not saying we can get into the tunnel. They destroyed all the tunnels, remember? No. I think, I think, I oh, think yes, Trump because Trump of Trump Moloch. Trump. Chum, Chumley. Remember, they, they destroyed the tunnels so that the demons could not get yeah, in. Yeah, because all the they said, oh, there are all these tunnels. They, and they oh, sorry, Morlock. Yeah. Yes, so all no, right, we have to do that. Right, but right. even if we could. Remember that we saw the mages do Where things. would we go? Oh, nice memory. How would we walk around the city without being obstructed by the guards, taken directly to him, with the Furminator, and completely. Least of our skin. Well, I could always shaboot myself into a who man. <laughs> yeah, why don't Great. we? Great. I love that we like... could all walk around with a who man. No, my point is, is that it's you know classic government in turmoil, where they all have their own versions of military and but you were assuming police that are all loyal to all the different generals and and. You know, I'm sure Portia, if we, if she is actually faithful to Zentra, she doesn't want it to, you know... Well, if Furman is aligned with P-Man, you don't think he has some kind of additional power? Don't, and don't if she were, this. If Tell she were this against, him, against him, that they wouldn't have already killed her? Or you know, imprisoned her? I'm not drunk. I used, I drank that memory potion that Lofty gave me. Yeah, he's yeah. not drunk, he's medicated. Why are you <laughs> leaning over your oh! knees right now, spitting into the, <laughs> <laughs> the, the floor of this church? It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of spit I'm just, just salivating. You mentioned yeah. soup popsicles, and I'm just salivating a lot. Thinking about All right, well, we'll, get, we'll get you some I hate being not drunk. <laughs> being <laughs> this is like my least favorite <laughs> way to be. <laughs> I'm not joking. Her. I think that if we could communicate with Parent Issa, she might be able to protect us and help us. I'm with all. We need an ally. We can't just walk in and, and not, you know, and not be immediately killed or arrested or thrown in prison or and, executed. And how do you know if you speak to her, she's not lying? Yes, we don't. But it's a start. It's better than nothing. Well, can we use our little ravens to speak to her? Let me. The same effect as animal messenger. So oh. however that works, we can send her a raven. Mm -hmm. But that would take a long time. Yeah. Well, if it's anything is like a, is that that, or is that season eight, thing? season seven of yeah. Game of Thrones, oh. it'll be instantaneous. It could be instantaneous. Oh, well, actually, <laughs> faster than speed of light. Ravens are faster than a fighter jet. <laughs> Highway oh, to oh, the oh, danger zone. zone. <laughs> centuries later, <laughs> centuries later, a owl has been invented because of this technology. <laughs> um, it's wearing uh, it aviators. Let me double check. I'm like ninety-nine percent sure I do not have sending. No, we, I don't. Have we sending. had a little thing that we could use to come to like signal Revale, but that's totally different. I don't think we have time. Here's the thing. Out of character, we went to Portia's office, didn't yep. we? <clears throat> Felix, I know that you like to use a teleportation circle, but we've been in her office. Yeah. Could you use the scroll to try to just get us right there? It's the morning, she should be in there. Yeah. Absolutely, provided there isn't any kind of, you know, anti, you know, trans transportation magic like that. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I can aim right for it. Again, it'll be pretty shocking. We're gonna have to convince her that we're not there to kill her, uh, and hopefully, we don't get instantly killed either. But maybe you know. we should make a sign that says "We're not here to kill you," and I'll just hold it. I'm on it. Thank you for the follow, Dingo Thank Panic. The follow, Dingo oh, Panic. Welcome. Oh. What a great name. Cut to Panic Dingo. at the Dingo. The finishing touch. <laughs> oh, that's on great. My prismatic wall. <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> Uh, I mean, yeah. I, so I guess we're, we're just going to go for this then. We're not going to rest. Well, I do think we should rest. But hey, you know, I'm open to whatever the team thinks here. Oh, uh, I hate, like, just resting eight whole hours while we don't know I, what's going I on. Mean, you can barely stand. Well, I know, but I've... I've... <laughs> There's still feathers, like, all over your shoulder and... I don't know. I'll leave it up to you. I mean, this morning we woke up and then we fought... However many, like thirty-six gargoyles. However many that was, it was crazy. There were like day. eleven. You You're so dramatic. <laughs> I could use a few hours to start <laughs> reading up dramatic. on Twilight Imperium Three. I mean. Yeah, you're the boy, and you flew through the night too to get there quickly. 
So yeah, you yeah you you'll probably need like to you'll probably eyes. need to roll for an exhaustion pretty soon. Yes, <gasps> and and you see Bella just got to Forks, and she is going to this school, and I think there are vampires. <laughs> But I have that drunk energy. I want to keep. I want to keep on it. You know. I want to just keep I going. I know what you are. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're right. Maybe we should get some sleep. I just. Uh, it feels bad to know that like the apocalypse is coming, and I guess we did warn her. She knows what's sort of happening. Maybe in the morning she will have dealt with everything, and it'll all be over. I highly doubt that. Good wishful thinking. <laughs> all right. <I'll laughs> Leave me to bed. Hey. Uh, all right, I guess we'll just try to find her. Wait, we had quarters assigned to us, right? Like yep. we had to play there. Yep. You know, I knew this wallaby folk that sounded that left just like that. What? <laughs> A wallaby? A wallaby folk. What was his name? His name was Schmacko. <laughs> That's a really weird name. Yeah. I thought you were just going to say Rocco. Well, his name was it has to be legally distinct. Well, yeah, it's similar but legally distinct. Schmacko. Schmacko's period appropriate life. Schmacko's <laughs> <laughs> really period, period appropriate <laughs> being. <laughs> existence. Yeah, period appropriate existence. Yeah, yeah that's really good. Existence. He would do one man shows in the Coney Islands. <laughs> so nice. Anyway, totally unrelated. Get me to bed. <laughs> All right, buddy, come on. Uh, 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 I'll throw my arm over for you, Lex, and leave it on my way. Oh, a spy! <laughs> uh, I heal four months later, but I'm three inches shorter. Uh, no, I, I cast Enhance Ability on you. <laughs> and I give you both strength. Holy you shit. You have advantage on strength checks, and you are, uh, your carrying capacity doubles. Yeah, I actually just pick you up over my head. Wait, oh, your my carrying God. capacity doubling only means you can carry like 30 pounds. Ah, shit. <laughs> I'm the That's weaker. A great question. I'm the weaker of the much, two uh, of us, I think. I don't know how much. Uh, I don't know how you actually calculate carrying capacity. I don't either. I don't care to learn. <laughs> you don't want to know how much yeah. Felix can carry. I believe it's your ability score times What's plus ten. Zero? So type so zero. No, 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 no. But ten times ten. Oh, not not your modifier. Right. Gotcha. Ten times ten. Hundred pounds. Yikes, he's weak. Weak oh, I can carry up to 80. I can punch Felix so hard to die. <laughs> when you get hard. I mean, granted, he would just absolutely atomize me before I got close to He just cast shield and then like... So I can carry 100. No, I mean, he'd look at me in my I burst in flames. Yeah. But if I got close to him, man, I'd punch him so hard he'd dead. <laughs> ah, punch, my kidney! I could punch Felix like 15 times and probably die. Sure. <laughs> Excuse me. I come from a long you do this. family of killers. He, de- he dimension door behind you. Nothing personnel, me. <laughs> and, then, and then cut my neck with the talon guard. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, I guess we go to bed. Yeah, we yeah get- we're going to go to bed. Okay. Which is a terrible idea. Oh but it's really the only juice. idea that makes sense. Yeah, I need to get my spell slot back. I can't weird. loop myself to Zentra. That's for sure. You probably run there by the time we finish our bullshit shenanigans. <laughs> I could try. So I mean, try. If the end of the world happens in one day, it happens in a yeah, day. It just wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. Fate stepped in and said, not today. Yeah, that is not very heroic of us. <laughs> While we rest and get some sleep, why don't you look to see if there's any kind of like timeline in his plans? Um, I will take Toa's suggestion, and as we are all settling in to go to sleep, I will peruse the notes even more deeply. Um, and... Uh, See if I can find anything about a timeline or any, any glean any extra information about like you know when this potential handoff is going to happen. I would say, with all of the time that you have now to go over it, yeah. I'm asleep. In you would say basically the that the timing <laughs> was hinging. <laughs> the timing was hinging on when the pin could be used, retrieved. Uh, along with other artifacts of the Raven Queen to basically be used to cleanse him enough to be able to usher in the Eclipse. So we're banking on basically that they're still searching for everything else and Escher was just an overachiever and got to his first. Or maybe he has to go fetch other ones after. Sorry, can you just say that one more time? Basically that it's hinging on when that whatever, whatever Raven Queen curse that Zern had left for Pazuzu 
was able to be healed enough to basically tap into the power of the chain god more than he has, enough for the eclipse to occur. Hmm. So we know that the pin is will help him heal. Yes. But not necessarily that it's enough time to heal fully to immediately... Well, he's away for the eclipse anyway, right? You get the sense the, the eclipse is going to be true. <clears throat> and you said there are other artifacts. Oh. There, are, there, are, there are other artifacts. The pin is just one of okay. them, but basically across the Vantress. So a lot of moving um, parts. So yeah, we're going to hope it. that the pin was not the last piece. And so. uh, at this point, you haven't noticed anything, any changes. <laughs> uh, but you know... Well, but I will s- another thing <laughs> is that, uh, like, you see Escher... Uh, N- uh, noting, um, you know, uh, Kenku harpies in Korovakia, uh, mass transformation, uh, entire country, yeah. um, you know, uh, that yeah. sort of thing. Vrocks, VR, you know, Vrock R-O-C is, is legend. Yeah, Vrock. V Rocks. V Rock, Vrocks. Uh, basically, look at the, in all caps. School um, of that sort of thing. School of Rock. <laughs> School of Rock. Of the, that's, that's actually, that's actually going to be one of the Avengers Battle of the Band band. It's going to so be amazing. traveling troubadour of Rocks, and they're going to be the School, School of, of Rock. School of Rock. <laughs> that's in my campaign. They're Eric Coker's, they're Rocks. Yeah, one of these days. I'm still working. One of these days. I know. Can't wait. <laughs> okay, so in. Um, can I ask another question? Yeah, please. When we sent all our messages out, did, w- was that sent with something that ha- gives them the ability to respond? Yes. Yes. And they Sending. Did. Correct. Oh, they did. They told us to fuck off, and everything was perfectly fine. Not to, not <laughs> we to sent messages man. all over, not just. Yeah, we got some. We got a bunch of answers back. We yeah. did. Yeah. yeah. yeah so we they're like, we're, we'll prepare for demons. Holy shit! Like, what the I fuck? Think we talked uh, to Brother Gruba. Ravali said that he was going to like muster the orcs. Yeah. Brother Gruber said that he was going to get the monks together. Yeah, and we said he was going to get drunk. Let's and then that. Amos was okay, I guess. Amos, oh, Amos. yeah, but I missed Amos. him. Okay, yeah. I forgot yeah. about that. Join yeah. okay. the Brotherhood. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Hey, Amos, you want to become famous? Ew. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Nice. Nice. It was not going. You nice. That was really great timing, robot. Nice. Uh, Good job. Oh, is that what it's yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 like get a bunch of followers and yeah. shit. Hey, Amos. Yeah. 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 This is the, <laughs> the blessed. <laughs> you can do all of our translations and do all the voices <laughs> and like. <laughs> Love. This is the blessed Love. couch of La Buard. <laughs> Just have a seat next to me. Yeah, subscribe to our Patreon for the Spanish translation of Beneath Dark Wings. Coming next week, I'll do the whole thing. Uh, oh all 350, all 350 hours. hours. And then also the, uh, the Brotherhood casting couch. Oh, God. <laughs> Special secret session with Amos. The, famous the Amos. Famous, yeah. famous Amos. Good old famous Thanks Amos. Thanks to whatever that guy uh, was. Be- oh, uh, a stop <clears throat> base sex. Or S tape. I don't know. He's just a robot. Um... <laughs> So that's what you do with your time as you are ready for rest. Can, well, I'm, I'm reading before I fall asleep. Can you, can you remind us what Portia said in response? She said uh, basically along the lines of, I'll let the High General know right away. Uh-oh. And we didn't send a message to Furman. You did. Oh, we did? Yeah, what he sent a message to Furman. He said, everything is fine. Uh, oh, stand right. down. Take he's no, the take one no that action. told us. We have it handled. Yes, that's take right. Take no action. That's right. Okay. Mm. Fuck that guy. Yeah, fuck that guy. Toa passes out immediately. You do. And once I, I'll go to bed. Once I feel like I believe enough to have enough information. You do. I just want to go on record as saying that the original definition of book is actually to like read very deeply, but it's been changed over time to be to quickly read and not to oh, scan through. I got flipped. The original definition was peruse is to like examine very closely. I always say peruse at your leisure. Yeah, that's using so, it correctly. Is it? Okay. But now it means like it's more colloquially used to casually read, yeah. not really take great care. Kind of skimming. Yeah. So there's a, there, you can take that one in the bank. Yeah, you can. I don't think they'll do they, anything. I was going to no, say no, they the won't. The mind bank. 
The mind bank. They won't do anything with it. They'll tell you no, you the can't open a savings account with that. This isn't legal tender. This is a stupid fact. <laughs> get, get out. <laughs> get out. Get out. How dare you waste our time? Even fiat currency. <laughs> this, this fact is extremely fungible. Get out of here. <laughs> you know what fiat stands for, right? <laughs> what I would love for? Because I did not, I didn't get, I wasn't here for this. I don't know. Oh, well, well, no, someone mentioned Ford, and then, and then Gino said, you know what Ford stands for, right? Fix it again, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Which is Dale's, yeah, Dale's joke. That's right. That's right. <clears throat> Touche. You all go to sleep. <gasps> and? And you dream. Because <gasps> you enjoy a long rest. Let's work. Let's see if I want different squirrels. I love squirrels. You wake up to a blazing red sun. Oh, well. Wait, is this the dream? This is the no, dream. No, no. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Thank God. I you're, you're rather, your consciousness. <gasps> you wake up, dude. Your consciousness as you dream turns to a, a blazing red sun. You're not sure if it's over Avantris or that other place, but slowly you see the shadow cross it. And. Until it's nothing more than a black disc and a blazing red ring around it. The eclipse. And you then see as the colors invert as a swirling red portal with crackling black magic around it in the sky over Korovakia. Looming large over the city of Zentra. You see then arcing black and red magic shooting up from the citadel, connecting with this eclipse as uh, lines of magic and energy uh, arc across the entire nation, forming a circle. You see people from all over screaming as their bodies snake with this horrible dark energy. They twist and shake, feathers grow all over, all over their body, their necks elongate, their teeth uh, grow sharp as beaks form, as they turn into horrific vulture-like demons across the entire <coughs> nation. You see this happen. People that you had seen, uh, Felix, in your travels as the Talon Guard, you see uh, Toa, you and Felix see the fishermen that, that you had Rob the clothing from oh, no. in his home, uh, burst out and go to tear apart his wife until she turns too. And you oh, see, uh, uh, Lufty, brother Gruber and Amos, no. uh, uh, going about brewing the beer as you see them scream in agony as red light, uh, this twisting red and, and black light engulfs them and they they scream and then let out a horrible squawking croak as they transform into no. these horrible demo vulture-like demons. As this happens across the entire nation. And then the sun is blotted out as all of these demons take to the sky. And the sky fills with these beasts as they then descend into Grand. They descend into Erios, they descend into Skethrenel, tearing apart Milo, tearing apart Alexei, Valeska, tearing apart Zorbeck, tragically. <laughs> <laughs> tearing about Warrior's Heart, no! uh, oh, no. tearing apart Rivali. Oh, God. And then the seas of Avantris are just a very short distance away to the rest is, that is just the beginning. As you see the colossal black citadel on the other side of that blackened sun, awaiting as the apocalypse comes from Pazuzu and the Queen's Conclave, and then you awake. <clears throat> I'll go um, to a window and just like, you know, pull back the, the drapes and look outside. Uh, 
you slowly get up as you pull back the drapes and it's, and the sun is up. You've you've gotten a full rest. Uh, and <laughs> holy shit! Oh god, that's that's a that's right out of my book. And <laughs> can't even imagine. as a in an in almost an explosion of blood and feathers, you see a raven crumple and collapse down to the ground. Like it hit the window. Like it hit the window. Oh, Mike. It's, there's, there's feathers and blood and grease smear. And then you see as a, as a, uh, a sparrow, tiny sparrow crumples oh. against it. Oh, my God. There is commotion from the castle grounds below, especially in the, uh, the barnyard area where the, where the food is, the, the, the livestock is raised. As, uh, as you hear a uh, loud clucking of, of, of uh, chickens and turkeys. And then another bird smashes against the window and collapse as you hear frightened voices murmuring and shouting from the castle. What What is that? What's happening? Uh, I thought it was just a dream. uh, Is it it the the apocalypse here? Is the eclipse here? Is the sky normal color? Sun's up. But not like a red sun. Okay. Uh, some, something's wrong. Uh, we gotta be getting closer or something. Uh, we gotta go check it out. Let's go. Jeez, that scared me so bad. Uh, well, I guess we'll rush out of our rooms and try. I'll be right there. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I wish you went for the priest. We have got to get you some clogs or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm 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 ready to go. I run I run out past it. Uh, like Reese was on his Crocs, uh, <laughs> uh, her by the door. His compact Crocs. <laughs> as you make your way, as people are, are jumping and screaming, as you hear a, a thud um, against the window, uh, as birds are 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 throwing themselves out, and you hear the commotion. Uh, as you make your way out, you're you're heading to the uh, the, the grounds behind the walls. Is that where you're headed? Yeah, so wherever this commotion we're is, out, they would be like pointing us as like, hey, you know, or we have wherever the, the loudest. We heard people is. yelling and yeah, freaking out. You hear the the shouting and the panic as you hear what sounds like squawking, and then you hear shit. Then it's just shouting voices, and you run out of one en- uh, exit of the castle, and what you see is actually far more unsettling as an eerie quiet has settled over. You had woken up many mornings in this valley hearing the chirping of the songbirds, Mm. the singing, and the pleasant clucking and gobbling of chickens and turkeys, the quacking of ducks occasionally. And now it's entirely quiet. You see several of the corpses of the birds around the castle in the yard. But then you see up on the wall ravens roosted. They're staring at you. Completely still, you see songbirds. You see a nightingale. A blue jay. A blue jay. You see... A blue bird. You don't see a blue bird. You see a robin. A sparrow. A cardinal. Perched on... Various parapets and walls. And a magpie. They're quiet. Definitely a magpie. A toucan. Yeah. That's right out. Certainly not. That's just flat out ridiculous. That's right out. Right out. Right <laughs> and you Thank step you out much. and you see that there's uh, uh, the stable master is looking quietly as you see uh, a dozen chicken just stopped looking at you. Several turkeys. And it's just completely quiet as all of the birds in this immediate vicinity are just stopped and staring. What are they doing? I don't like this. Something is seriously off. Is it P-Man? Is he controlling them? It's absolutely got to be something connected to it. We're being watched. I want to walk up to a chicken. Hey, man. Hey, chicken. Can you can you hear me? Can you speak? 
Mr. Chicken. Oh, I don't think chickens can talk. You hear like even hundreds on a good day. Of birds speak with the same voice. Oh, fuck. As they all open their mouths in unison. No thanks, Mike. It's all right. Can you just write down what they say? <laughs> I don't just want to play no more. <laughs> Can you this just write it down? This is actually one of the most horrific things. That's up. This is like up there. Just write it down. It is not too late to accept my help. And the chicken that you talked to said Explode. this, okay. as did all of the other chickens, the birds, and it booms out with a cacophony, not any, not magically amplified, just from the sheer number of voices that have joined that chorus in unison. <laughs> Oh, God. What should we say? I don't think we should say anything. We don't need your help. Yeah, hey, fuck all y'all. And and, and, and the, 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 the creature, you 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 controlling that the, them birds? Fuck you two. I don't fuck the birds. They're just being controlled. I'm sorry, Mr. Chicken. You're just being used as a mouthpiece. That's probably better than what normally happens for you, though. We're not going to accept anything. We don't need your help. We're going to stop you. And we're going to help ourselves. You can survive the Armageddon to come and change like your dear friend, Escher Kreskov, rise to Oberith Lord. Join the king, the queen's conclave. Once again, hundreds of voices. Now, <clears throat> you you wouldn't even be here offering to make some sort of a deal or a bargain if you weren't if you weren't worried that we're gonna stop you. Yeah, disrespectfully. No, thank you. We're gonna survive this uh, Armageddon just fine. Yeah, because it's not gonna happen. Yeah, you're not gonna happen. You're, you're not the the biggest baddest boss in the whole uh, all, all the realms. Yeah, neither are we. But we've got what it takes to stop you. He's he's scared. He's scared that we're gonna win. That's why he's here. I turn the chained god to madness. I was the one who caused the Lord of Lies to fall. And you were also thwarted by a mere mortal man. Do not forget this. For now, today I regain my strength and the strength of Thar's doom. Today is the last day. You had your chance. And in a moment, suddenly all of the birds look around and just start flying off in different directions. You see it's actually one of the hawks sees the pigeon and just, just snatches it off and makes off with a meal. Uh, the, the 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 chickens and the and the geese and the the ducks and turkeys are, are clucking and and gobbling about. As soon as the birds flutter away, I'm gonna. Ah, 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 oh, good gods! That was terrifying. <clears throat> Did you hear what he said? Today is the last day. Yeah, that means we still have time. Well, we had more time. At oh. least we still have time. Right, right. We can still make it. We can still make it. Oh, God. I, I, okay, all right. We need to go now. Yeah, yeah. Are, are we ready? Is there anything else that we have to do while we're still here? I think Arno should message her first, just to make sure we're not teleporting ourselves into anything. 
You did prepare that, right? Uh, I did not. Well, there's still, still opportunity to prepare Just yourself. Yeah, but I, I can't. There's nothing I can drop for it. There's literally nothing I can drop for sending. You don't have a single thing? No. All right, let's just risk it. <sighs> Do we have 12 hours? <laughs> what? Caprice, you can't be serious. I guess I'm not serious. No worries. I, I'll, I'll get 12 hours later. No, I'm sure it's going to be what? fine. What? You had all night? What could possibly take 12 hours? I was tired, and Twilight Imperium 3 is a much more boring rule book than you would expect. <laughs> I fell asleep right away. I thought it was going to be fine. We, we have, like... What's hours, a, Caprice, not not even twelve of them. Maybe maybe three of them. What do you need twelve hours for? I had an idea. I, I have an I, uh, a, a, a really cool song prepared. That takes twelve hours to sing? Yeah. I You you couldn't have done this like Caprice, a couple days ago? Uh, well I didn't know it was gonna be today. Caprice, I'm gonna be honest with you. Even on a good day I don't want to listen to you sing for twelve hours straight. Maybe you could just hum it in your head while it's we go not, about doing things. It's not that you're not a good singer, Caprice. You are. You're great. You're very musically inclined. <laughs> but, I, I wasn't asking you to listen. I just need to be able to sing for 12 hours. Well, then do that while we're doing other things. Yeah, can you do that? I don't think a spell ritually cast in this manner works that way. <laughs> well, maybe we can buy more time today and then you'll have more time. Let's go buy some time. Let's go find those twelve hours, and then and then we'll we'll be able to see what's for. Exactly, exactly right. Just stop by your time to cast this spell, not as a ritual. No, no, no. It takes twelve hours to fucking cast. <laughs> it does, and it needs snow. What I is it? I need a lot of snow. What? What, what is it? Where did you think we were gonna get snow? I just figured we'd like chop up some ice, you know, just. Shred oh, it, like it, a snow it. cone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love those. What is this spell? It's not important. We don't have 12 hours. Uh, well, I would like to know what this spell is. Well, no, no, I'm, I'm a little surprised. curious, too, to be honest. Well, if you can't do it, then sorry. I'm going to eat breakfast while we talk. <laughs> She's it, bacon and eggs. <laughs> oh, is it breakfast it. time? Hey, chicken, fuck you. You're <laughs> 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 eating a raw chicken? <laughs> Guts and blood. Caprice, stop! Oh my god, he's reverting back to a devil! He's going to hell! Somebody put him down! Just eating a raw chicken. I'm a a tiefling. I get to do some fucked up shit sometimes. (laughs) Alright, well, did you at least have time to work on the the, we're not here to attack you sign? Oh. Because you took that one. Oh, I forgot about the sign. No, that's okay. I took care of it. And it's like really glittery and car- colorful, but it's like odd. I don't know. It's like white on like light blue to kind of match me, and it's really hard to read. Um, the contrast really isn't very really hard. That's not going to help us at all. I, I thought it was nice. Bang, I'm kind of and it, I tried to make it look friendly. Yeah, I'm getting more of a threatening aura from it. I'm getting a headache trying to read it. I might be causing psychic damage. I like, I kind of move it around and the glitter like blinds you as the sun hits. Oh, all the chickens look and try to read and they all just die. From the oh. Perfect. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you pick up a dead chicken and bite its head off. <laughs> you know, for, our, for our last day here that we've got, this, we are not off to a good start. No. I, I really thought we were more in sync than this. Do we have another 12 hours? Because that's how long it takes to play Twilight Imperium 3, and now I know the rules. <laughs> and we might not have a world to play with. All right, we'll play, we'll play later. If we, if we save the world, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, that's well, I, pretty I, amazing. I guess we're just going. Let's go. Are, are we ready? I, I mean, I, I, can aim for the, I can aim directly for her office, and, and, and we hope for the best. We all just have to do a whole lot of, no, don't shoot, don't hurt us. She's got the I've sign. I've got the sign. Yeah, I'm not. Fling. <laughs> and I'm very persuasive. Between the sign and right. me being like, hey, it'll <laughs> right. be fine. All right. Okay. Uh, sure. Sure. That sounds good. Okay. Uh, now, you know, okay. Well, what am I? I viewed it once. Uh, is that better than casually seen? I, I, I think viewing once is better, but uh, for some reason, this chart, this rule set doesn't make any sense. Viewing something once seems better than that casually passing through in the hallway. Uh, or if I'm very familiar with it, it's really up to the DM of this world. Well, I think casually seen is more like you've casually seen it a few times. Oh. You know, seen once is like you've only ever been there once. They should really be better about that. 
Okay. Have it's, you been there more than once? I don't think so. No. So it's, it's just, just it's just a one time. Yeah. What's the what's the ratio on that? Well, do you really want to know? I'll find that for myself. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, yeah. So I would like to use okay. the spell scroll that we have that. to cast teleport and uh, in my mind's eye. Okay. Visualize the general's office. You do that to the best of my ability. Okay, you all get gather around Felix oh, as you fine. prepare to go to Zentra. Yeah, so I can either be on target, I can be in a similar area, or there can be a mishap. Um, basically, at the end of the day, this is all up to you, but multiple mishaps can happen, right? So, like, if we get a mishap, we take damage. It's like exploding dice. We try again, yeah. Oh, so, I'm up to you. Uh, viewed once? Reasonable? Yep. Okay, should I roll? Yep. Do I have to? And a rip. Okay. This is it. We can't even twist this. I can't inspire this. Is so it's mishap, it raw. similar area, off target, or on target are the four options. Okay. Uh, I will read it to you when it happens. Yeah. And then you use your uh, almighty grace to spare us. This stuff is hot as fuck, man. 92! We're on target, baby! Go. Uh, oh, for the God. record, it was 74 to 100 we needed. Wow. I know. I know, and we had a, a 50% chance that we were just going to get fucked. We better just land right in her lap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. We, we appear. Poof. That is <laughs> that is so importantly good. Yeah, yeah, it worked out. That is so good. Sometimes you get a little lucky, Ooh. you know? Sometimes it pays to be a oh. You feel as the, the spell scroll uh, dissipates and ignites into arcane magic, simmering silver. You will once again feel the ground leave you as you are ripped across Strida ah. and suddenly you appear Boobrace. and it's dark. <gasps> Darkness. And as as you see the, the scattering of papers uh, that fl uh, flick all around you as you have arrived, at an empty, darkened the sign, office. The sign! <laughs> I don't think anybody's here. here. We come in peace. And you see now the one of the chairs that you had sat in is turned over. Oh no. There's a large uh, cross slash the, underneath it. Stuffing has been pulled out. You see that General Paradiso's desk has been, uh, the, some of the drawers are open. Papers are scattered about. It Fuck. seems as if this office has been ransacked or searched. You are in a quiet office. The do uh, papers are scattered. Uh, you see that um, little shrine to the Raven Queen has been uh, uh, scattered across. The, the silver has been split down the middle, and you see that it was a silver-coated marble statue, and it's been split in two uh -oh. and uh, pulled away from the wall. As the office has been torn apart. Oh no! She's a slob. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have guessed. I'm not sure that's what this means. She may be dead, or she may have fled, and then someone ransacked her office. I feel like we've just kind of been like one step behind everything that we've needed to get to. It's because we keep sleeping. We should be doing other things. <laughs> I didn't mean literally one step. I mean, this could have happened weeks or months ago, but still, I don't know. If only we could send her a message right now and check. Oh. I'm sorry, I can't prepare sending today. Do you want to live? I do. Yes. I'm going to, like, uh, go to the door and just listen, and does it sound like there are people outside? Oh, make a perception check. Oh. Come on. Medium sized money. 13. You put your ear to the door and you hear the sound of clucking boots on stone floors. I thought you said clucking. Clucking yeah, I was boots. Like, Goddamn oh, God, chickens, chickens again. The chickens are back. <laughs> you shit! It is shate. Maman Brigitte. I don't know. She has transcended uh, time and space. <laughs> As Easy, buddy. <laughs> I clucked a chicken. No, As actually, there is a spell you I then can get rid of. You are then able, there actually is a, is a very faded window uh, into the, in this office door, and you're hearing people walking down the hallway, but you do see out of the corner of, of this uh, window, there seems to be a guard stationed on either side of the door. 
and it seems to, um, you're actually peering through this window, and it seems to be uh, uh, heavily barred across by at, at the top and the bottom. Um, uh, I'm going to turn around and just look at everyone and be very quiet. There are guards oh. outside. Mm. What? One. So I just, Rich told me to get rid of a spell because I found one I could get rid of and you said I could if I wanted to. And I go down to prepare sending to see that I do have sending prepared and I just didn't notice it on my list. Oh. Well, yeah, these things happen. You can still use it. This thing's out. I, yeah, I could. Well, we I guess I should. The whole time? Send, it was there the whole time. Send quietly. When, uh, while you're preparing that, uh, and you're telling us to, to be quiet, uh, I would like mouth. to look out the windows of this office and see how high up in the air we are. Oh, yeah. Um, you, know like yeah you look out the windows and you hear the croaking of ravens as they swirl around the top of this, uh, this citadel. And you know that this is effectively the highest level before Zern's Son of a uh, personal quarters. Yeah, yeah we're And we you look down and there is uh, to the uh, to the grand uh, square outside of the citadel, and there seems to be a throng of people. As you see that there are uh, where the the colors of um, Korvakia, the banners of Korvakia, are draped about. You see that there are effigies now of what can only be Zern being burned and slashed, and and great posters calling. Uh, Virgil Zern, a traitor. Oh, no. And, uh, and it seems as if there, and as if there's uh, all manner of propaganda, uh, against that. And there seems to be a great uh, crowd in the square, but as far, as, as high up as you are, uh, it's difficult to tell. Okay, I'll just ruminate over this that I'm seeing out the window. Do you relay that? No. Uh, not at the moment. I didn't want to interrupt. I didn't want to interrupt Iris. Oh, I'm so just I, standing here. I was going to wait. Until I had already prepared that spell. <laughs> I had it yesterday. Because <laughs> I definitely didn't give it to myself this morning. These things happen. Well, when, so last night when I said no, I can't call her. I could. Exactly. I totally could what have. What happens when better late than never? That's right. right. The first best time to cast setting was yesterday. The next best time is now. What's <laughs> <laughs> before we got here? The third <laughs> best time is now. Okay, let's discuss what we want to say. What's the important quietly, information? Quietly. Well, quietly. We're, we're, we're stage whispering. Quietly. We should still project because we yeah, have microphones we're that we're That was the feds again. <laughs> um, I think we need to let him know that that um, Furman is a traitor and that he is a demon and that he's trying to to, you know, bring about the end of the apocalypse and, and kill everyone in Dentra. And where is she? We need we need her we need help of anyone that's still loyal to Zern and or Zentra. And maybe let or her know that we're in her office. And Zern's not a traitor. Iris. Is oh, I don't know that because you didn't say it. If uh, <laughs> you didn't say it. <laughs> if you make the attempt at sending this message after we decide whatever we're gonna decide, and it's recipient Let's say it falls on dead ears. Is uh, are you gonna be aware uh, that it didn't? Uh, yeah. Does it like give you like a mwah Yeah. Do. <laughs> I don't know. Well, uh, let's it doesn't shot. explicitly say in the message. I think you probably just wouldn't get a response. Maybe. The person you are trying to reach is currently dead. dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. It's currently, and most likely will stay dead. If you would like to panic, mash your palm on the keypad. <laughs> oh, thanks. All right, well, I'll send that message then. Bring, bring, bring. You have reached the voicemail of... Yes! Um, Paradiso. This is Iris of the Sands, daughter to the Pharaoh of Siket, Jasper of the Sands. You probably remember me from when the last time we were in Zentra. Are you alive? We're in your office. Was that right? No, that was not right at all, but at least we'll know if she's alive or not. Well, sent. 
Uh, we wait for a uh, response. We've got a little bit of a problem out here as well. And I'll just kind of like point down into the oh wow into the city. Oh, that would have been good to know before I made that call. Hello. Make a, make a reception check. Toa and Felix, I guess both of you. You hear the voice of Kirby. So hello. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. You've reached my voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> hello. Oh, hello. Percep- perception, as some people like to say. Oh god, I got an eleven. What's your plus? Plus seven. Am I also looking out the window? I just if you if you care to. I do care. I finally had a bad roll. I'm sure everyone on a trap all night. That's not <laughs> skills, that's, that's skills. skills. Um, give me a 26 <laughs> perception of that. Oh no, that, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Thank you, please take a look at this. 23, 23. And you see that there is a very clearly a large effigy, which could only be Zern. You see the angular features and and there's, uh, people are shouting and screaming at it that, uh, and there's starting to, to be a, a bit of a, of a, of a burning uh, around it as well. Oh, no. And you see now as, as all over, you don't want to call this many banners to, to Korvakia. Uh, it seems to be rallying up some sort of uh, great national pride here. As you see now what the, as Caprice, you see the uh, in front of the effigy, um, you see uh, it's almost obscured, but you're able to look down and with your, uh, uh, your eyes that are sharp as something that's not a bird, uh, as that sees very well. Uh, you look and you see the uh, uh, very well constructed of heavy wood and metal, um, a gallows. Ooh, as Iris, so... you are oh waiting for a response. Moments pass, you do not get it. And you see that there are three bodies hanging from the gallows. Yep. Fuck. Uh, you know, and you look and you see military uniforms, high-ranking military uniforms, and you see there at the center the body of General Portia Paradiso, and flanking her were the two other generals that had been the eyes of Virgil Zern. There's uh, and and it, you hadn't really met um, met them. But you recognize them from the brief uh, description that you had had heard as I pull up their names. Maybe it's just the angle. Uh, but guys, you see, I still haven't received a, a response. I don't think you're gonna. Why? <clears throat> yes, why? It's not, it's not funny, Felix. <laughs> Miko, Ar- the Eye of Lore, Miko Arger, and then uh, Ina <clears throat> Eisenbaum, uh, the Eye of Silver. Those look like, uh, and I maybe I'm not uh, not hip to the the new fashion of the day or the military ranks, but aren't those the high ranking suits of the eyes there? Those uh, in the three gallows there. Are you telling me that all we had to do is look out the window to see that she was dead, and I didn't have to waste a spell slot on trying to call a dead person? He probably shouldn't have prepared that spell in the first place. <laughs> well, we should have messaged her last night. <sighs> I think the message that we sent is probably what got her killed. Maybe you're right. So what do we do now? We're on our own. We're here in Zentra. We've got to... Gotta come up with a plan, I have no You're idea. very weak. You're also very weak. You're incredibly strong. You are Trixie. Out of the two of you, who do you think needs to be bolstered more? You take a lot of damage. I do, yes. You can get out of things easily. I'm sorry, what are we talking about? I would like to aid you, but I can only aid three of you. And I'm going to do it at one of my highest capabilities. But we're on our own. We're going to have to leave this room. And the likelihood is that we will encounter... We will have to fight. We will have to kill our way through the city. <clears throat> and I need to know that the two weakest are protected. Do it for Toa. Toa's always like standing right in the front because he's really brave. I hit the face a lot. Oh, weak's the word I'd use. 
Well, it's the word yeah, I, I used. Thought, I thought you were just I mean, insulting. when it comes to, like, <laughs> picking things up and putting them back down, yeah, I guess that's a fair assessment. But if, I'm very uh, uh, fast and If uh, a large guard wielding a two-handed axe were to hit you three times in succession, mm-hmm. doing a roughly 60 points of damage, mm-hmm. how would you feel afterwards? I would say, oh, fuck. But before he would even hit me with the axe, I'd be like, hey, you want to play some Twilight Imperium 3? And he'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely slum down a lot. How, but do you, when, how do you play? Well, there's a bunch of phases. It's true. I tried to tell him something last yeah. night and he totally derailed me. It was really crazy. Yeah, I'll just, uh, I'll just fucking uh, <laughs> talk my way out of it. I'll, turn, I'll, I'll make myself look like an old man. He'll be like, I don't want to hit that three times. <laughs> that said, I really do still think she should help you both. But that's actually a really good point. I mean, I can illusion myself, too. I, I had done it for as long as I needed to before I met Toa and the rest of you. And I think I might still have one of those rings... Or I gave it to you to disguise yourself as well. I mean, we're more than three fifths of the way there. It's actually not a bad idea. Oh, the bird rings. Can you illusion anyone else too, Caprice? Doesn't it just make you a bird? No, no, no. no a physical it. ring that that changes your appearance. Like, like, like. Oh, I oh. do have it. That's right. Yeah, you're wearing a disguise until you were bird. <clears throat> I mean, I could, oh. I could give someone my mask, and then I would be able to disguise myself, and I, we'd, we'd, we'd have an, we'd have an hour. I, I could only hold it up for an hour without the Nimbansi mask that we got from that cool uh, cloud giant, bro. The rings only turn us into birds, though, right? No, 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 the, no, no, no. There's bird birds. rings, but there was a ring of the skies. Remember that when you were Bert. Oh, okay. So I, I no, have one of those. Birds. There's I many I bird gave rings. You the ring of the yeah, skies. yeah. It's, it's hat of the skies in my whatever. But yeah, it's that, I was gonna it was say. Just Turning us yeah. all into birds is not going to be helpful right <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Eric oh, And I think we Owl gave those away. Bird. I think we gave them back, didn't we? I don't know. Okay. Well, I I aid the three of you um, using a fifth level spell slot, so oh. your uh, health is increased by twenty. Back up. Yes. How long does that last? Uh, for eight hours. Pretty good. By 20? So, oh, hold on. Let me walk. Yes, I didn't by 20. Rest. We got long rest since. So no fridge to do that. Pretty done. 20, you said? Yes, 20. I could go higher, but I really don't want to use... Yeah, anything no. six, up a seven, single eight, cell nine. spell slot. Um, Broke to 200 HP. Is that uh, is that temp? Oh, yeah. Is that temp hip? No, it is uh, max. And I'm enjoying this benefit? Yes. And it's not concentration, right? It is not concentration. Oh, I feel pretty good. I feel nice and hearty now. So I can heal you back up to that spot, which is really nice. All it's right, not well, temp. If I put this ring on <coughs> and I focus, <sighs> do I look like Bert? You look exactly like Bert. Wow. I mean, look, this doesn't solve wow. all of our problems, but it's something, right? It's a start. Sure. All right. Well, the rest of us should probably disguise ourselves. There are two guards outside. What if we just open the door, loop them inside, and knock them out and take their clothes? Yeah, coconut style. Boop, boop. I'd refuse to wear the disgusting, sweaty, smelly clothes of a Zentrum guard. You can wear my jacket. Ew. Well, I think you probably need a more like magical disguise like I do. You want my mask? Mask is pretty good. Is it disgusting and smelly? Absolutely not. Oh, I heard that. There's a film on the inside. When was the last time you washed this? I haven't taken it off since we saw Nimbansi. <laughs> you just been wearing this crazy mask for like months and months. And everybody we talk to, they're just like, and this is Caprice. Oh, oh it's just a mask. And then take the mask off. Oh! My, my real face is covered with a thin film. It's like I've been wearing a cast for six weeks. Ew. Ew. Oh, oh, horrible just, mask me. Terrible. Your skin's kind of like light. That. And shrivel. I'm sure it's fine. I'm like <laughs> using my thumbnail to try and like Ew, create a little stop. like. <laughs> I, I go. I see you. And I'm like, oh my god, Caprice! I forgot what you actually look like. <laughs> but I've been making myself look like myself, but a much more handsome version. <laughs> it's like yourself with You're a filter just on. Ugly. Yeah, there's like a wart, like the devil has a few hairs on it going from his nose. It's like buck teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can put this on. Uh, just do a proud do the bear do the, do the Felix, thing. Felix, please. 
takes like it takes like ten hours. It shrieks and then slithers off. The film slithers off. It slips under the couch. This isn't the last you see of me. All right, so we only need. There you go. So we only need one disguise for Lufty. You're good. You can be disguised. I'm good. Yeah. You're good. I'm good. You want to be invisible? No. How would people see me and love me if I'm invisible? <laughs> you can hold up the sign. You just oh. also will still well, be invisible. Well, you know invisible. what I could do? I could use my spell etherealness and just walk into the ethereal plane and follow behind you. How does that work? Well, I just cast my spell and I walk into the ethereal plane and I can see you in shades of wispy grays and I just follow you around. So you could give you could give Lufty the, the, the mask and yes. you'd be ethereal. Yes. Well, how does, just out of curiosity, mechanically. However, why if you... something with true sight were to happen to look our direction, they would see me hanging out in the ethereal plane. That'd be kind of cool, though. You guys oh. could be like, unless it's evil. And in this case, I believe it would be Caprice. That's the point. I feel like we should just roll those dice. Do you? I mean, it's not me. Like, can you make with, me ethereal? We're dealing with Escher and the P-Man here. So either way, are we going out the window or are we going out the should door? should probably go out the window. Okay. Or we could sleep for eight hours and we could teleport again. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, actually, we could teleport now. I didn't use that spell slot. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I didn't well, use why, what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> I'm just saying, these are good plans back to Start drawing, that. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and you wake up and you're gals all around the street. Like thousands of people hang. Well, you know, I, in the sky. <laughs> I was going to cast teleport, but now that you've told me to, I don't want to. We slept through the apocalypse. Oh, <laughs> we should have said no. Mom's going to. Kill me. No wonder I didn't sleep very well. <laughs> well, um I was I kept waking up all night long from the screams of horror and death. <laughs> joking aside, I'm gonna oh, disguise myself for an hour. Yes. You're gonna wear the mask or you're gonna go with the I'm going to wear the mask. You wear the mask? Yes. You can either be invisible or you can guard clothes yourself. You've got options. Um I peek outside again. How tall are the guards? Uh, they're probably about like five ten. Mm. <laughs> so bigger than you. Definitely not Shan. <laughs> <laughs> no jokes. Come on. Fine. Guys. I'll wear the guards. Can I get the measurements? <laughs> I'll wear the guards uniform. You take the mask. I think it'll be really. Hard. I think you should just be ethereal. And that sounds kind of cool. Of course it sounds kind of cool. Think it's a lot of but it's a, a is gonna really, be... really high level spell. That's, oh. that's a lot of energy. Well, then you shouldn't do that. Yeah, you wear the mask. I guess I'll... Wait, I'll just check. I'm going to look around in her office and see if she had any, like, extra, like, spare uniform clothes that she kept in her office in case she shot oh. her pants midday. Um, I would say... As everyone... <laughs> everybody knows you keep spare pants in the office. You pull out a full latex bodysuit with a mouth guard and then you put it back without mm-hmm. saying anything. There's, there's definitely... Uh, you, you, I would say you don't even need to roll because you're taking an hour to disguise yourself. You search the room and you actually do find there's a small cot that's been turned over and you get the sense that she probably <laughs> would sleep here and there is a little... Um, there's a closet and hanging are two... Uh, uh, a woman's uh, general's uh, outfits. Wunderbar. I just put this on. Great. Yes. Walking around looking like a general right now seems like a great plan. Well, I'm sure these come off. I'll try to, like, take any of the little pins off or anything. <laughs> you can take it off. You just, or, you know, with this force, you could rip it off and it looks a little janky, but... <laughs> And you know that it's not very gaudy. It was there very similar besides just, like, lapel and, and pins to signify rank. That's that's it. That's that's the whole thing. We you guys are are are, are uh, angry citizens of of the 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 city of Centra. Uh, you and I can make each other look like or ourselves look like the um, guards, and we're taking you to seek to see justice. You you general you, you eye of uh, drink. Okay, just don't let me, you know. No, no, don't, no, no, she, she no. removed all of the... Yes, uh, we don't... Right. We let don't someone say she's also the blue. color in the blend. Yeah, she is also, also blue. blue. Oh. Mm. She looks like Grand Animal Thrawn right now. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Could we... Uh, 
Does anyone have any makeup? The screams of citizens being murdered echoes throughout the, the, the city. Um, I don't have any way of making you look different. So, well, no, I'm a cat. A tabaxi cat. Mm-hmm. Um, are there any other type of tabaxi? What else is in the office? Any chalk or, like... I would say there's chalk, yeah. yeah she's, I would take she's some a, chalk and, a, like, um... She had magic. It. She was met was magical. I would take some chalk, then, um, and crush it up into, like, my, my palm and spit into it to make sort of, like, a paste. Okay. Um, and just try to, like, even out my skin tone so I don't look so blue. Make I'll a... I'll look instead horribly, like... I would say just make a dexterity check and add your proficiency, because you are, you know, makeup and all that business. And the uniforms are long sleeve, and you could have gloves, yep, right? Yep, yep, yep. I mean, she has gloves. Yeah, it's yeah, very much. So it's really just your face. And if anyone suspects anything, I'll. So fourteen plus what? Convince them otherwise. Five. Plus proficiency. Mm. So and our proficiency is also five. So yeah. ten. Okay. So twenty-four. Yeah, you uh, take some time to take some chalk, and she actually has some makeup in her inner drawer, oh, and you're cool. able to 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 basically uh, hide. And so t- if someone looks closely enough. They can see a little twinge of, of, of blue It's like I've got the wrong it. foundation shade exactly. on. <laughs> it's, it's like you have uh, like a blood problem and it's just like you're bruised. <laughs> you know, you're like, you're basically your whole face is a bruised. Blood problem. Don't talk to her, she's got blood problems. <laughs> <laughs> she's got ghosts in her blood. I've got ghosts in contagious. my blood. Don't talk to you her. You should do cocaine about it. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, you look, you look actually somewhat human. Wow. You actually look somewhat human. Well, thank you. <laughs> Maybe you like also kind of have your hair almost like in front of your face, just sort of. Oh, but then how would people see my beautiful human face? We don't want that to happen right now. Oh, we're opposite... looking at your face. Oh, fine. I'll take my buns down and like my hair is ex- insanely curly and poofy, <laughs> uh, just because it's always yeah. like up into like yeah. a real tight bun. So yeah. I'll uh, so poof it out. Spiraling out. Yeah, they have the spiral. And because yeah. you're an air genasi, they're just kind of hovering, like, just <laughs> sitting on the air. It's so light. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll I'll floof that out and try to like pull you know cover my face up a bit. Yeah, you frame it. It's you know. It's okay. So you're you're Bert. I'm Bert. I'm still I'm like six and a half feet tall. It's the best I can do. But you look like the giant mutton chops. You look like a yeah. big burly human. Yeah. Felix, Felix, what do you look like? Um, I look like the <laughs> most. I, I I well I'm gonna cast uh, what is it disguise self. Yeah. Uh, I look like the most generic, like. Uh, like forgettable, like normal human in the planet. So I just still look like Felix. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, uh, my my previous uh, pseudonym was Albert Sunshot Power Bottom the Third, um, and I would look however I looked then. I would try to I would try to mimic whatever you know. I, I don't think we ever really talked about it, but I would just look like a very generic, like commoner. Okay. You know, like a forgettable face, somebody who, and, and I would be used to doing this to try to like have been been evading, you know, the Korvakin military for like for. That's okay. Reynold the accountant. Yeah, basically. <laughs> and then, but then you look at it and you go, huh, that guy was pretty forgettable, and you move on with your life. And I will uh, do the same, but uh, as a lo- slightly older man, gray hair. Um, we're not trying to look like guards, right? No. What? We're trying to look like members of the military, right? Are we? Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, shit, I missed that part. Sorry, I've been focusing my spell bot. We're in a military uh, building. I, then I just still just look like a normal guy. But with guard. Oh. Yeah, but I guess I can change. I, can I change my clothes? I look like Bert, but mm-hmm. just yeah, yeah. like. This uh, guy self is the whole shit. Well, then I just, yeah, I just make sure that my yeah. military uniform looks good. I also look like a slightly older guard who never got past the rank that he's at. It's very bad, sad back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, including your clothing. Okay, yeah. Then I would just, I would, I would be wearing my, you know, what I know to be. Um, I, the only experience I have with really with people from this area are Lufty and uh, Felix. So I'm wearing Lederhosen. Oh no! Uh, I look like a bar wench. Um, with pigtails, and uh, I'm going to start calling myself Heidi. But, but you need to look like a guard, though. Well, isn't this what a guard would look like? Is it too much no, cleavage? that's why I changed out of what I was wearing and put this on. Now. There's no such thing as too much cleavage, unless you're a guard in the city of Zentra, and you'd be wearing a guard's outfit. Isn't this what a guard's outfit looks like? No, these weird no guards, this is what a guard. 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 Well, is a this soldier. what a military person would look like? Am I a military no. person? Well, I like the ruffles along my chest. 
I mean, you're just wearing look, what Luffy got, wears. It's got puffy sleeves. Well, Don't no. get me wrong. You look super adorable. But Thank it's, you. I'm not a military person. Those are just no, my clothes. No, I've got a nice little skirt. Lufty always wears these billowy pants. I mean, it's a little different, but it's mo- it's like mostly the same. At least the top half's basically the same. Yes, I've breasts for days. Mm-hmm. And they don't have any hair on them. Mm-hmm. I can see my nipples. Mm-hmm. Well, I can see them when normally too. I mean, it's not like they're covered in hair. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter. Um, I, I think you should maybe just switch it up to have oh. like a military uniform. We, we should all be wearing the exact same outfit. Is, well, is, is the point? We all I, made one choice to get to the way that we look. I'm now. allergic to unlimited pants. Times. You're allergic to pants? I'm allergic to trousers, yes. Um, I don't think it's going to feel like you're wearing trousers. I have a tail. It's an illusion. Yes, I know, which means my tail is still there. It'll it'll be hidden by the illusion. It's an invisible tail. Yeah, See, like, but I still my have My face to... is right here, but really my head's over here. I don't believe I wouldn't have to tuck my tail into pants. We could just cut a little hole and then the invisible tail will stick out. But if it's an illusion, how do you cut a hole in an illusion? Just, just I don't imagine. know. Oh, you're wearing the mask. It's alter self. So you're actually just slooping oh, into shit. whatever you're, you're becoming. Mm. Oh. No, see? <laughs> They're not hairy anymore. <laughs> so you this don't even is, have a tail right now. This is no illusion, big boy. <laughs> I mean, you look nice. <laughs> oh, thank you, Toa. Do I really have to change into what you look but like? I think you might ruin an apocalypse ending. You know, we're, we're trying to prevent the apocalypse. So what am I supposed to look like? I mean, just just how you are now, but wearing what we're all wearing right now. Like the exact same outfit. <laughs> yeah. But you're wearing drab grey. Yes, put on some drab grey. Oh, no, that's not part of my palette. These are the sacrifices we have to make in order to stop the apocalypse. Fashion, too. <laughs> and comfort. To save the world, then bring I, on the apocalypse. I think that when you're being torn apart by demons, you're going to feel like maybe I, I should have worn the I would prefer to be torn apart by demons in Versace. Versace? Yes, Versace. Versace? Versace. Is it the name of a demon? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a fashion kind brand. Of. Yeah, <laughs> within the crotch. It's Listen, funny you should say that. We have it's limited a... time. We need to we need to move oh, on. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Franz Versace. We have to get out of here, Vera Bradley. Right within the face. <laughs> Fine, I'll wear drab greys. Sorry. Such. We'll make it up to you after this. After we save the world, you get to wear whatever you want. Forever. Goodbye, ladies. Goodbye. You could keep them, just put them under clothes. <laughs> but if you had them, would you ever want to clothe them? Sometimes what you can't see outright makes it more fun. It leaves oh. more of the imagination. Oh, then I'll wear something nice underneath. And then I'll disguise self. Or your alter, alter self. Alter. Yeah, yeah. It's actual cloth right there. Uh, and if it matters mechanically, the uh, item requires attunement. So if you're already full up, you have to you have to unattune from something in order to enjoy the mask. Oh, I'm not attuning from shit. <laughs> Y'all are fucked. At, I mean, the I'm at max. You are. So if if this were the reverse situation and someone were handing me an attunement item, I'd be like, oh shit, I have to not have the mask or not have the bow or mm. not have. Where, there we go to attunement. Yeah, I, I am attunement. not. Okay. Mm-hmm. I only have two attunement yeah, there items. You go. Although yeah. I could very easily get rid of my eyes of charming because I literally never used it. So right. I'm okay. <laughs> Are we ready to? Ready to go? <sighs> yes, sir. Yeah. Oh yeah, we need to talk to like, our. <sighs> following your lead. All right, you're gonna do the talking if we get in trouble. Yeah, I'll be there to help you out. You're the senior officer. I click my heels. Uh, we will, we will, um, let's just, uh, we, the official business. Yes, of course, right so away. What's, uh-huh. what's your name, in case it comes up? Uh, my name is, um, uh, uh, what's a high, what's a high rank? Uh, Captain? Uh, I don't actually know. I mean, Captain wouldn't be as high as General, so that's, like, a good one. I don't yeah, feel like... Captain, yeah. What's, what's, what's about Captain? Admiral? Well, but that's, no, that's, too hard. that's, what, and also it's, a, uh, uh, Naval. It's Naval. Naval. Oh. That's we, lovely. We're 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 Captain's army, good. right? Captain, Captain's Captain. Good. Okay, okay. So we should all be captains. Yeah, we're varying ranks. I'm used to being a private. I don't mind being demoted a little bit if I'm just you know here helping you out. Privates, privates, privates. I don't you dare try and make me a private. <laughs> you can be. Uh, I'm a princess, Caprice. Se- senior private. I just want to be anyone's senior private. I'm a captain. Okay, two captains and three. Pirates. Oh, you do not make a captain. Look at you. He looks kind of. Old. Yes, you're old and you're not very smart. 
You don't have the experience to be a captain. You're a big bushy. Well, why don't you be? Ca- no, but I'm supposed to be the one who's talking to people. They're going to come to me. Yes, but the moment they stop talking to you, you're going to try and convince them that they don't have a penis. Maybe they don't. Can we just use our original names that we had? No, my name is Heidi. Okay, you're Heidi. Which was my original name? Your original name was Hedwig Holy... Oh, Holy fuck no, Holy my Storm. name's Heidi. What was mine? You're, you, you were... No. In, you were Inga Flat Arrow. What an awful name. Pick yeah, a new one. terrible. <laughs> Your name should be Lufty. And Caprice was Artfried Frozenbow. Oh, please, Caprice, oh, wow. pick a different one. Uh, okay, uh, my name is uh, Captain Darcy Hans. Barrelmaker. At no, that does not sound like a Zentran name. <laughs> why not? I come from a long line of barrel makers, and now I'm making my why, way through the military. You, that's very, go, that's justifiable. No, it's why grounded. Don't you call it's grounded story. Hans Hefty Hands. <laughs> Hefty hands. Well, they call me Hans Hefty Hands. Yeah, I think that works. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I think that works. Yes, no, I think that's great. Hans. Hans. I'm Ben. Yes. Albert, which is weird that that kind of happened the way that it did, but hey, you know. I can't call you and Private Bert. What is your, what's your last name? Siegbert Pine Grip. Ooh, I think you might want to change that. Well, well as long as I'm Siegbert. Pri- private Pine Grip? <laughs> there's 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 a lot going on in there. We don't have enough time to unpack that. For a while. There's a lot going on there. Uh, what would be better? Wood wood hold? Yeah, private wood, private wood hold works way better. So uh, you have to write out of the park. Holy shit! Let me write this down. <laughs> Captain. Secret though. Wait, heft hands? What are you fucking calling me? <laughs> hefty, heft hands, hefty hands. Hefty hands. Hans, heft hands. No, it's heft hands. No, it's hefty hands. Yeah. Sure. Oh, hefty Private. Hands, whatever. <laughs> Woodhold. 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 <laughs> All right. What about you? Staff grip. <laughs> what about you? Me. Pri- are you private staff grip? <laughs> no, no, staff? I'm private power bottom the third. <laughs> staff, you, bat- can't, you can't be a third. That what? sounds too regal for a private. Should there's, I be a private? So he's just no, he's just no. private power bottom. Private my, power bottom. My what do you want to be? I can be a private. Private. Just yeah, I know. Be private Helga Himmelstrauss. Himmelstrauss? I, I wrote Prevault. <laughs> Himmelhaus? Himmelstrauss. Himmelstrauss. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. And what about you, uh, Iris? Well, I'm I'm General Heidi of the Sands. I feel like they're killing generals right now. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like oh, you don't feel like that. Oh, no, I'm the, being nice. So, so a captain? Yes, we're two oh, captains well, and three privates. Captain Heidi of the Sands. No, not of the Sands. Why well, not? That's my last name. No, you need something. You need a fake last name. Well, I'm not sure what a good Zentran last name what about would be. Heidison. <laughs> Heidi Heidison? Sure. Heidison. Heidi Heidi Ho. Heidi Heidi Ho. Heidi Heidi Ho. Ho's your middle name. <laughs> that would just be Heidi Ho Heidi. <laughs> no, it's Heidi Ho Heidison. Heidi Ho Heidison. <laughs> I don't know why we always overcomplicate these fake names. None of this will matter. In five minutes, this is just, this is just gonna show up. Just, We're just gonna like log out, not encounter anyone, get where we need to go, and then drop this guy. <laughs> We're all just hanged and the campaign's over. All right, uh, uh, I think you break. You know, uh, uh, is everything? So, are we walking out the door, or are we going out the window? Well, unfortunately, I disguised self 47 minutes ago, so we have, we have 13 minutes to figure this out. Hang on, guys. We're going out the door. All right. We've got some age on. All right, privates. Captains. Captain, no, you're not a captain. I am a captain. Good, you're going to fuck this up. Let's go, private power bottom, wood grip, and... He must start. It's wood hole. It's not that hard in comparison to the rest. And I'm Captain Hefty Hands. <laughs> <laughs> Should I change mine? <laughs> Oh, this is so funny. <laughs> I was like automatically at attention when she addressed me, and everybody else is like, <laughs> And I'm hefty hands! Look at my hefty hands! Oh, it's a penis joke! Wood gripper! It's 
All right. <laughs> Having had this discussion before using disguise self, I use disguise self. All right, As everyone. To attention. Mm-hmm. Let us march. Yes, let's go, Captain. Sir? <laughs> and we walk walking. through the doors. No! Into the hallway no. for the first time. <laughs> we don't want to walk out the door. That's, that's, that's what we that's decided. Whole plan. This is why we're disguising ourselves, so that we don't go out the window and look super sus. I asked if we're going out the window, and we said, yes, we're going out the I window. Know, I think they specifically said no. We're like hundreds of feet in the air. Yeah, yeah. We, we can't go out the door. How the fuck did we get inside the door? We're searching the it's, office. It's too late for reasonable logic like that, Lufty. Oh. Oh. We're just yeah. fucked. Going out the window looks like us flying. And there's a million yeah. ravens. I was gonna try to like door us down, but we're too high up. Like I could have dimension doored us, but it's like 500 feet. Oh That's dear! Like uh, I don't, I don't think that we survive. Well, in that right. case, I if I know we were going out the door, the I would have coconuted them. <laughs> like, coconuted them. What? Well, it's too. You still late. have an opportunity That's to do that. B. It's Plan B. You still plan. can. You yeah. still can. I think we should coconut them. <laughs> well, let's let's just fight. I think we should try to not leave any bodies in our wake. Well, we won't. We'll drag them in here and lock the door. And then they'll climb out the window, or they'll alert the No, the, the coconut means you go to sleep. <laughs> yes, and then when they wake up, they Sweet can alert coconut the leaders. Trees. <laughs> we, we try diplomacy first, if it doesn't yes. work, the coconut. Exactly. All right. All right. Attention. March. We walk out into the hallway, looking very official. <laughs> March. <laughs> Forward march. You grab the door and the door handle turns and you open it. <laughs> and the door clatters against the it's wood. Bar. It's bar. It's yeah. bar. <laughs> the door is barred. The door is barred. He told us that like the very first thing. So the guards are just like, what the fuck? <laughs> what? And you hear the voice, <laughs> who's in there? Who's the f- who locked this door on us? Oh no. Get out of the way. And I had to do it. This is a disaster. This is an absolute disaster. It's a wood splitter. It's like very heavy wooden. uh, And they splatter as you break through. Uh, Wood is splintering. Both uh, guards are grabbing, uh, reaching for their swords, and they see uh, uh, five uh, uniformed uh, soldiers uh, step out. And they they grip their uh, swords. How did you get in there? How did you get out here? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't where we parked our horses. Quick, what's the Spider-Man meme? Change places. <laughs> I, I point, I point inside. And I try to, I just try to overconfidence my, my to confuse them to be like, oh, we should be in there now. <laughs> It's time to turn to the shift inside and we have to we have to rotate! Rotate rotate how, how did you get in the chair? Where's your sense walls? of duty, man? You heard the, the <laughs> captain? Make it uh make a deception check and advantages as he looks at you and he says, uh, uh, what is your name and rank? I don't think I've ever seen you before. I'm Captain Hefty Hands! <laughs> and with a 27, you'll go inside right away! <laughs> You <laughs> teleport into the room to keep going. Uh, of course. And they look, and they both they both look at each other, and he says, uh, uh, "Yes, uh, apologies, uh, Captain Hefty Hands." As they salute you, and we will uh, guard the traitor's office uh, uh, right in here, and, uh, in from the inside. You keep uh, a close watch now. Yes. I'll come back for your names later. You make sure no one climbs in through that window, do you understand? And attention, sir! There's probably a lot of sensitive information in there. We should have looked for it, but we'll be back. March! <laughs> <It is>. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir! As they say, yes, sir! And ma'am! After, uh, after hands. As they both oh, just march uh, single file into the uh, into the door. All right, the come on, let's go. Come on. <laughs> I'm Captain Hefty Hands, and with the 27, you'll go in there right away. <laughs> Derek, it's Captain How did Hefty. How you get in there? How did you get out there? <laughs> <laughs> By fire with fire, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> the gas lighter strikes again. Uh, and we uh, start to make our way down the tower, right? We're, we we don't want to go up. Correct. No. Do we I think. 
Yeah, we, we want to go really down and out. We didn't really talk about it. Uh, <laughs> no, we didn't. If we... No, we need to go up. So as, oh, yeah, because we want to go find... What's his face? Furman! As a quick brief aside, if we want to find Furman, we have to go higher. Yeah, so we want to find Furman. If we want to go down, assuming that we talked about it. I think Furman. We, we want Furman. Okay, then voting Furman. I turn and I see the staircase Furman the vermin. leading up, or oh, I see I, uh, uh, I follow the blue line on the side of the wall in a hospital style. Like uh, <laughs> you recall that it's a circular, here. it's a circular yeah. uh, tier, uh, similar Ooh. to the ziggurat, but it's it's circular instead of the uh, the square shaped uh, ziggurat. Like the and it's actually party? shockingly similar in its construction, actually, that you realize now. <laughs> Should have been my last As name. As you uh, make your, you remember the the uh, entrance to Zern's. Uh, basically, Zern had the entire top of this uh, citadel. I do. And uh, if you're heading in that direction, you know exactly where to go. Uh, our heels click on the um, cold stone tiles and stairs as we make our way up. Yeah. And uh, if we and encounter there, anything, it, great. There's a landing, but... and there mm. are two. Um, there's actually a row of uh, of six guards that are standing at attention at this uh, at these large doors. Once again, the uh, the, the drapes of the Korovakian um, seal uh, are, are is almost like that they that, that this that Furman is overcompensating this, for what's been done. I see. As and soon you, as I see you, these two guards, I'm going to quickly whisper in Felix's ear because uh, he's the one I trust most about military authority in Zentra. Um, do I need to show like any papers or like what is their expectation? How, how do I get them to understand that we're supposed to be here? Someone who was capable of being a captain would already know the answer to this. All right. Well, well considering we don't actually have any papers, uh, I mean, we're going to just have to talk our way through this. Oh, you know, like the Star Wars movies and the hallway shots? Do you mean the mirror images? Where there's like six stormtroopers all kind of jogging weirdly <coughs> all together, but you're like, oh, think, oh, they must be going somewhere important. I think that's what it should be like. Like, no one questions it. So we Generally, should pick it up to a jog, then? The, uh, what, we, we should, should be like, like a with, really slow yes, sort of jog. Per- with purpose. Yeah. Yes, what Toa's trying to say is if we look like we own the place, people are going to question us And if us anyone a lot tries less. to stop us, you just tell them, worm, get out of my way. Official Beneath business. Me. And you say, yeah. This is what I'm saying. You don't know how to be a leader. You Treat everyone else like they're worms beneath your feet. Whatever you say, Heidi Ho. And uh, <laughs> we continue on and we approach Heidi the guards. I, I will take the lead and I will. Yeah. Uh, uh, and, and before we do that, welcome Afro Ninja oh. 280. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Hey, welcome. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. And thank you, Polymorph, for the clip. <laughs> <laughs> Always welcome. <clears throat> yes. And you uh, and you know that there is a small um, hallway on the. Uh, that's external, that has windows mm-hmm. uh, looking out and you hear all the ravens and you know that uh, Zern's quarters are is an entirely windowless, windowless space, very heavily fortified. And uh, you see that there are six, there are three on either side as um, they- uh, Three guards on either yeah, side? Yeah, three on either side, so the six in total. Okay. <clears throat> as they stare at you past um, uh, helmets that uh, have, that, that these guards, the helmets that they're wearing are not, um, <clears throat> You're not familiar with the uh, that this this helmet. You hadn't, you hadn't seen this design. This form before. factor looks new. To it me. looks new, and it looks it looks avian in a way uh, as they uh, look at you very intently, almost like pred- like predatorily. <gasps> I like that. And um, as they approach, uh, the the one on the right side says, "Stay to your business." Uh, yeah, ca- Captain Hefty Hands, and you are Hefty Hands. Y- yes, what is your name? You do not recognize me. Uh-oh. Do I recognize him? No. Why on earth would we recognize you? <laughs> it's a good at question. A, at attention, a- answer the lady. Yes, private. We, we, we're, we're here to see uh, uh, General Bradley. Official business, and I rib you a little. <laughs> We are the personal escorts of the High General himself. We are the ones who protected him from the assassination attempt of the traitor Paradiso and her conspirators. And we congratulate you. Know the- I spit on the ground when, when he says that. For dramatic effect. We, we, we can tr- congratulate you for your efforts, but we're not here to state business. We're not here on official business. Bradley will know to expect us. You can ask him. Firm. 
Furman. Uh, Furman. Mean... For, I'm using yeah, a first yeah, name. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, I would say, uh, yeah. yeah. General, High General uh, Furman would know to expect us. We're not sneaking in the back door. It would be impossible. Look outside. Ha ha. Making a deception and disadvantage. It's still pretty good. 27. <laughs> pretty good. One side. Sorry. What do you roll for the 27? I rolled a uh, uh, 12 and an 11, and 11 plus 16 is 27. Hi, epic failing glory. I'm gonna, I'm gonna twist to dread. Hello. Okay. Um, so that means I just roll another. Yeah. No, 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 myself, my, my own roll. Oh. oh. I know, it's just, that's a better play. It's worse. That's yeah. a very cool play. Yeah, nice it's worse. Nice okay. worse. Okay. I have a pretty high plus to inside, but. I like where your head was at. Thank you for the, oh, or welcome. Uh, epic fail and glories. Oh. Welcome. On welcome. welcome. Hello, hello. <clears throat> uh, he looks at you and his eyes narrow. And he says, what is your unofficial business then? The high general is expecting visitors, but he did not say there would be five of them. The personal guard of the high general expects that you are of rank to know his business. I'll make sure he hears of this. I kind of like, <laughs> I kind of giggle when she says that. It's a little suspicious, don't you think? I would agree, Captain Hydeson. Please, we've been quite forthcoming, but we cannot be sharing secrets. You yourselves could be spies. There was recent, recently an assassination attempt. Now a personal guard is asking for the private business. The High General trusts Ooh. us after the duplicity and treason of Ooh. Virgil Zern. I'm sure he does. Only colonels may answer with no questions asked. Well, questions have been asked, and answers have been given. Make an intimidation check. I'm not good at those. That Iris intimidates me. That's not good at those. Yeah, know, you she tend does. to be very intimidating. I'd, I'd flop out something else, like sending for it. Um, uh, uh, 16. 15. Um... He does not seem to, to notice that he's attempted, that you're attempting an deception, but uh, he stays very, he like turns towards you and there's something um, <clears throat> very uh, quick in the movement of his, of his head. Very bird-like. Mm -hmm. uh, and it looks as they look back and forth between you uh, as they, as they na uh, narrow their eyes at you. Now they would have already fucked us up if they had true sight. That's true. That's very true. If you simply state the nature of your business, and it is something that those who would have the High General's ear would know, then we can presume you are not with the traitors who attempted assassination. We have a message from Esha Kreskov. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. Speaking of such a chicken advantage. <laughs> Deception? deception? Yes. Oh no. Where are you, Deception? Why am I not inspiring Where people? Where are you? 15! <laughs> I would say with with that, I think a 15, and that the way that you delivered that, that is exactly the DC that I had set in my head. And he looks at you, and his eyes dart, his head darts back and forth, and he takes one step forward, and he looks past you down the stairs that you came, and he says, lower your voices. We wouldn't have to if you didn't keep us waiting in this hallway. You've done well. We need the highest protection, and you are clearly fully committed to that level of protection. But you now understand the graveness of what we've come to convey. The and apocalypse is nigh. He Let us enter. He looks at all of you. Hail Hydra. <laughs> 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 
I don't say that. <laughs> For the pee man. Kaka! Kaka! With the hip hair. It's the biggest thing ever. And then I'll just walk around Zen Tucker like. Uh, <laughs> and with that, uh, he, he looks at you oh, no. and he uh, reaches for the door and he starts to open and he says, we walk beneath dark wings. And he opens it. And uh, he, the, he, this that's double door. Bad. And yeah, uh, they open the door uh, inward. And also with you. And, <laughs> <laughs> and you, you, you see all of the guards turn to face you. As you enter, they then march in and follow you in. As... Gentlemen, ladies, and we continue to make our way. I know that I can feel the eyes on the back of my head, but... <clears throat> you, the door closes tight behind you and they fan out, uh, barring your exit, should you choose to, uh, keeping an eye on you. As you see, this is Zern's office. This is where you had fought um, Kujata mm -hmm. and slain him in his transformation. That was a fun fight. As you see the the uh, huge uh, war table with all the various pieces, and you see the, to your surprise, that uh, where the forces of Korvakia had invaded Grand, uh, much of it had been pushed back uh, in the time since. And um, you see, though, at the large desk past that table, sitting is Bradley Furman. He looks up at you and you see now his outfit is what Virgil Zern had once worn. Uh, both arms now uh, in, in the sleeves in use. Uh, the, the heavy military jacket with the highest uh, commendations. And you see that uh, his one eye uh, looks at all of you and the lines on his face showing his age had not been as, his, the years have not been as kind to his facade as they had been to Virgil's arms. Despite being the same age, he looks considerably <clears throat> older. Um, also enhanced by his, uh, his very uh, thick black mustache and uh, his uh, short, perfectly cropped uh, hair, uh, streaked with uh, lines of white. He looks at you and he smiles. Does he look at us with one eye, or is he, he looks still... at you with? He looks at. He says, Does, oh, he still is it easy to tell that he knows exactly who we are? Make an insight check. Oh, oh. <laughs> man's got a demon eye. I think we're in trouble. God, these <laughs> dice. Fourteen. He he doesn't seem to have any kind of sinister uh, intent behind his smile. Real quick. Thank you for the follow. Epic, epic fails and glory. Oh, thank you. Hey. Thank you. Hey. Thank you. Hey. Hey. So hey. Thank you, epic fail. Oh, oh, thank you. And that is 220 gifted subs. Oh, that's oh, unbelievable. That's okay. so generous. Thank you. Welcome, friends. What is this that you wanted to tell me? This important business. I'm afraid we can't speak privately. Uh, your escort, uh, your, your guards are right here. I know they are trusted, but our message comes from... Escher the, Kreskov. I was going to say the Count, but yes. <laughs> I have been expecting... <laughs> one, uh, 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 two, uh, one uh, uh, message. <laughs> <laughs> two messages. He stands up, he walks over to a large liquor cabinet. Three messages <laughs> as he gets some glasses and he, he uh you see there's a large decanter of spirits and he uncorks it and he pours several glasses full uh, and he reaches to an ice uh an ice box and he adds ice <clears throat> i've been expecting word Did not expect him to send five messengers for such an important and sensitive topic you could be in league with the traitor former high general who would lead our great nation to ruin and attempt to assassinate me. These 
six gentlemen are my wings, so to speak. I trust them implicitly, as you can trust them. We are all on the same side. Beverage, as he steps forward with a warm smile and he hands out drinks. No, to- thank you. I don't drink on the job. When you achieve the rank that I have, you're privileged certain comforts, and I will allow it while you're in my presence. I suggest you drink. I don't drink on the job. I like your commitment. Would he offer it to us as privates? Uh, I would say, make a history check. It is advanced. So he's given us all a drink? <clears throat> yeah. Like, I would find that odd. Yeah, if we were, like, standing behind so. them as, as... Considering the state of Zentra mm-hmm. and the fact that there could be many lurking in the shadows that wish us harm, I prefer to keep my wits about me at okay. all times. It is the only way I can ensure that I'm able to protect the High General. Captain isn't mistaken. More importantly is the series of our news. It's surprises me that you keep no secrets or privacy to yourself in front of these six defenders. I would suggest you ask them leave to continue our business, and I will attempt to cast Suggestion to ask them to leave. Ballsy. Oh, God. Oh, my Ballsy. God. Uh, how does Suggestion work? Uh, you will make a Wisdom saving throw, and if you fail, you pursue the course of action that, that, I, that I suggested, DC 18. I hope he doesn't have counter spell. That is ballsy. I like where your head's at. I figure, well, let's roll some fucking dice. High risk, high reward. Yep. Oh, I don't like the fact that that sounds like two dice. It's at advantage. He's advantage against spells. Yep. 25. Uh oh. That succeeds. Uh, Does he know that you attempted to suggest? Uh, I don't think so, with suggestion. No. Well, it would depend if I have the arcane presence. focus that is on my person, and it is a verbal component. That is the suggestion that I made. So uh, if he gets a, like, you could have him make an arcana check or something to mm-hmm. see if he gets a whiff of magic, but uh, uh, my understanding is that the answer would be no. He makes no motion besides... Uh, it's not like true. <clears throat> yeah, well, he if he will not take a drink, perhaps he'll still join me in a toast as we await the good news, certainly, that... The Count Kreskov has proven even more use than we expected. But first, your, your good news to ensure that it is a success. I am afraid that is why we are here. The Count was unsuccessful in his effort to retrieve the artifact. I love it. I love it so much. I love the direction you're going here. Some, some, (laughs) I'm just spitting chaos here. Uh, Some group was able to intercept and intervene. I understand that there was a... They called themselves the the wings of the raven. And these wings, they... Are champions of Zern. The lap dogs of the traitor Zern. Yes. 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 I had the misfortune of a carriage ride with them, yes. I find it difficult to believe. Make a deception check. Holy shit. An advantage because I'm helping. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm, ro- I'm just rolling his insight. Uh, 31. I was going to say, it's like, you know, it's going to be hard to beat him here. I mean, well, this is, I this like is dice always rolled a Furman. The yeah, Furminator is like within like a plus 15. Inside. I believe in Caprice. Thank you. I don't. I, I'm just oh, so in chaos. Twenty-eight. I Ooh. Is so close. Okay, so this guy's a monster. All so right. So close. Um, why am I saying the things I'm saying? In what order? Okay, cool. <laughs> and I did spend that spell slot. Holy shit! He 
grabs both his drink with both hands and he lowers his head and he says then I suppose that we must proceed then without the count without our lord being at full power then a tragedy to be sure our lord will not be pleased having to continue not at full strength very much the point that i was about to make which is these these events uh, are orchestrated by orchestrated by our lord the count's failure only means delay it means that we have time to do things right. Our Lord it, cannot wait. It, exactly right, Captain. So, what do we do now? We cannot rely on the Count. Clearly, if he has failed against five ruffians of the traitor Zern, then we must sacrifice our... initial army it may be the only way and call upon forces beyond it will still be enough we are happy to help in whatever way we can would you care to join me at the seal it would be an honor for our lord <laughs> to the eclipse to the eclipse. <clears throat> to, to the Queen's Conclave. I'll just salute. I'm not drinking. To the apocalypse. I'm allergic. I'm going to do one of these things where I yeah, put, I'm just, I'm I'm put my lips and I'm pursing, I'm pursing my lips and I'm attempting yep. to, deceive, just pretend the, to deceive the drink. And he knows I'm not drinking, so I'll just hold it up and not drink it. I'll, I'll do that then. That makes more sense than salute. <laughs> the rise of the new King of Demons. Cheers. I'll set it down. It does, <sighs> it does smell lovely. <clears throat> Ooh. It is good to be high general. He breathes. It's incredibly. Uh, the smell is of incredibly fine spirits. Uh, very incredible. It's very uh, smoky. Very smoky. As uh, I would need like whoever to attempted to, to to not swallow it, make a deception check. Oh shit. Okay. I was. I just didn't drink it. I yeah, yeah. Anyone who was just, just doing this, well, that's not good. I got a ten. I got thirty something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Should we twist it? Yes. I, got, I get plus two, so I'll do you. Let's let's let's. I think we twist it. We we have. Whose die is this? That's mine. I just dropped it. I keep dropping all my dice. Yeah, it's 15? been a dice drop day. A little that's better. Fine. That's better. Fifteen. Um. He. Uh, he looks at all of you and says, I appreciate your commitment to temperance and to your stations. I must be getting loose and I favor my comforts in my old age. When you have reached a certain rank and accomplished a certain amount of deeds, you deserve a little relaxation. We have not quite reached that station yet. Speak for yourself. <laughs> I'll continue to uh, fake drink Captain. with my... Uh, and I'll, like, giggle. My uh, gray Captain. hair and bushy eyebrows being what they are. Then we shall begin the dark transformation. Begin the work the city was built to do. That's why we're here. To accelerate things. The Lord of the Lower Aerial Plains works in ways that are mysterious even to me, but I think I understand what you were meant to be. You all will be the, the 
the wings along with me. Are there not six of us? Fear of power you do not see. Including him. Yes. <laughs> and my six wings and the six of us you will enjoy you will enjoy such power such station and comfort survival is that not what any human wants let us begin I'll just, mm -hmm. I'll just nod at their salutes as if uh, it makes sense given their station. You honor, feel honored to be uh, 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 with us. I never want to make a dexterity saving throw for me, please. Oh. <laughs> right, well, you know, we tried. We really did. Here's where I roll my natty one. 21. Uh, I got a 14. Oh, 15. That's safe. Yep. Then I that looks like a five in a mirror. <laughs> Fifteen sounds better than fourteen. Can I twist? Yes, twist, please, 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 please. You should have like a crazy high. So yeah, rolled I rolled two. like should be good. That's better. Yeah. Nineteen. Oh yeah. Sixteen. Twenty-one. Sixteen. Sixteen. Twenty-one. 21. I think I think you and I are fellow fellows. Sixteen. What do you get? Fifteen. So. Anyone who got below an 18 oh, Jesus. Uh, immediately falls to the ground and is knocked prone as there's a lurch as you are all lifted into the air very temporarily and then fall back down as uh, Furman extends a hand. And you see the sword by his side, uh, a long sword in a in a uh, a perfectly sculpted scabbard, uh, and by his side uh, a military uh, grade coil, a coiled rope that he keeps uh, in a, le a pristine leather holster. As he reaches his hands to both, and he uh, draws his sword and draws this coiled rope that actually seems to be a whip as he uh, extends it and immediately uh, the floor erupts into demonic uh, light as uh, light extends throughout the entire room in a horrific uh, sigil, uh, the abyssal runes glowing as the floor begins to lurch downward, rocketing. Uh, hey, that one's his wagon. <laughs> Rocketing downward through the central <laughs> column of the citadel. What says wagon? And you do recognize wagon. Oh, shit. And Felix, you realize now after all this time you can finally speak abyssal. Ho! Oh! All of the work that you've done. Thank you, Caprice. I owe it all to Caprice, really. And I'm taking gold pieces every night to teach me. You, My pleasure. You see as you all are rushing downward as the whole space is is filling uh, with this fiendish light as uh, it glows all around as you rock it through. You see uh, demonic sigils in this column as the, 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 the top of the ceiling is disappearing. It's getting higher and higher and higher, illuminated by the glowing uh, uh, fiery magic and sh almost shifting shadow around you as you suddenly uh, crash to the ground. Uh, as a large chamber is illuminated all around you. As you see as the six guards have been walking around you this entire time, forming a uh, six points on this central platform where you see what is a dormant seal. What, what had once been a seal that had been used to chain Thar's Dune away, broken who knows when, but in its place, a new sigil. You see points at the north, the south, the east, the west, lines arcing out in a strange pattern 
as Furman looks at all of you, we begin the dark transformation of our great city. We may have to sacrifice the country, but with this great sacrifice, with true sacrifice, our Lord can be restored and we will have our great eclipse and our great day of Armageddon. But first that dark transformation must begin with the rest of you to join me as the wings of Pazriel. Do you not wish to have my dark power? Why do you think we came? <laughs> Very good. That was the correct answer. Take your places in the circle of transformation and I will take mine as we will ascend. We will ascend to our place as the wings beside Pazuzu. As he steps towards it, you see now that similar, it's, all, it's almost a similar runic circle to what Zern had done with six different circles where you had placed in the mementos. But now he walks to one that's glowing with a fiendish, almost fiery, uh, a demon's fire. As the shadows are swirling and slithering, <coughs> slithering as he uh, asks you all to uh, step into the, the, the other five circles. As you see that it's on, on the edge of this room, as then the, uh, the six guards all step out and there's a, a smaller inner ring of circles and they take their up places at each one. Hey, hey, sorry. Okay. Himmelstrauss, Powerbottom, Woodhold, Heideson. Yeah, sir. What do you think, guys? Should we just fuck him up? <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. Is it important that there are exactly 12 of us? Yes. Isn't that why you are all here. We did not know the full nature of what our role was to be. We willingly came knowing we would accept whatever was needed of us. That has always been the plan. Iris of the Sands. Fuck. There it is. Lovely. Well, I can just dr drop this horrible disguise then. As you see, as he reaches up to his eye patch, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he pulls it up, and as soon as he lifts it, there's a glow, a fiery glow, as you see a horrific demonic eye staring at you. As one uh, milky, uh, you see the milky grayish blue of an old man in one and the fiendish, fiendish, malevolent, mm. demonic eye looking. I'll immediately drop my Toa Kamanui, yeah, yeah, Felix Ackerman. <sighs> Grab my toe Oof. in my hands. Capriccio de Sesto. I'll start putting my hair back up in fun. It's <laughs> getting ready. Do you not Take my wish earrings to off. ascend <laughs> to the highest level of demon just below the great lords of the lairs of the abyss. No, not particularly. Never. Doesn't sound all that interesting. You need 12, yes? This is just to transform to be by his side. I can... We can proceed with or without your agreement. And what if we agree? What happens? Then all of Korovakia joins us instantly. It'll just take longer if I am the one to accept. They will join us and survive what is to come. Isn't that a great kindness? He steps 
uh, just one step forward, still within the circle. Survivors, horrible demons! What kind of survival is that? And that's even if he's telling the truth. One of power. You may join me. The new king of demons has told me of your coming and how he desires to have <clears throat> his six wings of Pazriel. I made that bargain long ago to be at his side. Virgil Zern thought that he could deceive our Dark Lord, but I knew that he would fail in the end. I knew he was a traitor from the moment we both made our deals. You were plotting against him the entire time. <clears throat> he just wanted to save the world. And that is why he is dead. And that is why he has stopped nothing. Merely delayed, you have the choice. Join me in my ascension. Did your lord tell you Zern was dead? Well, that's quite funny, don't you think? Because no, Zern got exactly what you want. He was transformed into your lord's son. Quite a funny turn of events. <clears throat> Dead, no, not at all. Far more powerful than he used to be. More powerful than a Balor. More powerful than you. Make a deception check. Where's my... To to wouldn't know what a Balor is, right? I wouldn't think so. I think Caprice and Felix could roll Arcana checks. Let's see. Lord of the Rings. Can I, I, the, can I use a wrong. twist? Oh. Can oh, I use okay. a twist? Yeah, okay, good. That's better. 14. Would Toa understand that the implication was he was implying that he himself was a Valor? Yes. Huh. Or would be transformed. Or would be transformed into a Valor. Sorry. I said 14. Um, My deception is not great. He says little more than an equivalent to an imp in the nine hells is the crow that he has been transformed into. Whether he is the sun or not, I will be at my lord's side one of six wings to usher in the end of all things. One of six wings to turn our great nation <clears throat> into the creatures that will survive. All else will end and be consumed, but Koravakia, the only nation, the greatest nation, will survive what is to come. They will survive this universe, and they will join me and our great lord to the next. They will join the Queen's Conclave. We will win this war. I'm looking around as he's talking. It's the last minute or so since we landed on this platform. I'm looking around, and I'm trying to get a sense of the space that we're in now, and trying to get a sense of the how much how important the platform that we're on is to whatever ritual he thinks we're going to undergo in order to make this the elevator seems to just be the center where there isn't any so the, it begins basically yeah, you land at the center and all of the the, the runic uh, demonic runes on the ground start surrounding that do these runes look in any way like i could do something magical to try and break them or or destroy them or to Get in, interrupt them so that I ask if they were like so that the ritual like, like yeah. I, I'm Eight. assuming they're not shocked but like do they look invulnerable? I think you. In, I right? think you make an uh, an Arcana check. I would have liked that an nat advantage. twenty. An advantage. I Ooh. would like that nat twenty, please. Uh, I would Holy like shit. you to. Uh, I think this is my last dread. 
No. Okay. Uh, I feel like Capri is pretty good. Uh, 17. Okay. Humble. Humble 17. You, you would get the sense that you'd seen a similar seal of, of this size, tempted to be broken by demons, and that to do so might be possible, but it would require, it, it would take time. What, uh, let's say I'm interested in, uh, Ascension. I, 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 I'm fucked either way, and, and uh, frankly, it looks like the, the P-Man, or, uh, your lord, uh, is, uh, uh, kind of the, 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 the winning ticket right now. What would it look like, uh, what does, what does the ritual entail? Do I just stand in that spot and let you do all the work, or, uh, do I need to say some words? Uh, do I have to drink You some- will stand in your rightful place in the circle. Mm-hmm. I will handle the rest. You will ascend as I will, as will the rest of our great nation. Felix Ackerman, you must want the same greatness that I do for our people. I want our people to be free and, 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 and to be their own people and not to be... Uh, surrounded by constant corruption and evil. I can't possibly believe that you would put faith in a demon and think that they're telling the truth to you. That that you're going to be ascended and saved, and that all of the people here are going to be ascended and saved. Virgil Zern did the same thing, and you trusted him. A fool and a traitor would put the universe the needs of existence above the needs of our own people. A fool and a traitor. Join me or I must sacrifice the totality of my great work, the swiftness of my great work, but I will then kill you all, place your corpses where they were meant to be and transform you, rip your soul screaming out of the abyss. And you will join me as wings of Pazriel all the same. I don't know, guys, I think we fuck him up. Yeah, I think you're right. I don't use my soul a lot, but it's mine and I'd like to hold on to it. What she said. I'm, I'll never. You'll have to use my corpse. You'll have to use my corpse. You'll have to use my corpse. Now you're insane if you think that we're gonna just roll over and die. My boy. The insanity is yet to come. Immediately, he extends his arms as the the runic uh, symbol on the ground f- uh, floods the room with demonic light. As he and the uh, the six guards let out a a roar, a cry that turns a guttural demonic avian as they all begin to grow and shift and twitch as you see as Furman burst out of his military. The, the, the old, uh, despite being relatively fit, the, the old failing body of a man in his, in his late 60s uh, begins to grow and form as his huge demonic muscles takes his place as his sword extends into a massive blade of hellish fire. His whip uh, strikes out with multiple uh, uh, frongs as shadow and flame billow around him. As you see a horn start to sprout from his head as he grows, it almost looks bull-like for a moment and then extends to being a horrific bird-like uh, face with a jagged beak as you see the six guards shriek in their transformations into the similar demons that you had seen in your dark dreams. But 
Furman has ascended to something far larger, far more powerful, far more powerful than the creature that you had faced uh, so long ago at that great seal. As he's ascended to Balor as one of the six wings of Pazriel, as you hear the rumbling of the citadel above you, as you start to hear even this far beneath the earth, you hear the screams and shrieks and squawks and cries of the people of Zentra as they begin their own dark transformation. Oh, fuck. As he lets out a cry and he says, the eclipse will commence. The dark transformation has begun. You will be the wings that will end all things. And that's where we'll end the session. Damn. Fuck. I, ca oh. I cast no thank you at ninth level. Yeah. Fuck. What an awesome reveal. Shit. What an awesome reveal. So good. Uh, oh, big fan. Big fan, Mike. Well thank you for running the session. Ah! Uh, I have a question about... Uh, well, I'll save it for yeah, save it for what's next. Yeah. And I will. I can pull back the veil a little bit just to make sure that everyone's clear about what's happened. We're not done. Hmm. It's what's that next, story. Andy? Andy? Well, I'll tell you what's next. But first, on guard would like us to present the hexagonal armament. <laughs> present the hexagonal armament. No, the uh, hexagonal armament. <laughs> uh, secondly, uh, what is next is what we call Avengers and Chill, which is after every stream session of D and D that we do. Uh, we do an extra special segment where we talk about our favorite moments, we theorize, of which we are going to have a lot to do tonight, uh, and most importantly, we answer all of your questions and comments. And Mike did say he's going to pull back the veil a little bit, so you don't want to miss yeah. it. Yeah, just uh, to re-clarify some things. Yeah, the yeah. idea is that we're going to learn a little bit more, you'd spend a little extra time with us but and ask us questions, and we're going to address all of those things, and uh, it'll, be, it'll be a good time. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, if you if you cannot stick around, we will be back on Wednesday uh, for the final session Ooh, yeah. for what it's worth. The heist that Derek is Join running. Gino. Uh, Enjoy some yield then sessions. we're going to be in Gen Con, I believe. Gen -Con. Uh, so we're taking that week off, more or less. Uh, then we'll be back on the 10th, I believe is the next date, with Nikki starting uh, the campaign The Wild Beyond the Wishlight. It's with an S now. It's with an S now. And then uh, August 12th will be our next episode of Icebound. And then the next episode of this campaign, if, if I manage to snap all these off, is going to be August 27th. I think I got them all right from memory. Wow, well done. So, so yes. are, that's kind of our tentative schedule. This is a monthly campaign. We play on Saturdays once a month. Uh, so stay tuned for the next part in yeah. five weeks. Join the Discord -ish. to get all of this schedule information. Yes. It's in the Discord. You can find the events there. Yeah, we uh, appreciate also, it. Also, uh, I think exclamation point schedule is a thing. Otherwise, go under our channel and <laughs> yeah. on schedule. It goes to our full calendar for the rest of the year, roughly, obviously. If things things are to change. But we have a rough plot of our schedule for the rest of the year. So check it yeah, out. Yeah, look at that. There it is. That appears to be working. I did it. Um, so... Don't go anywhere, and we will begin.